In just moments, 16 complete strangers from across America will move into this house with one goal in mind, to be the last house guest standing and win the half million dollar grand prize. It's summertime, America, and that can only mean one thing. It's time for Big Brother. This season promises to be the most twisted summer ever. We have a game twist that will send the house guests scrambling like never before. And a brand new interactive twist that will allow you to influence the game like never before. Okay then, let's meet the first eight house guests. And I'm a DJ from New York. DJing is definitely a man's world, but you have to have a thick skin and that's what I have. Bring it. I am a groundskeeper for a school system. The closest I've ever been to a famous person was I was Kelly Pickler's janitor when she was in high school. I will probably be smarter than they think I am, but I'm not as smart as I think I am. I used to be a professional soccer player. I really think that going into most physical challenges, stamina, strength, I think it's really gonna help. Yeah. I'm a family guy. Uh, my family and I are really, really close. Right. I'm single, so definitely up for meeting, you know, cute girls in the house. I'm a Broadway performer. I was on Broadway for three years, and now I teach dance to kids. And I happen to be the brother of one of the most famous people on earth. My sister is Ariana Grande, the multi-platinum recording artist and pop star, and Frankie Grande's best friend. This is fun, y'all. I'm originally from Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm definitely a country girl. I'm very athletic. I love doing anything outdoors. For instance, I love rock climbing and shooting guns. This is what I tell all the guys. You don't have to worry about my dad with a gun. You have to worry about me. I'm a small town girl and I love to ride tractors. I'm from a small, small town called Ubley. There's about 841 people where everybody hangs out and has a good time. I'm a little quirky. I talk weird. I kind of have an accent. All right, come on, let's keep our lead, Miranda. I'm a super fan of Big Brother. I've been watching it since I've been eight. My mom told me not to lie, and my dad told me not to lie, but if I have to lie, I'm going to lie. That's Big Brother. I used to be a professional baseball player, but now I'm a full-time dad. Being a single dad is definitely challenging, but never underestimate a father's love for his daughter. My athletic ability is gonna help me through all the physical challenges, and if that fails, I'm just gonna go to the charm. I'm a makeup artist from Seattle, Washington. Just gonna add a little bit of plum in there. I'm a Democrat on the way liberal side. My way is the highway. Gotta pack my jeans. This is my fancy clothes. This is what I wear to church. I don't have any real fancy britches. I'm super scared of ghosts. So I have to have like a cuddle partner at night. Just like even butt to butt, just like touching somebody because I just don't want no ghosts getting me. So that makes me feel better. California, here I come. <laughs> Now, I know that some of you are super fans and consider yourselves students of Big Brother, and you probably think you know everything there is to know about the game. Well, think again, because you are about to experience the most twisted <laughs> summer ever. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering why there are only eight of you out here right now. Well, all will be revealed in time. The first four to enter the house are Cody, Amber, Donnie, and Joey. You four may now head on in. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh my god, it's so real. Let's go this way. These are beds. These are beds. These are beds. These are beds. You want to be out here? Yeah, bro. Like, everything's out here. This is it. I don't never leave my hometown that often, so being so far away from home, I feel like a fish out of water. I feel like I've been shot out of a cannon and landed on Mars. I very seldom get out of North Carolina. Are you excited then? I'm very excited, absolutely. <laughs> Donnie, oh my God, I love Donnie's accent. <laughs> this, this is nice. This? It even smells new. How can that kind of voice come out of a guy with a beard that looks like that? That leaves Devin, Nicole, Paola, and 
Frankie. You four may now enter the house. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, Wrong. did you bring blue hair dye? Yes. I brought pink. Okay, awesome. Do you bring blue? Joey, she has this crazy, amazing blue hair. And I was like, oh my god, I'm a, the pink My Little Pony and you're the blue pony. Now all we need is a camo pony. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. One, two, three. Oh, I wanted it to spin. I'm, oh Why is that spin? I'm so confused. It's only like... Eight of us, but oh, there's sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's definitely not just eight of us. There are 16 plates, there are extra beds, and I know Big Brother, there's always a twist. What the heck does this mean? Okay, uh -huh. my name is Pal Shay, but you can call me Pow Pow. So that's my nickname. Pow Pow's a little firecracker. She's got this like little attitude to her. She's got this tight little body. Definitely interested to find out a little bit more about where this Pow Pow nickname came from. I'm from New York, Yay! and I am a DJ. Whoa! Red flags. She's a New York City DJ. She definitely knows who Ariana Grande is. We run in the same circles. You know, this girl could know who I am. I mean, she is dangerously close to home. I love Donnie. He's got the beard. Super nice. Got a good accent. He just kind of seemed a little out of place, but maybe I did too. Everybody's a little bit louder than me and Donnie. Maybe we'll end up teaming off. I'm Cody, I'm 23. I'm from New Jersey. Yeah. Um, I do sales. I have the biggest crush on Cody. I totally have a man crush on Cody. I could not stop looking at him. He's really pretty. I'm Devin, I'm 26 years old. I have a two-year-old daughter. Yeah, Jaden Sophia. I'm a single dad. Aww. And I used to play minor league baseball, but I stopped because Daddy I had my daughter. So that's Good me. Job. Devin is uh, eye candy. <laughs> He's tall, dark, and handsome, which is just my type. So I'm Joey. Hi, guys. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I'm a makeup artist. Oh, I'm 27. I have really tiny hands. <laughs> That's cool. Love small hands. <laughs> Joey is smoking hot. She's my type. She's a 10. All this meet and greet is fine, but all I know is eight more people are coming into the house and we got to start circling the wagons and preparing for what's ahead. To pretty colors and high definition. <laughs> Just moments ago, eight new house guests moved into their summer home and began their battle for a half million dollars. And already, the house guests are scrambling. Dude, we have to stay tight because who knows what the hell's happening, but we have to stay tight. Yeah, I think we should grab everybody. everybody. Guys, guys, house oh, meeting. Come on, everybody. What? In this room. What? Being the only eight people in the house right now is a huge opportunity. If this original eight can stick together, I guarantee you, nobody's gonna be able to touch us. If another group of people come into this house, we have to do what we have to do to protect each other. We're not in the house for more than a couple hours and we start talking about an alliance. Little nerve wracking, cause I don't even know these people yet. We have no idea what's actually gonna be happening, but there's one thing that we know for certain, and that's if we stick together, then we have much better odds going into whatever Julie's gonna throw at us. What if we're the crazy eights? I like the crazy eights. That's it. The crazy eights. It's eight. done. It's set in stone, dude. Done. Great. Man. How do you feel about being in this house? Were you a fan of the show? Every season. It's me, bro. I trust you. I trust you 100%. I trust you too. That's a huge thing for me, man. Absolutely. We've got the Crazy Eight Alliance going, but I want to make a side alliance with somebody that nobody would expect. Looking at Donnie, I think there's a lot of wisdom hiding behind that beard. I'm just pondering, going over my head, like what the twist is going to be. Mm -hmm. As long as we got each other's back, it won't matter what the twist is. I was shocked when Devin come to me about being in an alliance. With all these young, good-looking people in the house, he comes to me. I feel like I just won the best beard contest at the county fair. So but I was gonna always go Donnie, Devin. Devin, D -D 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 -D. double D's. Double D's. Uh -huh. Oh my God, chess. So I see Cody and Frankie playing chess, and it looks like they're about to share each other's lipstick. And I don't want any 
any of these guys for me, any secret alliances. I don't want another brigade. I definitely want this to be all about girl power this year. Usually the guys come into this game thinking that they are gonna win, but not this time. It is time for a girl to win this game and that girl needs to be me. Do you think that they're gonna like do an alliance? I'm pretty sure they're forming an alliance right now. Oh yeah, I remember that. For sure. I honestly think that Frankie and like Cody are like getting really, really close and I know they're gonna form an alliance. But well, here's the thing, like I came in here and I wanted to form an all-girl alliance. Me too! Me too. Because, <laughs> because I feel like, because I feel like it's never been done before. I swear, the guys know that our culture puts us against each other. Yes, And it doesn't sure. have to be like that. We have to, like, seriously give America hope that girls could work together. Yes, for sure. And I even named, like, the, the top, like, the final four is El Cuatro. Yes. So, is it alliance girls? I think so. Best looking El alliance Quattro. ever. Definitely the girls' time to be on top this season. It's girl power. El Cuatro coming to the top. Forget about all these dudes because we're going to win this game. El Cuatro. <laughs> I'm all about girl power, but what does El Cuatro mean? House guests. Oh my God. <laughs> I need everyone to gather in the living room, please. Oh, you got it, girl. Hello, Julie. How's everyone doing? Great. Good. I suggest you enjoy your time in there. Okay. Because I can promise you that the house is going to get very crowded very soon. Oh, my God. But before that happens, I have some good news for you. Woo! One of you sitting here right now will become the first Head of household of the As you know, the head of household gets his or her own private suite and they are completely safe. Well, you can scratch that last part. What? I don't like this twist at all. <laughs> As I told you, this is the most twisted summer ever. For the first time in the history of the game, just because you're head of household doesn't mean you're safe. <gasps> See you soon, house guests. Oh my, oh my god. god. The whole point of being HOH means that you've got power. Now you're responsible for nominating people, but you're not safe? What does that even mean? There's got to be something else. One of us will be the HOH when they get in. The more that we all like throw stuff around, it really actually just makes me panic even more. House guests, I need everyone to put on their swimsuits and head to the backyard for the first head of household competition of the summer. Hello, house guests. And welcome to your first HOH competition. Woo! Each house guest must hold onto their kite while balancing on the rotating beam. The last house guest standing will become the first head of household of the summer. Cody is down. I'm trying to win this competition for my El Cuatro Alliance, but when I start to think what Julie said about HOH not being safe, I made a decision to throw it. You guys got it! Nice. Nice. Congratulations, Frankie! You are the first head of household of the summer! I still don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but all I can say is I brought it and go grande or go home. Frank's the first HOH of the summer. We know that there's more people coming into this house, so. Hopefully with Frankie winning HOH, we can nominate two of them instead of two of us. I'm probably at this moment the most nervous HOH ever in Big Brother history because I don't know what this means that the HOH is not safe. You guys, you guys just made a quick meeting. Like, if for something crazy goes on, Lauren, will you just promise to have my back? That's yeah. Cool. And like, when the other people come in and be like, it was a total fluke that he won. Like, it wasn't like, you know, like, don't, make, yeah. don't make me seem like a big threat because I went one We've first already said you know? from, like, first walking here, we got each other. House guests. Yes, Julie. I need everyone to please head into the living room. And Frankie, yes, I need you to take one of the orange chairs, please. Okie dokie. <gasps> All right, Julie. Oh, no. <sighs> uh, orange 
strawberries are not good. I want it to be good for you, though. Yeah. Well, Frankie, yes, again, congratulations Thank on you. your big win. Thank you. Soon you will be nominating two house guests for eviction, but not quite yet. Okay. As you know, our motto is expect, expect the, the unexpected. unexpected. And I have some important information for you. Okay. A second group of eight house guests will be joining you inside the house. And one person from that group will also become head of household. Mm -hmm. But by the end of the week, only one HOH will be left standing. <laughs> Period. Okay. I'll leave you with that. No! Good night, house guests. Jo what? what All right, so somebody else is going to come in. There's going to be two HOHs, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eight more people are coming into this house. There's gonna be two HOHs, but at the end of the week, only one HOH is gonna be left standing. It's time to tell you about another twist called Team America. You were able to vote for the house guests with whom you would like to form an alliance. The winner of that vote has already been determined and he or she will be the first member of a secret three-person alliance controlled by you, America. For the next two weeks, you will continue to vote, putting two more house guests into this secret alliance. It's time to meet the final eight house guests. They have no idea that the game has already begun and that there are eight people already living in the Big Brother house. Before we clue them in, let's get to know a little bit about them. I'm from Hopkinsville, Kentucky, and I consider myself to be a metrosexual country boy. I'm originally from Long Beach, California. I'm just coming out of a 10-year marriage. So the Big Brother house can be the beginning of a whole new start. Yay! This is what life's about. I have three kids. <laughs> They're definitely the most important things in my life. I'm a barista. I am married to the love of my life. Um, he wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I was attracted to chubby, short, hairy, tattooed men. And um, I ended up marrying the skinniest, tallest guy in Tucson, pretty much. Everyone thinks I look like a college kid, but I'm actually a police sergeant. Because of the things I've seen, there's nothing in the house that's going to throw me off my game. There she is. I just graduated from the University of Florida. Currently, I am unemployed. Coming in hot. I don't need friends because all I care about is myself. I'm gonna lie in the Big Brother house, obviously, to win this game. It gives me a rush. I am lying every single time I open my mouth. Praise God, everybody. All right, all right, all right. I'm your minister and your motivational speaker from the church house. I am a mother of two awesome boys. Amen. What makes me an awesome mom is because God gave them to me. I get to win money. I get to win money. You! Pedicab rides. I'm from Long Beach, and I'm a pedicab driver. People are gonna get along with me. I'm the goofy, funny kid. I'm gonna be friends with everyone. People definitely underestimate me. They see the long hair, they see my surfer personality, but I got straight A's in school and I was on the Dean's list. So I'm going in there and people won't even see it coming, but I'm walking out of the house with that $500,000. Five people that annoy me, people that talk, people that eat, people that sleep, people that breathe. Now you may be wondering why there are only eight of you out here right now. That's because eight house guests are already inside. And a head of household has already been crowned. That's right, someone in the house is currently the most powerful player in the game. One of you will also be crowned head of household. By the end of the night, we will have two HOHs. And by the end of the week, only one HOH will be left standing. It's time to get you in the game already in progress. The first four to enter the Big Brother house are Jocasta, Caleb, Christine, and Hayden. Head on in. Oh, oh here they come, dude. Good. 
Thank you, thank you. My lord, there's some hotties in this house. Amber is hot, she's sexy, she's got the smile, she's got the eyes. Amber is taking a big bite of my cake right now. I can't believe there are already eight people living here. My biggest concern is, where am I sleeping? Are we sharing the bed? Yes, we have to yes. share bed. Uh, as long as it's not a man, I'm good. Because my husband, but most of all, God is watching. The first group moved in and we bonded and formed an alliance immediately. And you know, I've got their backs, but there's no reason not to be nice to this new group. Somewhere down the line, I may need one of these people. That leaves Victoria, Zach, Derek, and Brittany. Nice to meet you, dude. Jack. Thanks, bro. Everyone's going bananas. Hi. Hi. Zach. Pow, pow. I'm meeting 20 people this way, 20 people this way. There's 15 conversations going on at once. I don't give a damn about meeting these people. I'm trying to get my head in the game because I'm leaving with the grand prize no matter what. Isn't this crazy? Where are you from? Miami. You're from Miami. From Israel. I'm from Fort Lauderdale. I'm Are to you really? Florida. Yes. I love me a cartoon princess, right? She's wearing pink, which we all know is my favorite color. Now that the next group of eight is in the house, I definitely think that the chemistry is already changing, and I'm worried that these alliances that we formed are just going to crumble. Okay, so who's HOH? He's got the pink hair. Uh, Frankie. Oh, Frankie. okay. Frankie. But Congratulations so, uh, thank for you. your HOH, right? I, I don't really understand it. Yeah. There's going to be two. Okay. So, like, I don't know what's going on. <gasps> Works a little differently this year. There's already eight people that already had the opportunity to bond and to, you know, get to know each other and you never know what was discussed before we got here. Looking around, there are cute girls here. I mean, they have the cute little bodies and they have cute little faces, but honestly, who are we kidding? I am the hottest one here. My name's Derek. I'm 30 years old. I'm from Rhode Island. I am married. I have an 18-month-old daughter. And, uh, yeah, yeah miss, I miss her very much already, and I'm a Parks and Recreation Coordinator. Very cool. I'm not telling the house guests that I'm a police officer because Obviously, a main component to our job is being able to tell who's lying to us. So I'm Brittany. Um, I'm 29, originally from Long Beach as well. I also am a mother of three. First time in my life being single for this past year. Pretty crazy. Lots of changes. That body's ridiculous. You can't tell me three kids came out of that body. They were 16 and there's 16 of us. Hashtag BB16. I'm so into like Judaism, like my religion, and like we're raised like do good and do good work. Are you Jewish? To you. Yeah. Well, that's because I, you know, growing but up in I South Florida, like I had so many Jewish friends. Me and Frankie just click. I mean, he's just amazing. We just have the best time together. Have you seen the Beehive? The Beehive. I'm super paranoid because I'm HOH1 and Julie just told us that there's going to be HOH2. So I've got to find somebody in the other side of the house that I immediately want to trust. I'm feeling pretty good about it being Victoria. I don't know if I'm getting a bedroom. Depends on what this whole HOH situation is. I feel like it's different now. Why not? Oh. Why don't you win HOH and then we'll have a bedroom together. <laughs> I really like Frankie, and I do want to work with him. I think that we can get really far in this game together. And I feel like it would be great if it's someone that I want to work with. Yeah, I'm ready to compete. So I see Caleb with his shredded body, and I want to figure out what this guy is all about because I want to know if he's a threat to my game. Caleb is cocky, Caleb is a beast, Caleb is intense, and this guy worries me. He's definitely gonna try to knock the other big ego in the house, and that'll be me. We have to like do like a couple like icebreaker stuff. Truth or dare? I can be a cricket. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's a cricket. I'm not just whistling just to be whistling. What I'm doing is. Uh... I'm distracting. I don't want people to say Donnie is good at the game. I want them to say Donnie sure is funny. So that's making me less of a target for these dominant people. You're from New York, New York? New York, New York. But I went to school in South Park. Where? Fort Lauderdale. Where? Pinecrest. You went to Pinecrest? Mm -hmm. I know so many people from Pinecrest. Really? I know what Pinecrest kids are like. Yeah. Well. I know what they're like. 
You're the most Broadway person oh, I've yeah. ever seen. I'm just waiting for you to bust out a It might happen. Hey, Zach. Here's an idea for you. Maybe you should be pissing off the new HOH in the very first conversation that you're having with him. House guests, I need the second group of eight to please put on your gear and head to the backyard. Your head of household competition is about to begin. It's time to crown our second head of household of the summer. Keep in mind, whomever wins this competition will stand side by side with Frankie. Hold on to that barbecue spit for dear life. Fall off into the fire pit and your chances of being HOH will go up in flames. The last house guest left on the spit will be crowned the second HOH of the summer. How's everyone doing so far? I suggest you hold on tight because here in the Big Brother house, a barbecue isn't complete without a little barbecue sauce. Oh no! Oh no! The last girl falls off and I'm still in complete control, but I knew going into it, winning the first HOH of the summer is a huge mistake. You have to get blood on your hands and I'm trying to lay low for the first couple weeks. And Zach is down. It's down to Derek, Hayden, and Caleb. Derek is down. Mission accomplished. I prove I'm a strong player, but I don't win HOH. No blood on my hands this week. I can feel my muscles just starting to give. And Caleb is hanging off the thing, like doing disco moves. <laughs> Nice job, dude. Thanks, man. With that house guest, I need everyone to please head inside. Oh my god, we're gonna be moving. We're gonna have like a bath party. <laughs> so I know I made an alliance with the first group of eight that walk into this house, but after seeing Caleb, I have to work with this guy. I mean, he's a lion and I'm gonna be his tamer. <laughs> Hello, house guest. Hi. Caleb, congratulations on becoming the second head of household of the summer. Now, you've all been speculating on how this twist will play out. Well, it's time to end all speculation. Here it goes. Every week, two heads of household will be crowned. Each HOH will nominate two house guests for eviction. <sighs> to be clear, when nominations are over, four of you will be in jeopardy of going home. Uh Wow. And in a big brother first, we will have a new competition called the Battle of the Block. This week, Frankie, your two nominees will battle Caleb's two nominees. And the winning duo will not only be saved from the chopping block, but their victory will dethrone the HOH who nominated them. I think it's safe to say you each have a lot to think about. Good night, house guests. In most seasons, there's two nominees. This year, there are four, which doubles your chances of going home. It really makes me nervous just thinking about how many times I can be on the block this summer. I'm HOH. I'm not safe. You know, this is just freaking crazy that I could be going home. I'm telling you now, get ready, America. It is going to be one crazy summer. Who wants to lose for me? Before the house guests moved in, you were able to go online to CBS.com and vote for the house guests with whom you'd like to form an alliance. The house guests who received the most votes will be the first member of Team America.
Congratulations, Joey. America has voted for you to be part of a secret alliance called Team America. You and two other house guests will work together to carry out secret missions all summer long. For every mission that Team America accomplishes, each member will receive $5,000. Oh my God! <laughs> You'll find out who your other alliance members are once they have been chosen by America. America, thank you. Like what? Say what? <laughs> of course, I will accept and complete any mission that you have for me. Thank you so much. mayhem in here because we don't know what type of game to play. Strategy out the door. Walking into the HOH room, I'm super excited and I'm trying to be really, really friendly with Caleb because uh, there's two HOHs right now. Hey, look at this room. Oh! <laughs> But there's only going to be one HOH at the end of the week. I got to make sure that Caleb is going to be my best friend. And we could talk about all his Rascal Flat CDs and his beef jerky. And we're going to just bomb this week. I know it. This is a really good looking cast, too. <laughs> Christine, we clicked right away. She reminds me of my friends back home. And plus, we both have big nerd glasses, so that probably helps too. <laughs> I'm the one that makes everybody feel better. <laughs> what? I am not skinny like that. Me and Nicole are just simple girls, and we shop at Walmart. We connect on things that aren't about makeup. Yeah. I know it's really early, but I can see myself being best friends with Nicole, honestly, inside and outside of this house. Since I have you for two minutes, we're gonna talk for three seconds. If I have your back, then you have my back. Yeah. Then we have nothing yeah. to worry about at no. all. Period. No. So, we're at least safe for the week. So the question is, like, do you want to work together? Yeah. And no one would ever suspect that. Mm -hmm. Like, if we actually legitimately wanted to, like, work right. together moving forward. You're an amazing physical competitor. Obviously, you've got great social game. Like, and I think I do, too. Yeah. And I think that we could flip flop pretty much for the whole summer. Right now, I feel really good about what me and Frankie got going on. But we're only two people, and this game is all about numbers. So, you know, I think it's time that we start searching for some soldiers. The HOH Pact. We're a team this week. Let's go in here. So me and Frankie decides we got to rally up a couple soldiers that want to work with us. And uh, Devin and Derek just look like they fit right in. We're just thinking of strategy, you know, thinking of gameplay because it's so twisted right now. Everybody's mistake, they underestimate the floaters. I want to tell you right now, the last thing I want to do is get up on the block with a floater. The thing that I want to say about the girls, I love them all, but they get very emotional. They play with their hearts. Basically, right now, what we're talking about is possibly forming an all-guys alliance. I'm in this with you guys to the end, and I can make that, like, commitment now. I know that yep. Derek is. Yep, yep, yep. The more and more I talk to Zach, that kid is smart. Very smart. And he's pretty physical. I wanted to make sure that we touch base about Cody. I don't know. I had a good feeling about that guy. I think that we can make this and ride this out to the yes. end. It's too early for an alliance, and, uh, and and we're not even that close as a group. I mean, we have, you know, we haven't even had that many conversations. So to trust somebody with your life in this game is ludicrous. I think that we we stick to six. If those are the six guys, one of us has the power to win every single type of competition. Yeah, no one's gonna be able to beat us, dude. I would agree with you. It was funny. It was before I even came in the house. I was like, I'm gonna help form an alliance called the Bomb Squad. <laughs> I just got so excited. I'm thinking that I'm going to have to infiltrate a pre-existing jock alliance. And then three jocks decide to get a little gifted alliance and put a bow around it and hand it to me and say, here, we would actually like to include you in the initial jock alliance. OK, we need to get that one. You want to go the other two? Yeah, I'll go get it. All right, associates, I'm going to. I'm just gonna lay down a base, just a real quick one, and then I'm gonna go outside so no one sees us. 
suspicious. All right. Who are you in with? You in with, with the dogs? With the boys? We're the boys. All right. We're no longer the boys. We're the freaking bomb squad. Right? Six. All right. Hey, the goal. The goal is to get out all the floaters that potentially could be very dangerous. Okay. I've been expecting this. The strong players in the house need some brains behind their operation, and that's the Zack attack. We got a six-person alliance. And all guys aligned. You'd be the sixth. Cool. You good? Yeah, yeah. Seriously, no, no chit chat. This is like. Come on. About it. Nope. Us three: Zach, Derek, Frankie. Frankie. This all guys alliance. It sounds great and all, but you know, it's so early in the game that realistically, I just need to be worrying about myself. No matter what happens, dude. You and me. I'm serious, dude. You serious, right? Mm-hmm. I need you to be mentally strong because I'm gonna be mentally strong. Donnie has no idea that I've abandoned him for the bomb squad, but that was best for my game. I've gotta keep the charade up that Donnie and I are still tight as the double Ds. Can I, can I, can I reassure you something? Yeah. You are my alliance. Okay. You are the beast, I am the, I don't know what I am, but it's me and you, buddy. Trust me. If I've got to do a little acting, then that's what I got to do. Donnie looks like he's buying into my acting, and I don't feel great about it, but at the end of the day, I'm here for my daughter, and $500,000 would make her life a whole lot better. I think I would put up the first two people that felt Victoria and Brittany. No, Hayden. I just don't know how to justify that. Like, if I put up Hayden, what do, what do I say? It honestly doesn't matter, because we have our numbers. But I think the, the best first move would be to put a guy and a girl up on both sides. Mm -hmm. Just a sh short and sweet. I'm just putting y'all up, because I don't know what y'all are capable of, and I want to see. All right. This is a nomination ceremony. In each of our blocks, there are two keys for the house guests we are nominating for eviction. The first house guest I have nominated is... And the second house guest I have nominated is... I have nominated you, Donnie, and you, Pow Pow. Y'all are all great people. I'm just basing this off of uh, the HOH competitions. To be fair about it, you were the first male that fell off, and she was the first female that fell off. So that's why I chose you guys. The first house guest that I have nominated is... And the second house guest that I have nominated is... I have nominated you, Brittany, and you, Victoria. We all knew that being the first HOH was gonna be very difficult but I just put up the first two people that fell in the second HOH competition. I am so, so sorry, but this is what I've chosen to do because I thought it was fair. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. The first night that we stepped into this house, Frankie pulled me aside and told me, we're working together and I love you and I need you in this game and da 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 You're right. Hey no, man, this is the only way, you know, to be fair about it. Caleb calls out my name, and I wasn't a bit surprised, because I was the first guy to fall off in our competition, and we hadn't even had much time to bond. Well, no, I look at me. We're gonna fight, all right? Oh, yeah. We're gonna fight, dude. Okay. There's Donnie in there. Yep, Donnie's What you here. thinking? Mm -hmm. Something up. Thank you, dude. Listen to me. Mm-hmm. as strong as I can get. I am not nominated. I am so excited. And as a Big Brother Super fan, you always see people jumping up in the storage room. Well, that's me. And it's so freaking awesome to be able to do that. Everyone is great in here. All of us are awesome. I'm good. I just, I'm fine. I just don't want you to feel bad. I know. Where are you going on? I'm, I'm going to fight my own song. Is that all? It's not going to happen. This is the game, so whatever. I swear. I swear.
Yeah. Is Archie's truck? Yeah. You know, it's 4.30 in the morning, and, and I haven't talked to anybody in the bomb squad about this move I'm about to make, but I feel like I have to pull the trigger on this one. Year after year, Guys Alliance kind of gets played out. I definitely think that we need to bring in two of the stronger girls. You know I stand with you. Mm -hmm. I, just, I, I love everything about this girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, everything about this girl. Part of me, like, shouldn't be... Like, this is a huge no-no what I'm doing right now as well. You know, so I'm going to tell you, like, there's a Guys Alliance. It's six. Christine is a stone-cold killer. She knows everything there is to know about the game of Big Brother, and Amber, she would be the perfect smokescreen for the bomb squad. I will go right upstairs right now and talk to Caleb. I don't know what to think. Like, I'm just completely shocked. I, I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I know it's late, dude, but like, we, like serious talk. Because everyone's sleeping, I want to get it out now. <sighs> I know, bro. We, um... We need to bring two girls into the alliance. With the numbers, dude, if we had two more girls, we're guaranteed. You know Amber and Christine. They don't know anything about us as being a, and having an alliance. They, they haven't, they know, bro. Like, they know. It's foolproof. Going at it with just all guys, it's, it's been done and it's failed more than it's succeeded. I get woke up in the dead gum morning. I got boogers in my eyes, my vision's blurry, and I got my boy Devin. He bust out to me that, hey, we got two new members of the bomb squad. I had no idea if I was in a dream or if this was real life situation. Are we allowed to say that we're part of the bomb squad? I have no choice but to, uh, you know, let Christine and Amber into my alliance. Yo! Poo -poo. Oh. Yo. Does everybody know? No. What What now? What are we talking about? There's eight of us now. Who's, who's the... Oh, I didn't know that. And they're full bomb squad members. It's Christine and Amber. You definitely want to hear this because you don't know it either. Why? So here, sit down. So Christine and Amber are both full full-blown bomb squad members. Devin's just completely lost it. The guy's going AWOL and bringing in half of a house into the bomb squad. This whole bomb squad is gonna pretty much blow up in our face. So as if I don't have enough stress, knowing that I can be dethroned, I have to worry about Devin bringing extra members into the bomb squad and telling them everything. What? Devin is really acting like a loose cannon right now. He's putting a large target on his back, and it's really making me reconsidering working with him in the future. There was this uh, 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 prostitute that she she, she she never she never uh, done her trade for money. She only done it for spaghetti. So they started calling her a prostitute. Don, you're really a comedian. Uh, I'm not. I'm really a groundskeeper. <laughs> like, I'm going to stick with my original story, and I'm a groundskeeper. Yeah. Donnie's a funny guy, but you know what? It won't be really funny when he's stealing 500 grand from the bomb squad. Donnie is scaring the out of me. Right now, he's down there in the room with Caleb, Jocasta, Amber, Joey, and Hayden, and he's holding court like a jester. Amber goes, you're really a comedian? And he goes, no, I'm a grounds crew keeper. <laughs> oh, man. And I'm just, I don't believe his story. So, Devin, first you decide to bring in two other members to the Alliance without speaking to anyone else in the Alliance, and now you're having a meltdown over the fact that you think this bearded duck hunter is actually James Bond. I mean, why did I decide to work with you? Like, you're a mess. Devin's behavior is extremely detrimental to the bomb squad. Having Devin in your alliance is no bueno. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Battle of the Block. Holy crap! Oh my god, look at this play! In this Battle of the Block competition, Frankie's nominees will battle Caleb's nominees to save themselves from the chopping block. The winning pair not only earns safety for the rest of the week, 
but will dethrone the HOH that nominated them. You must transfer champagne from your fountain and pass to your teammate, who must pour it into the giant flute. The first team to fill up their flute so that a berry falls out will win. Don't, don't panic it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Do I want to be on the block? Lord, no. So I have to keep fighting to win the Pyrobito. I can't yeah. feel like Brit. I was glad you were fighting. Yeah. yeah, good job, guys. Good job, Brit. Mom, we just won the first battle of the block. Here, guys, here's some wine glasses. Feels amazing to be safe for the week. And guess who's not safe now? You sucker. <laughs> I'm going to talk with her. No, of course. Wait, partner. can I get a high five? She's my partner. <laughs> These young kids caring about me got me emotional. Just how nice they were, how how sweet and kind they were to me. It uh, touched my heart. In a different situation outside of Big Brother House, I'm definitely selfish. And with Donnie, I honestly feel like I want to save him. I promise I'll try my best. I want to put him before me, which is not like me at all. Dude. Oh, you're ready. Man, you couldn't have even gone back. I went better. I'm just oh, I just changed it. That's okay. Dude. Dude, they couldn't win any better. Donnie was trying to beast mode up there, bro. Every time he poured, it was perfect every time that's why when i thought i thought to myself nah he, he's a competitor more than what people think he is i never thought i would see donnie as much of a threat but i'm gonna tell you what home fry was a beast in that competition you see me get a little emotional yeah yeah this is not because of the defeat when i feel emotional like this it's because i've got people like y'all that care about me it's y'all that's making me cry. My friends, it sure ain't winning no game or losing no game. It's that people cares for me and it touches my heart and it makes me cry. And it's just a good feeling. Oh man. Will you let them know that? Tell them it's not, I, I'm not pouting cause I lost. I think at this moment, Donnie's only uh, buying for my sympathy. Hey bro. I don't come from an emotional family. So when y'all hug me and tell me how much y'all like me. I'm gonna call BS on that one. What size are you? Ten and a half. Oh Lord. I'm yeah. sure I can get in these heels then. <laughs> With some leftovers, I can put some toilet paper in them. Yeah. In or socks, you roll socks. I always wear tall drink of water socks and my girlfriend was embarrassed so she bought me little footies. Well, you don't have footies? hair from here yeah, down. Yeah, that's from my tall drink of water socks. I'm gonna go get ready for bed. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye, Donnie. Bye. I'm coming too. Okay. Good night. Yeah, holler Good night. at us whenever, man. Oh. He's ex-military. He is, isn't he? Yeah, I knew it from the moment he pulled his socks up. Army boots that rubbed his rubbed his hair raw. People that are from the South, it's like America. You don't wear fatigues unless you yeah. serve. Devin is unbelievable. Now he's convinced Donnie is a secret super soldier. So what's next, Devin? Is he Justin Bieber in a beard? Is he Ariana Grande's brother? Is that what you think? I'm thinking old Donnie boy is like an XSF like killing machine. I definitely don't see him riding a tractor. I think we're on to something. So there's something about old Donnie boy that I don't think a lot of people know. And I think the bomb squad's about to lock in on its first target. Can I, can I ask you an honest question? Yes. You, you are you are what you say you are? You mean like my occupation and all that? Just who you say you are, what you've done. Absolutely. My heart keeps telling me that you were in the military, Donnie. I wasn't. No, I wasn't. I always wanted to. You know, that's why I wore the camouflage as a little boy. I've never been in the military. Devin's asking if I'm in the military? That's kind of strange. I work for Cabarrus County Schools Facilities and Operations, and I'm a groundskeeper. 
I've been in the Double D Alliance with him from day one. I thought he trusted me. He made me feel like I was doing something wrong and I and I wasn't. Oh, slop! Oh, no. oh my God, oh, slop! Oh no! Slop oh. Congratulations, Caleb, on being the sole remaining head of household. But with this power comes the responsibility of naming the first four have-nots of the summer. Make your decision now so they can enjoy some slop sickles and check out their new bedrooms. Hayden, Joey, I'll do it. I'll do it. Brittany, I'll and I'll do it. Cody. From what I understand, slop is warm and gooey. Why is the slop frozen and hard? <laughs> Emergency blankets and pads, mittens. My new room is awesome. There's ice everywhere. All I can think of is ice cold. Pow pow, we need to talk to you. I came into this house to make an all girls alliance. El Cuatro is an idea that I do not want to give up on. I think this is an all girl alliance. So girls, what we have to secure on is an all girl alliance. Are you in? You cannot start an all-girl alliance with seven other girls. Why do you think guys don't talk game with any of us? Mm -hmm. There are a group of guys working together, but it's not an all-guy alliance because I'm in it. Right now, my allegiance is to the bomb squad, and I do not want to mess that up. Well, that didn't go very well, did it? I don't know how women are supposed to get anywhere in this game unless we stick together. As a police officer, you develop a sixth sense. Seeing the, the girls in the bathroom, something told me in my gut that something's up. 100%, yo, 100%. Uh huh, they're making them all girl alliance. <laughs> that was sexy. See, the problem is, is all those girls aren't tight. You know what I mean? No, they're they're segregated. Who do you think's leading the charge? Sharpen your blades, boys. I don't know what Joey is thinking right now. This is Big Brother. I knew it was only a matter of time before another alliance was gonna start forming. And Amber just confirmed it. While they're down there talking or doing whatever, I'm just like observing and listening. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Listen, Joey, if you try to start an all-girl alliance up in my house, <laughs> You will be here no more, darling. Everyone is acting weird around me, and I feel like an outsider. My girls' alliance didn't work out, and I don't know if I should come clean, but transparency seems to be the best thing right now. I'm not gonna talk game. Oh, I tried to start an all-girl alliance, and then this was, this was everyone. I'm pretty sure he knows about the all-girls alliance that I tried to start, and so instead of just walking on eggshells around him, I decided just to tell him. I tried to start an all-girl alliance, and I'm sorry. I knew you did. Everyone knows you did. That's I know, why I didn't have been talking to you. Why? Because you started an all-girls alliance. Joey, you admitting that you tried to start an all-girls alliance just proves to me that you are the worst player in Big Brother history. This just put a giant bullseye on her back. All right, everybody, it's time to pick players for the Power Veto competition. Yeah! Will the nominees please join me up here? I, as head of household, and the two nominees will each pull a chip out of the box to determine the other players competing in the veto competition. Victoria! Zach. <laughs> Cody. Big Brother will inform us when the competition is to begin. Good luck, everybody. for you to take action as the Miami Life Squad. Once you feel confident in the word you spell, press your button to lock in your answer. 
To win the power of veto, you must correctly spell the longest word in the quickest amount of time. I need to win this veto competition extremely badly. If I don't win, I'm possibly going home. Maybe they think I'm smarter than I let on. And I'm not. Zach, we'll start with you. I spelled the word warning. Zach, that is a correctly spelled seven letter word. Good job. Donnie, you must correctly spell an eight letter word in order to win the power of veto. I spelled splitters. Donnie, that is a correctly spelled nine letter word. Congratulations, you are the winner of the Power of Veto. Maybe my house guest assumed I was a Dumbo, but at least I proved I could spell splitters. All good, perfect, no worries. He took himself off the block, perfect, it's fair and square. Congratulations to him, he, he won. Yep. We put someone up, Joey, get her out of here. Simple as that. What? Sit down. I, I so know. Now I'm the only one that stands out as a replacement nominee, so I've got to start doing a lot of damage control. You might have heard that I tried to start an all-girl alliance. It's true, and I'm sorry. I thought there was an all-guy alliance, and I thought we were going to go down fast. You know, we're not stupid. No, and I don't, it's not You know what I mean? That. Like, we, 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 we seen the powwows. We all saw it. You just got caught, so we'll do that. I know, but the that's fact, embarrassing. <laughs> but the fact that you came clean about it and told us and kind of dropped all of that was a good idea. Talking to Caleb and coming clean to him, I think put me on his good side. It's time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Paola and myself have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of the nominations. I have decided to use the veto to save myself. Caleb, who will have to name a new replacement nominee. Good job, Donnie. I'm stuck in another rut, trying to figure out who I need to, to nominate. To get as less blood on my hands as possible, uh, Joey, um, you know, I'm nominating you to be a replacement nominee. This veto meeting is adjourned. She may have gotten your vote, but with the clock ticking, can Joey gain her housemate's trust and save herself? Please don't take it personal. I don't think that's what the house wanted, so that was a big mistake. That was a big mistake, huh? Yeah. Well, we're going to have our own opinion on it. No, of course, of course. But, well. Joey thinks I made the biggest mistake I could have ever made. Quite frankly, I don't believe Joey is in the position to even threaten me in that way. I just wanted to see like where your head is at because like, obviously like, I really want to stay. Joey has dug her own grave herself. Do you want me to go home? No. Oh my gosh, it gets hot so fast again. Oh wow. I'm doing a little bit better. I think the sunscreen helped. I'm realizing with 13 votes, seven is my lucky number. Girls, I'm campaigning now. I would really appreciate your vote on Thursday. You're so cute. Are you worried? Yeah, of course. I've got two really good friends up there, Joey and Pow Pow. So I feel like Joey has more fight in her and I can rely on her a lot more as opposed to Pow Pow. Okay, I'm gonna go get it some water or something, okay? I don't know if I want to keep Joey, but she's definitely somebody that doesn't really know the game too well, so she will always have a target on her back. To remove any speculation that the bomb squad even exists, I'm gonna make sure that this is a unanimous decision to evict Joey. No one wants to vote against the house. Like, everyone needs to kind of come together and make a decision together. I don't know. Oh. The people that go against the house are gonna be the targets next week. 
Devin's trying to tell me how to vote, and honestly, I did not come to this house to play Devin's game. So there's a ton of people in the bathroom, and Devin's asking me who I'm voting for? I'm in your alliance, dude. Why are you putting me on the spot like this? It's gonna be unanimous. It's gonna what? Unanimous. 13 to nothing. Here goes Devin again. Why does it have to be a unanimous vote? As long as we get out the person we want, it doesn't matter. But we feel like Caleb and Devin are running everything. Like, I don't know if it's too early to go against the house if they are. But I don't know how to stop it. Do you think if people, like, are like, vote Joey out, then that's, then that's what everyone will do? I think so. Okay. Of course. I need seven votes to stay in. I can promise more consistency in keeping you safe. I'm a better competitor. Without a doubt. If you keep me in the house, I will work my ass off to keep you in the house. At this point, I'm, I'm gonna vote with the house. Who, who's the house though? Are you talking about Caleb and Devin? Yeah. If I go against them, then... They're in each other. Yeah. Being a feminist, I need to do something big, I need to do something crazy to get the votes I need to stay in the house. I've got one thing to say, guys. Either your vote's going to me, or it's going to the people that you're afraid of. And you know what, if you're afraid of them now, you're gonna be afraid of them five days from now. Go out, go to bang, I'm a man, dude. I need a bulge or something, can I use your glove? <laughs> That's a bulge, all right. <laughs> Alex is my alter ego. That is a manly man. The whole Alex situation is kind of ridiculous, but Joey makes a great point about the boys basically running this house. If we don't get together, we might just get picked off one by one. I definitely think that Alex showing up is good for me because then everybody knows that Joey's crazy. I'm telling you, Amber's smoking hot. Oh God, bro. Lord is my shepherd and he knows exactly what I want. Well, I've had a crush on Amber since the first day I walked through them big brother house doors. Like, she's the type of girl that I would want to wait till marriage with. I was like, maybe God brought me here because of her. You seen my girl this morning? No, I haven't seen her yet. She's probably still asleep. Like, she never wants to be alone in the same area as me cause she, because she doesn't want everyone in here to think that we have something going on. There's Amber. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell everybody. I want you to know that I really like you. Caleb and Amber seems kind of eighth grade. I mean, like, do you want me to pass her a note in study hall later? Like, I mean, maybe, I don't know, ask her for a pencil back? Why are you laughing? I don't know, it's just funny. Um, I see you really different than I see a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Not just the fact that you're just crazy gorgeous. <laughs> I watch you reading your Bible. Is that a good thing? It's very, yeah, it's very well, good. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, Thank you for the kind words. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel this this vibe between us. <laughs> There's a certain way that you look at me throughout the day. Like, you look at me a lot. I look at you a lot. I don't know if I'm... Am I wrong? I don't know. I, I don't know. It. I looked at anybody. This is, like, news to me. Is it news? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, there's nothing I want you to say if you don't have anything to say, so you don't have to say anything. No, don't feel weird. No, I don't, I don't feel weird in a bad way. Okay. But yeah, thank you for talking to me. This is so uncomfortable. I honestly do not feel the same, and I don't know if I ever will. It's now time for the live voting to begin. Caleb, as head of household, you are not allowed to vote. Neither are the two nominees. One at a time, the rest of you will enter the diary room and cast your vote to evict. When I reveal the vote, the evicted house guest will have just a few moments to say goodbye, gather her belongings, and walk out the front door. With 13 votes to evict, Joey, you are evicted from the Big Brother house.
Kayla, as outgoing head of household, you are not eligible to compete. This HOH competition will be played in two parts. The sorority sisters will be competing in the first HOH competition of the night. The winner will become the first head of household. The fraternity brothers will be competing in the identical competition in just a few minutes. On my go, you'll make your way across your balance beam to the stack of kegs on the other end. One at a time, you must move your kegs across the lawn and stack them in front of the frat, frat house. The first house gets to transfer all six kegs to the front of the frat house and buzz in will be the new HOH. To buzz in and become the winner. Congratulations, Amber. You are this week's first head of household. Hayden has put down his sixth keg and drops. And congratulations, Cody. You are this week's second head of household. When we come back, we need to review the tape because we're hearing they may have been a bit of foul. So stay with us and we'll see what happens. Congratulations, Donnie. You have been chosen by America to take part in this summer's interactive twist. America has voted for you to be part of a secret alliance called Team America. I would like to thank America for voting for little old Donnie from Albemarle, North Carolina. What a night. We have just reviewed the videotape and Cody fouled and is not the HOH. Cody hit the ground before he hit his button. Hi. I have some very important news for everyone. Cody, I'm sorry, but your foot hit the floor before you hit your button. That means Devin. You are the new HOH. Devin, go ahead and take that seat next to Amber. I'm sorry, Cody, you need to step down from that seat. This kid is a ticking time bomb. I don't know when he's gonna explode. The only thing I can hope is that he doesn't go power crazy. I wanted to see pictures of my parents. My boy Cody's really down in the dumps. He almost won HOH, it didn't happen. No big deal. I need to keep Cody's head in the game, cause he's safe, I'm safe, it's all gravy. This kid, that's like when she was first born. When I see the photo of my daughter, I immediately realize I came here to better my daughter's life. And from this point on, I wanna make sure that I play this game uh, with integrity and uh, as much honesty as I can. I've been thinking a lot about my daughter, and there's a lot of things that I've done in this game that I never ever thought I would do. It's not the person I am, and I know you gotta be somebody else that you're not here in the game, but uh, I just feel real bad. Coming to this game, I told my friends and my family that I was going to play the game with honesty and with integrity. Mm -hmm. I want to let you know that I didn't have the trust in you and I felt that you were hiding something. And so I said, you know, he's dangerous. I, th I think he's a threat. Okay. Yeah. I was the sole person that did that and I was the sole person that pushed for it. Frank and Caleb didn't want to do it. They had other people in mind. I'm laying there dreaming about jelly beans and unicorns when he starts spilling the beans about everything. And Am I'm, I still a target for you? No. If you were still a target to me, for me, I wouldn't come and tell you this. So I appreciate you telling me. I really do. Don't worry about it. It's all good. You learned before I went home. It would have been bad if you had judged me and been wrong and I went home. But it, it, it worked itself out. I trust people until they break my trust. But Devin has already let me down, so he'll have to prove himself and he won't get my trust back 100%. Um, can I talk to you guys in the living room? I just need to kind of talk to the house real quick. Oh. Now that I've cleared things up with Donnie, I feel like it's time for me to talk to everybody else in the house about this. I just want to get some stuff off my chest and just leave it there. All right, yeah, for sure. If you watch Big Brother, you know that whenever someone calls a house meeting, it never ends well. You don't know what the hell's about to happen. Yeah. All right, um, I just want to just kind of get some things off my chest. Excuse me if I get a little emotional. What? is happening now. Um, coming into this house, I wanted to come in here and play the most honest and integral game that has ever been played. And uh, I knew that 
if I, by doing that, I may not make it very far. But I was okay with that. A lot of you guys have heard me say that the most important thing to me is my daughter and what she thinks of me when I leave here. And uh, that's honest to God the truth. When it came to the first nominations, I forced Caleb's hand and I told him to put up Donnie and Caleb had nothing to do with it. I didn't trust Donnie. I was scared that Donnie wasn't who he said he was. And if it doesn't get me very far in this game, so be it, I'm not looking for anything. That interesting. Does that mean you were the reason why a lot of us were nominated? Because apparently I thought it was supposed to be for the people that fell off first. I'm using the bomb squad to get myself a little further, but this is just reaffirming the fact that I'm not gonna be able to work with Devin long term. I wanted to meet with a few of the key members of the squad just to make sure that they knew we were still on the same page. I knew I put a huge target on my back. E. I want them to know, rest assured, the squad, we're a team all the way to the end. Yeah. You know what I said last night? Um, I mean, people describe that you tried to throw me under the bus, but... What? People describe it as you tried to throw me under the bus. During his house meeting, Devin comes out to tell that he was the reason nominees were put up. Frankie and I told the house that our nominees were put up on the block due to who fell off first at the HOH competition. So straight up made me look like a liar. Devin is under the assumption that if you tell the truth and you're honest in this game, everything will be fine. And I'm like, please, this is Big Brother. Stop telling the truth. To know that Brittany uh, twisted my words and misconstrued what I said just upset me to the core. At that moment, I realized 100% that I don't want Brittany in the house because as a human being, all I have is my word and my integrity and the actions that follow that. So at this point, Brittany has made herself a target whether she realizes it or not. Oh man. I just hope my mom's okay. Why wouldn't she be okay? She's just a worry She's a worry ward. Really, really bad. No, don't, don't. You're gonna get in trouble, Hayden. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. Here. I'll let you guys flirt a little longer. I don't like flirting. <laughs> what? You're the, the master of flirting. Am I? Am I good at it? Yeah. I got it down pat. What's your favorite movie? The Notebook. You are a hopeless romantic. I am. I am very much a hopeless romantic. I really would take you on a date, though. You know? Stop. Caden just made me, like, feel good. I definitely could see myself working with him, and I think that'd be a good move in this game. Physically, we need him. I just don't know if he should be afraid that he'll, that he'll tell somebody. Tell somebody. The only alliances that ever make it are the ones that stay secret. When Nicole first brings up Hayden's name, I am not sure if I want to align with him, but um, Hayden is a physical beast, and uh, I think that could be a really good asset for our alliance. <laughs> both been crowned co-HOHs, so now we just gotta sit down, get together, and collectively decide who we're gonna put up as our nominees. If I had to put up anybody, I would think about putting up Brittany and Powell. I just, I just look at it like this. We have the head of the snake out of the house. Now we need to sweep the body on with it. For me, I just, I don't wanna do two girls. Because in our alliance, we have six guys, two girls and I don't want to make it look like I'm attacking the girl. The only thing that went through my head for a split second, I'm like, damn, what if we did put an alliance member up? And uh, that alliance member purposely threw the comp, put them on the block, we've got the numbers to save our alliance member, and we send Brittany out the door. Nicole scares me, though, to be honest with you. It's too risky to put an alliance member on the block, especially if it's me. 
that ain't happening. It's time to throw somebody else out there. And Nicole hasn't played any game yet. So, Nicole, sorry, you're it. I'm going to tell you now, the biggest floater in this house is Jacosta. If I get HOH, she'll be the first one up. If I put up someone from the bomb squad as a pawn, it could help me out and not make it look like I'm in alliance, but it could also come back and bite us and possibly send someone home. The loyalty is to eight, not to 15. And why is there hand lotion in the kitchen? Is this yours? Oh, yeah, here, I'll take it. What's wrong? Huh? What's wrong? No, I'm just pissed off about, like, the kitchen. Um, just, like, how I know, selfish but I think people every, are. everybody was tired tonight. It just blows my mind. It shouldn't even pile up like that. People shouldn't be cleaning up after other people. You should be cleaning up after yourself. I mean, we're not animals, you know? I'm a mom. I have three kids, and I don't need Devin telling me when to do the dishes. Don't give me that. Like, I don't do that around here. He's walking around, like, stirring the pot with a lot of people. That's going to turn the house bad really fast. This is the nomination ceremony. It is our duty as the heads of household to each nominate two house guests for eviction. I've nominated you, Paula, and you, Brittany. Paula, you keep talking about how much of a warrior you are, so I'm gonna give you one more chance to pull out your samurai sword. Brittany, I've nominated you because last night I poured my heart out to the house, and right after, you took my words and you questioned my integrity. All right, I have nominated you, Hayden, and you, Nicole. I have chose you two because you guys are very strong players and it have many options. I do love, you know, all the guys in this house and the girls, so I chose one guy and one girl. I love you guys and good luck. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. Devin wants things to be Devin's way or the highway, and I'm just not a pushover like that. In five minutes, come upstairs. Wait a second. You and Hayden both come upstairs. Ask why you're being put up. I promise you, I'll give you a great explanation, okay? And it'll be comforting to both of you. Okay, you guys aren't going home this week. You are not going home. I don't know that, but it could be something that... Look at me, look at me. You're not, you're not going home this week. You need to trust me. I promise you, you're not going home. Go home. I'm going home. I'm staying and I'm going home. Brittany hated and Nicole. Obviously, they put the strongest players up against us to not give us a chance of being taken off the block. Why would Amber do that? It's not Amber. She's letting what's his face freaking take control. All right, dude, you're beast mode. You would have won this comp, you wouldn't have fallen, okay? You, you're intellectually above and beyond. Yeah, I understand what it looks like. But like, honestly, you two are together for a reason, okay? My target, 100%, is Brittany. My goal is to see Brittany walk out that door. I didn't appreciate the fact that her and Joey were questioning my integrity. 100%, this game going forward, for me, is all about trust and at least trying to be as honest as possible. So I wanted to make sure Hayden and Nicole know that they're not the targets. I want them to be comfortable going into this Battle of the Block competition. I am not gay, but the bond that Frankie and I have is so genuine and sincere that I truly feel like he is my boyfriend. <laughs> Where's Frankie? Make way for Zranky. Make way for Zranky. First showman's a big brother. <laughs> <sighs> Dearest Zach, I mean, he's just like a little puppy dog. He just follows me everywhere that I go. We cuddle in bed and we do meals together. We do weights together. We go in the pool together. We make up dances together. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I have in him, but it's lovely for now. So what's on your mind? I'm giving you nothing but advice since I've been here. And... What I can tell you is that you're not, again, target. So don't you freak out. Don't you get all paranoid. Now, this is a question I'm going to have to ask you. Would you potentially ever throw a comp? I'm embarrassed because mm -hmm. I feel like I'm the weakest player. I don't want to go home because what happens if... Here, I go home. Here, this is what I promise you. Okay. We throw the comp. I will make sure that you're here next week. I will make sure that... The next week's target is still not you. I'm gonna keep you in this game as long as possible. If I can keep you all the way through jury, if I can keep you all the way, I will. I promise you I will. 
Devin is asking me to throw the competition and I'm not sure if he's someone that I can trust because he is hot and cold. Working with Devin is gonna be a huge gamble. You're not going home. You're not going home. You promise. When Pinky swam at home, if you took care of business. I'll ask a question about a series of party photos. For each question, photos will flash on the screen one at a time. They will continue repeating until someone thinks they know the answer and rings in. If you get the question right, you'll earn a point for your team. The first team to four points wins. Pow Pow gets the question right, and I'm thinking, what are you doing? We had a agreement. All she had to do was say dog, bird, squirrel. OK, Brittany. B.B. Brewer. B.B. Brewer. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Thank you, pal. That a girl. I love you to death. That's how you throw a competition. Bad girl is correct. Yes! <laughs> I am so stoked to have won this competition. I'm safe for the whole entire week. Yes, yes, yes. Now that I threw that competition, I kept my word. Now Devin better keep his. Don't worry, he's going to set it up to where I go. I hate that Devin remains HOH. He may want me out of this house, but he's got another thing coming if he thinks that I'm just gonna lay down and let him bulldoze all over me like he does the others in this house. All right, guys, who goes home? There are two subdivisions of the bomb squad. There's the supporters of Devin, AKA the idiots. Then there's the non-supporters of the dictatorship, the firm believers that Devin is insane. The only person that wants her to come is dead. Yes. We all, yeah, right, exactly. You like Brittany, you like Brittany. I like Brittany. She's a strong player. She had beer goggles on. She still did better than Pal. I could be Pal. Pal's right. Put it this way. Devin, why don't Joey go on so Joey's gotta go. Brittany is now saying, I don't like you. So we're just getting rid of all the players. The players that are gonna go at it. We're doing his dirty work. And I'm not doing it for two weeks in a row. No, I'm not doing it. Devin thinks he runs this alliance, and we're doing all his bidding. I've had enough of it. We have a voice too. We all want Brittany to stay, and we want Pow Pow gone. Devin, we're sick of it. Whichever two power Brittany, whichever one of them stays, we're reeling in. That's another bolt for us. Next week, one of us is going to make your age, and we're not going down. Simple as that. They're having flirt man's gone. Uh, just detrimental to the team. Just dangerous. Amber's relationship with Caleb worries me. She's just toying with the guy's emotions, and he's just totally just falling for it. When it comes down to it, who's Caleb gonna choose? Amber or his other squad members? Brittany and Pow Pow are gonna be up. Brittany does not win the POV. Who are we sending home? If we, if we don't send home Brittany, Devin's gonna flip and turn on us. Devin's only sending her home for personal reasons. If we decided collectively that we wanted Brittany to stay in power to go, for whatever reason, I'm just throwing that as an example. He would throw, he would throw a cow, because he's the one that put her up. I just can't listen when he talks to you, because he's kind of mean to you and demeaning it. Devin is the last person I ever want to be in alliance with. He's scary, and he's going to crumble at any second. He's, he's definitely a problem. And, and if I hear him talking me. to you and like that, or you like that. Or any girl for that matter. It's or, just, yeah, yeah, or it's any, just, but it's especially the girls in my alliance. I protect him because he's a, a friend of mine and a member of the alliance. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, as cheesy as it sounds, I protect my queen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it, because yeah. at the end of the day, I would much rather have her next to me than Devin. I just want to let Devin know, home fry, this ain't gonna work in my kitchen, baby. Uh, outside or inside my alliance, we treat women with loyalty dignity and respect yes we're in a game but at the same time you know we ain't having that hey i wanted to share something with you there's quite a few people in this house that feel like you put britney up due to personal reason it was a personal reason i made sure i said it was a personal reason yeah well to me i think more people are wanting pal gone than britney that's stupid Who's a bigger threat to us right now? To the Alliance. I don't care to individual people, to the Alliance. Not to the people outside the Alliance. The only people that matter are the Alliance. You pull the Alliance. Ask Derek right now, who's a bigger threat, Powell or Brittany? 
there are members in our alliance that do not feel the same way, so it's chaos. You can see it how you want to see it, it's fine, but... No, that's exactly how it is, though. You're over there talking to Amber, and that's where you're getting that, that from, in your mindset. Why are you talking to me like this right now? Like, for real, why are you talking to me? Because you're over there hanging out in the freaking hammock with Amber. I'm saying what people feel, Devin. You're getting love struck and you're listening to everything that she's saying, and you and I have talked about it before, and you know you're my boy, but I'm just telling you right now. Oh, now you're getting upset. I'm not gonna get upset, I'm just, right. I bring something to your attention, and just like always, you blow it out of proportion, every time. Oh my God, <laughs> whatever, bro. Whatever, man, it's, like it's always. The truth. What? Look at him. Both of the girls are scared to death to even talk to you. I. What are you talking about, dude? Christine doesn't feel that way. Well, then we should talk to Christine. You feel better? No, I don't. Come here, because I, I think you just, you just, you just losing, bro. Like I'm not I've got your back. Oh, I've had your back, and you sit there and, and talk to me like that. You talk to me foul, like oh, it's the way you talk to the girls. I don't talk to any of the girls in a disrespectful way. You're over here talking. It's not to what half of the house is saying. Hey, look at this. Is the thing. There's That's no more alliance. Look at there's no more alliance. Okay. There's no more alliance. We're done. Okay. Cool. Oh my god. Congratulations, Frankie. You have been chosen by America to take part in this summer's interactive twist. Yes! America has voted for you to be part of a secret alliance called Team America. You and two other house guests will work together to carry out secret missions all summer long. <laughs> to find out who the other alliance members are, go to the wait bench tonight at 9 p.m. sharp and create a sentence using the following code words. <laughs> Bald eagle and apple pie. Do you guys have any dessert? Uh-uh. What's your favorite dessert, Frankie? Um, I'm really partial to uh, apple pie. You ever been to uh, New York, the zoo? I love animals, like them exotic animals. My local zoo, they have, uh, it's not a very really uncommon animal, but they had like the, uh, like a bald eagle. Yeah. <laughs> Those things are big in person, man. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> We got Derek, who is playing a very smart game. Me, who's kind of got my fingers in everyone's business, but we still don't know who the third member is. The minute I see that beautiful beard come outside, I know that's my third team member. <sighs> Donnie, what's your uh, what's your favorite dessert back home, buddy? My favorite dessert? Back home, outside the house. I'll show you. Show me. Good old apple pie. Apple pie. Hey, uh, what's the bird that's on the back of a quarter? Bald eagle. Bald eagle. Ahem, wake up, everybody! It's time to choose players for the ah. Veto Cup! As HOH, I will pick first. Zach. Derek. So what happened between me and Devin last night was just one of them things, you know? It happens, it was stupid. The bottom line is, Devin's my buddy, he's my friend. You know, I feel like him and I can go a long way in this game, so I gotta make things right with Devin. <clears throat> do you know what set me off, bro? It was just one thing, dude. Had nothing to do with game. I... It's when you sat there and you said, the way you talk to the women in this, in this house, mm -hmm. that set me off, man. I've never said anything in a bad way to any girl. And to be real with you, dude, I don't take that stuff lightly, man. If we just hold tight for a few more weeks, I feel like we'll make it to the end. I thought we were going after the weaker floaters. And I said, I did too. That doesn't make any sense though, because you can work with some of these floaters because they're not gonna win any comps, but you're gonna leave Brittany here potentially. If you leave her here for another week or two, she's gonna put two of us up together. Why would you want somebody like that here still? Right. Right now, I just think Caleb's full of crap, but I'm just trying to keep the alliance together, smooth things over. I'm better with him than without him. Just know that I've always got your back, man. And, and I have like, yours. Because other people are saying different. I say, y'all do what you want. I'm not putting him up. Who said put me up? Just everybody. 
that they're all saying, man, Devin is just causing a lot of problems in this house. They're, they're all saying it. I wasn't surprised one bit. I know who I am. I guess I was just hoping that people in the bomb squad would wait a little bit before they turned on me. So this is the deal I'm gonna try and make as quick and short as possible. It's time that everybody puts on their big brother face, their big boy pants, no emotions. Let's do this already. Here we go again. Another house meeting sponsored by Devin. We gotta get on the same page every week who we're sending home. This is not a one person dictatorship. The goal is to keep our alliance safe. It is not about getting out the floaters. It is about working with the floaters to get out the other strong players. I'm gonna give you my reasoning. Partially, 50% personal with Brittany, okay? Pow Pow and I talked before the competition and she purposely threw that comp. And I said, you were safe this week if you throw that comp. That being said, it's not a dictatorship. We are together. So if it's Pal and Brittany, who do you want to go? I don't have problems with anyone at this point. Once again, behind closed doors, and women are very quick to tell us who they want to stay and who they want to leave. But as soon as Devin's in the room, they clam up and have nothing to say. Pow is by far the weakest player I've ever seen on Big Brother in my life. Right. And you know, Pow, you know, I have nothing personal against her, but I like Britney more, so I want Britney to stay. What are you talking about? I decided to open my mouth, tell them the truth, crickets. You know what, we're an alliance of eight people and that's extremely large. And you know, none, none of us are ever gonna be on the same page about anything. And that's, that's the other thing is Caleb said that Basically, um, there's people in this alliance, pretty much, that want me gone, so who said it? The deal is that we protect each other all the way to jerk. That being said, it's about protecting the team. If one of us goes home, it's gonna cr crumble. It's just gonna crumble, and we have to keep each other safe. So I thought it'd be smart to stick up for the rest of the bomb squad in the HOH room. I think I opened up my mouth a little too much. Now I'm on Devin's radar. I think I got some explaining to do. So, like, I have said stuff that I didn't really mean, you know? And, and I come to you personally and I tell you, you know, you're my friend inside this game, you're my friend outside the game. I'm going to be loyal to you till the, till the end. And I don't want you to ever question that, okay? Yeah. I wanted to let you know that, all right? All right, so you're saying that you were one of the people that said that you wanted me voted out of the house. Is that what you're saying? I, it came out of my mouth. Well, Did I mean it? No. Zach's just told me everything that I need to know. I know who the weak link in this alliance is. And right now, my trust is broken. It's time for the veto competition. Right before the veto competition, Devin turns around to Pal and says, if I win the veto, I'm using it on you. He can preach as much as he wants about how uh, we all have each other's back, but no, he has one person's back and one person's back only, and that's his own self's back. He's not for the team at all. Space Cadets, the Big Brother planets are out of balance and your mission is to restore order to the BB galaxy. To complete your mission, you must hang each of the 10 planets on a different silver sector of your galaxy so no planets touch the ground. Once all 10 planets are correctly balanced, hit your warp drive button to return home. The first cadet to accomplish this mission will be awarded the power of veto. Congratulations, Devin. You have won the power of veto. Devin tells me that he is going to take me off the block and not to worry. But you know what? You never know with this guy because this guy is like the devil. Time for a little damage control. I got to tell him, Devin, listen, man, you're my best friend, loyal forever. You know, the whole shebang. Yo, I just want to say congratulations, bro. Thanks, man. Better you than me, honestly. <laughs> cool, dude. Hey, um, so I'm gonna ask everybody individually, straight up. I just need a quick answer. It's gonna be quick. Pal, Brittany, up there. Who are you voting out? Dude, what, whatever. No, no. Pal and Brittany up there. Who are you voting out? I, it doesn't matter to me. I don't, dude. I don't wait. I feel like you're you're like pissing me. For no, reason. I don't trust you right now. Earlier in the alliance meeting, Zach said he wanted to keep Brittany in the house. Now he's telling me he doesn't know what he wants to do. I think he's just telling me what I want to hear. I'm screwed. I'm in Devin's crosshairs, and I got myself into a huge mess.
Devin. He's like, yo, man, I don't trust you. I just don't trust you. I'm like, I was just being honest. So you were freaking out? Because I'm, like, I was just honest. That's the way I was going about it, and I got nothing to hide, but clearly that's not working. Uh, are you surprised? <laughs> what did I say that was so bad, though? You told him that you disagreed with him. But what I didn't lie, though. Right. Why have armed you lying? <laughs> Why are you telling the truth? I don't know, dude. It's very simple. You told him I disagree with what you're doing. Now he doesn't trust you. I just want to say, listen, like, I literally trust you more than anyone what in this house. Okay, and I just, I don't want you to me over. I'm not okay. you over. Okay, okay. I'm not myself okay. over. Okay. Like, going down the right. ship when you okay. decide to tell the most unstable person in the house the truth. <laughs> I know I've had my differences with Devin, so I know I have to suck it up, set aside my pride in order to work something out. I'd love to stay, and I want to continue as far as I can, obviously, with this game. I want you to know that I look at you as a threat, a huge threat. You're very intelligent. You're on the ball 24-7. And a lot of people trust me, and a lot of people don't want me to go home. I know that. Honestly, as far as parents, I do have a soft spot, and I hope that one of the parents win. That's, that's a given, okay? Because we're not just changing our lives, but we're changing the lives of our kids, whether it's personal or not. And it's not worth me missing out on everything that I just did, graduations, birthdays, competitions, baseball, and, you know, but you have to go with what you wanna do. Brittany and I have had our differences, but she's saying a lot of right things. And on top of that, the fact that she's a mother, and she sacrificed so much to be here for her kids. You know, that touches my heart. If I were to put that veto around your neck, I would expect you to save me and not put me up if you want HOH. You have my word 100% for that. Making a deal with Devin is like making a deal with the devil. It leaves me with a really uncomfortable feeling in my stomach because I know it's wrong but I have to kind of give him what he wants just so that I'm guaranteed to be safe. When Devin tells me that Pow Pow threw the Battle of the Block, I definitely feel betrayed. I just pretty much got a knife stabbed in my back. Well, like, I know I know you're sitting there bitter because I said that, I, like, right now I don't trust you. So at least I'm, like, telling you straight up, like, I don't trust you because it's like you're walking around throwing me under the bus a little bit, bro. Right? I've only been honest to you. At the end of the day, dude, you don't think that I already know? Like, afterwards, I, I pulled you aside. I'm like, yo, man, I might have said some stuff, but it's not what I meant. But then you know what you do, though, bro? When you say this stuff, and you come and tell me so that I don't hear it secondary, because when I hear it secondary, I told you right after, bro, right after the meeting. No, 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 but this has been, like, for days now. All I can tell you, bro, is I've only been 120% honest with you. And if you want to... Put me on the block, do it. Well, that didn't Put me even, right that, there. That didn't and... even cross my mind that you just said it just now. Okay, well, I'm telling you. We made a pact as an alliance. We would never put each other up. This hasn't even crossed my mind to put up an alliance member yet in this game. You know, if it's really what he wants, then I might just have to give it to him. If Devin is stupid enough to put me up on the block, I'm taking Devin down, no doubt about it. It's time for the veto meeting, everyone. Brittany, I put you on the block partially for personal reasons and partially for my game. I look at you as a huge threat, but that being said, getting to know you, I realize you're a great woman, a great person, and an even better mother. And today, I refuse to let a single mother of three sit on the block potentially walk out that door. So today, I'm going to use the power of veto on you, Brittany. So Zach, gotta put you up on the uh, block, brother. You are the replacement nominee. This veto meeting is adjourned. Can I say something really fast? I'll be next, too. Okay. I know this puts my butt on the line. I knew by how she was acting with me, she was gonna throw the competition. As we That's were doing the competition, she didn't have her glasses, 
She never goes without her glasses. So I know what it's like to wake up with a knife in your back. So if you stay the on your chart, I get it. Yes. All right. So. Here's here's what my defense is. We all know how he is. Thank you. I'm sorry, but you're not a good person. I would rather throw my head on the toilet bowl and drown than stay with you another week. Brittany, you're right. He asked me to throw the competition. Did I throw it? No, I did not throw the competition. Yeah, you did because I said I was going to put the veto on your neck. Don't no, even stop. I did not. Time out. Going into this, I went to you and I said, if you throw the competition, because Brittany was my original target, I was able to have a couple conversations with her. I realized, you know what, she's here for her kids, and I don't want to do that to her. You did not even No, no, hold up, time out, time out. No, 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 this is no. after the, no. <laughs> you liar! Everybody listen to this. So am Dude, I going to get the finish? You are gonna like, read, talk yo, to? your daughter is going to look at this, and she's going to laugh at you because she hears every single conversation. You okay, have told everybody so. in the damn right. house. All right, my turn. I never liked Devin in the first place. He hit me with the first jab. That gives Zack Attack the green light to come back with an uppercut, and I play dirty. I'm going below the belt. I might have to blow up some other people's game. Frankie, don't feel threatened. Pow, you suck at everything, straight up. It's no big deal. It's true. Devin, there's not an ounce of truth in your body. So, there's no chance in hell I'm going home, letting you know that now. Every single person on this couch, I know you're gonna vote for me. I'm not worried. People on this couch, I'm not really sure at this point. Frankie, I don't really know, but I really hope you vote for me. Caleb, not so sure either. But all you guys know in this room, I'm not going home. Devin, your personality changes with the blow of the wind. I'm going after you. Everyone in this house should be going after you too. Yep, cool with me. No one is ever going to vote for you in the jury. All he does is smile with his fake smile. And uh, I'm, now I'm just like ranting on about how much I hate Devin. But um, you're a huge liar, dude. You called the house meeting, crying over your daughter. I would never compromise my honesty or integrity for any amount of money. And you do just that every single day since. Perfect, dude. So what's your response to that? Uh, best of luck to you, bud. All right, touche. Woo! I'm extremely pissed at Devin because when this all started, it was nobody from the bomb squad gets put up. It's week two. And so Devin putting Zach up is just showing that he's completely disloyal to the bomb squad. So Devin puts an Alliance member, Zach, up on the block. And next thing you know, he's flaming up, horns are coming out, and he's got words of blazing throwing the whole bomb squad under the bus. And anybody that tries to throw Beast smoke cowboy up under the bus. Son, I'm gunning for you. I'm super pissed at Zach right now. By Zach calling me out, he's immediately pointed out to everyone that I'm untrustworthy and someone who is in the middle of everything. Dude, don't be upset. Dude. Everyone still trusts you. Not anymore. Thanks to you. Are you serious right now? Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't understand why you would do that. Bro, I, I, it, was just, uh, it just came out. Like, I mean, I didn't mean anything by it. No idea why you would do that to me. It's just terrible. Yeah, well, now you have to work twice as hard to keep me safe. I will. I'm staying this weekend. You know I have your back 120%. I really do believe that Zach knows he screwed up, but regardless of how he feels personally, he still totally ruined my game. So you think people are going to vote for you than me? Why do you think that? No one trusts you. OK. Amber. Wasn't I loyal to you? I don't know. You always do this, pal. You always put someone on the spot. You're paranoid. How the hell am I paranoid? Dude, you're moping around. You were, what did you do yesterday? You didn't leave your room yesterday. I was sick. You really want to start this? You really I was want to start this right yeah, now? Yeah, let's go. Let's oh go. Debate God. right now. Oh, my God. I'm just telling you how I feel about you, dude. How do you feel about me? Tell me. Like, ooh. You're a huge liar, not. pal. OK, whatever. Because you threw the competition. I didn't throw the competition. Dude, all right. I told you the truth. I said, did I think about it? Yeah, I did. You are lying Zach. to me right now. You're a liar. All I don't right, need to whatever. justify myself. All we need is six. Because if we had six and six, I'll walk in there on the tiebreaker. So Zach's going home. Zach's going home. I think it's pretty clear that Zach is no longer in the bomb squad. It's important to replace Zach with somebody new because we still want to control the house boat. I want to make sure that we ride it out all the way down to the final eight. Hayden's the perfect guy to move into uh, Zach's spot in the Alliance. Hayden's trustworthy, he's a competitor, but also on top of that, he doesn't uh, get overzealous and that is a very valuable tool. First and foremost, dude, there's been an Alliance since day two. The Bomb Squad, which was me, Caleb, Frankie, Derek, Cody, Zach, Christina and Amber, that made it an eight-person alliance. One alliance member is gone now. We have the votes, he's gone. 
I trust you, everybody in here trusts you, you're a competitor. What I'm saying is we would like for you to be a part of this. You down? I mean, it's this is all like so fast. Like this is so much coming at me. Devin is revealing the golden bomb squad to me, but he's just forcing me to be in it. He says, hey, like, you know, we have the numbers, uh, join or die. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that if the numbers work and it's people who want to be here, so yeah. it, it all makes sense. I'm gonna say yes to his face, when in reality, my number one goal will be to blow up the bomb squad. God, I hope I stay this week, dude. Just keep a level head. You cannot, under any circumstance, repeat what happened in there today. I want to keep Zach here. Zach has already stated that he'll be going after Devin, and Devin will be going after him. As long as those two individuals are still in the house, I should be safe, which allows me to complete more missions for Team America. Ultimately, I'm voting the way you used to vote. Right. There's pros and cons for both. We just need to think about the best for the three of us. Yeah. Where do you stand on it right now? I still think that Devin and Caleb are stronger allies than Zach. But Pow hates Devin, too. 100%. She's like my best little friend in here. Yep. That don't mean I won't vote her out. I I'll throw this out there. If you think Devin and Caleb's got your back more than me and Derek, you're wrong. In, in all honesty, our best case scenario to make it another week is to vote for Zach to stay. So it looks like Zach is staying, and I want to be the one to tell Devin because I'm not sure how he's going to take it. And if I'm the one telling him, I can defuse it so that it works to my advantage. Zach is staying. How so? <sighs> Caleb did it because Zach had the votes to stay. Why would Caleb do that? So now Caleb. we are the bomb squad plus one. So now we are a nine person alliance. <sighs> I'm not in the squad no more, bro. This is a solo game for me from here on out. Only thing I can do is uh, win competitions and anybody can go up on the block now. All right, it is time for the live voting to begin. The two nominees, as always, are not allowed to vote. Devin, as current HOH, you will only vote in the event of a tie. Hello, Jocasta. Hi, Julie. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Zach. I vote to evict Zach. By a vote of 10 to 2, Zach, you are safe. Paula, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Oh, I'll see you in the club. Hold it up and run, run, run. I'll see you in the club. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> he just fell. Wow. <laughs> oh. God, it's so much quicker now. House guests, the power is up for grabs. Devin, as outgoing head of household, you are not eligible to compete. Now remember, we are crowning two HOHs, so the two players with the highest scores after everyone has hit will become the new heads of household. Congratulations to Derek and Nicole. The two of you are the two new heads of household.
Before the competition, I was having a few stomach problems. <coughs> and during the Battle of the Block, it was extremely hot. I'm about to throw up. So being so hot, not having that much to drink, just all took a toll on me. Let's take your shoes off. I feel horrible about Jocasta. She's all jacked up. I know she tried her hardest, but hey, I wanted to make sure an ally, a friend, and Amber, all together, were safe. So I threw it, and uh, hopefully this does not turn around and come and bite me in my butt. You could be my date to the finale. You could go ahead and say yes to that. Nope. What else do I have to do? Jeez. Hey. I just, uh, no, do we need to go over how important this was? <laughs> I don't want to hurt his feelings, but if he thinks that since he threw the Battle of the Block, I'm going to change my mind, I'm not going to. Of course, everyone in the house knows that Caleb has a huge crush on me, but Cody is one of my favorite people. We have a really good friendship and nothing more. I just love having Cody in the house. <laughs> what are you thinking about, Cody? I feel like I get testers from Caleb for talking to you. I'm so tired, like I'm drained. Pass out? No. Awkward. My buddy Cody, you know, a member of my alliance is trying to, you know, put his hands on old girl. Check this out, home skillet. If you're trying to move in on my queen, the king, Beast Mode Cowboy, is gonna have to step up. That's her. Yeah, yeah. To find out what in the heck's going on here. Are you all right, man? Yeah. You good? I feel like I shouldn't even ask you about it, because it's stupid. I don't know why, but I swear I feel like you and Amber have something going on. I don't know oh, why, dude. dude. Come on, man. No, honestly, dude. Like, for the past few days, I'm just like, dang, they're starting to hang out a lot. Wonderful. This girl is trying to detach herself from Caleb, and I don't know if she's into me or not, but obviously it's popped onto Caleb's radar. With this kid's ego, he'll come after me just out of spite. Now we can really talk. Yeah. Okay. If by chance he wins a POV, he takes himself off, Devin goes home. If he can't pull himself on the block and Devin wins it, what's your opinion? I, I, I want to get him out. Caleb. I want to get him out. I said it. This is the only shot we'd have to get Caleb out. You think so? Maybe it's a little paranoia, but I think that with all this Amber stuff going on right now, the second he's getting his chance, I'm going to be the one he's taking a shot at. You remember when Paula and Zach had their big blow up? Yeah. Before she left, she told me he was Amanda Zuckerman's cousin. Yikes, Serena. They don't look it. The cousins don't look alike. They kind of do look alike. They have their lines right here. I haven't told anybody else. Chris Tan is a very smart mm -hmm. person. So maybe only if you're alone with her, mention it to her and see what she thinks about Okay. Do it again. Let's get that going. Okay. Phase two is for me to go to Caleb so he'll tell Amber, because we all know he tells Amber everything. Donnie told me that before Pow Pow left, she told Donnie that Zach told her that he's actually Amanda Zuckerman's cousin. Zach could have told her that. 100%. because hey, I close. know she's leaving. I'm going to tell her a little secret. Could be true. But when you can get Amber alone, just ask her if Pow Pow ever told her anything. Intel says that Zach is Amanda Zuckerman's cousin. Hmm. Who'd you find out from? Through the grapevine. So you know, a little something. All right, let's do this. The crown jewel to top it all off, we're going to tell Zach about the rumor. And obviously, Zach has a big mouth. 
Before we even finish our complete sentence, he'll be running downstairs to address this rumor with the entire house. Done deal. My man Donnie here just told me that Pow Pow told him that you're actually Amanda Zuckerman's cousin. You're not, are you? <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear something really funny? Yeah. Pal told Donnie that I'm Amanda Zuckerman's cousin. Who's that? Are you her cousin? <laughs> yep. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys do look alike. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? During the operation, my main job was to just be a mole. So when Zach finally says there's a rumor circulating that he's related to Amanda, I am so overjoyed. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so I hear this rumor that I'm Amanda Zuckerman's cousin. You know, I'm not gonna say she's not. We're going to bed. Mm -hmm. I sure do feel sorry for Jocasta right now. She's not doing well. She just needs to lie in bed and hydrate. Jocasta, is this all from dehydration? Or do they think you have something else? Um, heat exhaustion and oh. dehydration. The poor thing is not even gonna be able to play in the veto competition. Hey guys, it's time to pick players for the veto competition. We're about to pick players for the veto competition. I gotta hope my number one target, Devin, doesn't get picked. It would allow me to execute the plan that I've had all along, which is to backdoor Devin. Only five people will participate in the veto competition. Unfortunately, Jocasta's ill and will be unable to participate. Christine. Lucky winner is Devin. Yes. Devin's chip gets pulled for the veto competition. I'm pissed off. I made sure to let him know that he's my target. If he stays this week, I'm screwed. Donnie. There are some people who think that you wouldn't use it to save Devin because there are some people that think you might be working with him. But what do you think? People think you're still in the double D of life. Donnie, Devin. Devin, D -D's. D -D's. double D. Double D's. Double D's. Uh -huh. yeah. For example, I had somebody come up to me yesterday and mention double D lines to me, before, and I didn't say it. You could put everyone at ease and say, hey, listen, but I'm the conversation. I don't know him nothing. It's time for the veto competition. The player who draws the first position will step up and challenge one of the other players in a head-to-head -head tumbling dice match. In each battle, both players will get inside the giant dice. I will spin the wheel to determine which number you'll be trying to match. When the bell rings, tumble your dice off the platform with the goal of returning to your platform with the correct number on the top of your dice. The first player on their platform with the correct number up stays in the game, but the loser is eliminated. The next player in line will then step up and challenge any of the players still in the game. This will continue until only one player remains, earning them the power of veto. Damn it. It's very important that I win against Devin today. I want to win every competition I'm in. I want to play as hard as I possibly can and as smart as I possibly can. Donnie wins and it's like the home team winning the World Series. We are screaming, I'm crying. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Devin is gone. That was probably the saddest moment of this game for me. All due respect to Donnie, he beat me fair and square. <sighs> yeah, I'm just, I was just fighting, dude. Congratulations, Donnie. <laughs> what? Yeah! You won the Golden Power Veto. Thank you. Hey, Jocasta, somebody's not going home. <laughs> oh. Jocasta's not going home this week. <laughs> it's okay, Jocasta. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't 
tremendous veto for Jocasta today means the world to me. Uh, maybe now she can rest tonight and get well and not have to worry about sitting on the block. A friend in need is a friend indeed. I don't want anybody to see me getting emotional. Anytime I put my head down and, you know, I see my daughter's name that is written on my wrist, I definitely feel like, like I let my daughter down. House guests, it's time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Caleb Winchacosta has been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of the nominations. I have decided to use the veto to save you, Jacosta. You were too sick to compete, and all I want is for you to get better. Is a house guest that's proven over the last couple weeks that is an extremely strong competitor, but unfortunately hasn't played the best social game. On behalf of all the house guests, Devin, take a seat. This veto meeting is adjourned. This is a very paranoid house right now. Caleb is a target. I am a target. But this is Big Brother, anything can happen. I would not be surprised if I'm still here come Thursday after the votes are in. <laughs> Taking Jocasta down was a no-brainer for me. She's a close friend in this house. She was sick, couldn't fight for herself. So I felt like it was my duty to fight for her. Yours truly is up on the block, but I'm a fighter. Caleb has some areas that I could pick apart. It may be worth seeing uh, how people feel. Devin is definitely still the target, but on the other hand, I still feel like oh, I'm catching a lot of heat from Caleb, and it's actually making me feel pretty uncomfortable in this game. I really think that there's enough people in this house that I can go and talk to and maybe get Caleb out of the house before Devin. This week's been kind of weird. It's like knocked me out a little bit. So I was in a relationship for such a long time, I got used to always having somebody. Mm -hmm. In the past year and a half, it's been nothing. Want to be my friend? Where are any friends? I was like waiting for you to do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So here's Caleb creeping around every single time I'm with Amber. This kid just always happens to pop into the room and just walk by to check up on her. It's definitely starting to get under my skin. So this love triangle going on between Caleb, Amber, and Cody is very dangerous for my game and for Cody's game. I don't want to lose an alliance member over a stupid love triangle. I just think that Caleb and Amber is not a good look for us. Caleb's walking around saying he has the numbers right now. That's when you make mistakes. He's in a Devin situation right now because he thinks he's got everybody like the bomb squad, but essentially he has none of the bomb squad. I'm so happy I have a boy to cuddle with in the BB house. You guys have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't in the plan, but... Aww. I'm serious, Hayden. <laughs> I'm pretty happy I have a girl to cuddle with in the BB house. You are? Mm -hmm. Wasn't in the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me with a kiss, sugar lips. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally starting to make some moves. Uh, Nicole seems like she's warming up to me. Please, let me get a kiss. <laughs> I'm gaining a newfound respect for Devin right now because, you know, this is a side that I saw really early in the game and then it disappeared for a really long time. I still think he's a good person that just really got caught up in the craziness of this game. Dude, me and Devin just had a long ass combo. <laughs> Devin? Yeah, he's actually, dude, he's gone through some in his life yeah so like i know he's not a bad person he he's just not think he came into this game and played it really bad really bad game now i'm just saying that i had a dream that Caleb went home you know what dude Caleb knows that amber's into me so like it's not a good thing so you send Caleb home i want to yeah i would too Devin's sitting in those orange chairs on the block he's always been my target 
But at this point, Devin's really alone in the house. Caleb's a beast. This could be a prime opportunity to get Caleb out while we can. We owe a lot to think about. Is there a plan to get Caleb out? Because if there is, it's smart. So if we're talking straight up truth, what makes you think that there's a plan to vote Caleb out? I'm hearing from a couple different people. That they're thinking about voting out Caleb? That, yeah. That there's the, the move is in the motion. If Caleb goes home this week, Devin still remains the largest target in the house. He's always going to be a larger target than me as long as he's in this game, and that's never a bad thing. Welcome back to Big Brother. Donnie's been suspected by his housemates of being an actor, a professor, and even ex-military. So Big Brother legend Jeff Schroeder went down south to visit those who know him best. I'm Jeff. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. You must be Donnie's brother and sister, right? Uh, Mom, Mom and dad. dad. Mom and dad, okay. <laughs> How come you guys don't watch Big Brother? Come down too late, and really, I just ain't never got interested in them kind of shows. I like cowboy pictures, and oh. I like gun smoke, and uh, I like Bonanza, which I've seen them all. How about watching your son, though? He dresses different on there than he does out here. I never seen him in shorts till I saw him on there. You don't like him in the shorts. No, I don't. You don't have but hair he's... from here yeah, down. Yeah, that's from a uh, tall drink of water song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, holler at us whenever, man. Oh, army boots. I rubbed his rubbed his hair raw. He's ex-military. <laughs> <laughs> What's your first taste of Big Brother? Did you like it? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> How about emotionally not having Donnie around? It's very tough. You know, he does things on a daily basis that I always took for granted. So now I'm gonna really make sure that I let him know that I appreciate it. Uh, so this last week, Donnie got called a rat. Never in my life no. I've heard of that Never. word to him. Never, so this- We might have caught him a little pest, but not a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Zach. Oh! oh up, Hello, Zach. Three weeks in. What has surprised you the most about living with all of these people in such close quarters? You know what, Julie? I'm not the friendliest person. And you know, there's a lot of people on this earth that I really don't like. <laughs> These, <laughs> these people right here, I especially don't like. And you know, I'm biting my fingernails every day, trying to get over the fact that all these people are extremely annoying. <laughs> well, you're doing it with a nice attitude. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. House guests, it's now time for the live voting to begin. Caleb, Devin, in just moments, your housemates will cast their votes to evict. All right, it's time for the live voting to begin. Derek, as head of household, you are not allowed to vote. Neither are the two nominees. With 11 votes to evict, Devin, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Bye. 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 Oh, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Brittany gave this to me. Oh. oh, yeah, right? But she didn't give you a vote. Real quick, a lot of theories have been talked about of what Donnie does for a living. Um, some rumors Is he are, who he says he is? Some say he was a college professor, a Navy SEAL, ex-military. Before I tell you the truth, what do you think he is? I think he wears that Harvard medical sweatshirt. I think he has something to do with Harvard. He wears all that camo <laughs> gear. I have no idea what he does. What does he do? He is a groundskeeper. No! Good old Donnie. Oh, Devin, Devin, your army that you formed turned against you, and that's so sad. But you get to see your daughter, so God bless you. See you soon. Not too soon. I just wanted to let you know, man, I really think you're an awesome guy. But inside the house, you've made some uh, bad choices. You've caused some damage. So not only did you put a member of our alliance up, but you blew the alliance up. And at that point, man, you know, it's uh, you're hard to trust. Welcome back to Big Brother. It's now time to crown two new heads of household. Each must nominate two house guests for eviction. Each team will have to work together to maneuver their eggs through the course to the slots on the other side. The first team to get all 12 eggs safely into their slots will be the new heads of household. 
The battle for HOH is underway, but there is another more covert challenge taking place in the Big Brother house. It's called Team America, and they are ready for their next assignment. So, what did you choose to be their second secret mission? Last night, you were asked who you wanted Team America to get on the block next week. And the winning answer is someone they believe is a physical threat. Congratulations, Tony and Frankie. You've won the competition. We decided to keep Caleb over Devin this week because he definitely is a number for us. But now with me being HOH, I know that I've been catching a lot of weird vibes from Caleb lately. And I'm just kind of waiting to see how the cards fall this week. Because essentially, I don't have a set target. Pretty, pretty into cost on this one. As far as I'm concerned, the bomb squad is over. With that being said, we're still going to kind of work together as a crew. Because in this game, it's crucial to have the numbers. And right now, we have them. So as long as we do, we need to hold on to that. I just know they're going to put me on. In the back of my mind, the bomb squad still does kind of exist. So I feel like I have a great chance at being put up on the block because I'm not a part of the bomb squad. Frankie is in Team America with me and Cody is a friend of mine. However, these two were both told to me as being in the eight person alliance makes me a little nervous. This is my mom and me and my little sister. This is not even Halloween. This is just like a random day in our house. This is how crazy we are. I haven't told anyone in the house that my sister is Ariana Grande. So when I walk into my HOH room, I'm really happy that my family sent this tiny picture with a little baby Ariana Grande wearing skeleton makeup so that I can keep my secret safe. It's for my sister. Dear Frankie, I love you and miss you so much. I'm a nervous wreck, but I know you're killing it. Whenever I'm faced with an obstacle, I think of you, and it makes me laugh, and it gives me strength. I hope you are staying strong and happy and are sharing your light. I love you. Be strong. Love, Ari. Oh. That's exactly what I needed to hear right now. It's kind of funny that all five of us are in here right now. Why is it funny? It's just funny because the bomb squad was originally eight people. Essentially, Caleb, Amber, and Devin, they're out. This is kind of the residuals. We're actually five. We're actually five, and this is the five. Devin is out the door. Caleb and Amber are too much drama to deal with, so what's left of the bomb squad are these five people, and these five people I really want to work with actually until the end, so it's perfect. A five-person thing can work. Yeah, and this can get us very far. So if we solidify this and we give it a name and, and we make it official and we all have each other's back no matter what till the end, we're all gonna get very far in this game. The bomb squad is dead. It's time for Zack Attack to make a huge move and solidify an alliance of five strong players to help this guy win this game. So us five are gonna be like, we're gonna be set in stone with a name, I love it. <laughs> yeah, no, we need to do this right this now. This is exciting. This, this is, is exciting. Really exciting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what would it be? Let's not this up, squad. Yeah, let's just. Let's, That's uh, what our name is. The Jiggly Jokers. <laughs> what? That's so stupid. The Jiggly Fine. Jokers. Why do we? Fine, Christine. You got any better? No, ideas? I don't have anything better. Bomb Squad was a good name. Jaeger Bombs. How about the Detonators? Oh! <gasps> I, I like love it. That a I lot. love it. For all of you keeping track at home, that is now two alliances that have just fallen into my lap because I've been in the right room at the right time. That's awesome. Team America, it's time to go on your second mission. America wants someone who Team America believes is a physical threat to go on the block. You must inform your fellow Team America members of this mission. The rest is up to you. Good luck and God bless America. Thank you so much, America. I will not let you down. This is Frankie of Team America signing off and heading out to battle. Team America, we have a new mission for the week. It's kind of crazy. We have to put a physical threat up on the block. This mission's gonna be really difficult for me even though I'm HOH because 
I'm aligned with pretty much every physical threat in this house, or at least they think I'm aligned with them. And for me to put one of them up, it might throw a little bit of a wrench in my game plan for this week. Um, we just have to get Donnie to agree that Amber is the physical threat. We have to agree together yes. in a group. It has to be a physical threat. Correct. Correct. So it's like a guy. Like well, a what we're thinking, the strongest physical girl threat right now, hands down, is mm -hmm. Amber. She's definitely a physical threat. She's the strongest girl here, by far. Oh, by far. I feel pretty good about this mission because Frankie is already head of household. Okay, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Brittany is telling me all this information in confidence, so obviously I will keep it completely to myself because this is Big Brother. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go tell Cody right now. <laughs> It's really insulting that Brittany would even mention, I'm gonna make my nominations based on uh, girls coming up and flocking and flirting in my room because that kind of says a lot about me as a person that I'm just gonna make my nominations kind of stupidly in this game. For her to say that is just downright insulting. Yeah. That pushes my buttons, man. That's just feel bad, like, I don't want Caleb to get pissed off. Oh my god, he's not pissed. Are you serious? No. Are you acting like I'm in a relationship with somebody? I know. You're like my best guy for an I know, but like, I feel awkward. Well done. Well, I do. <laughs> Caleb is definitely a threat to my game based on a personal level, and putting him on the block this early would draw a huge line in the sand, but. I'm definitely having that thought in my head a lot more than I was in the past. Victoria. <laughs> that girl. I don't have to cuddle with her this week. <laughs> Everyone gets their own bed. We figured it out. So Except good. for the girls. The eating. six girls are in here. Six girls in Who's this room. Victoria? You. <laughs> no. uh, so Julie told us that there's no have nots this week. That means that the bed situation is up for grabs. But no one, and I mean no one, wants to bunk up with Victoria. So what happened was, Nicole was like, no, I can't sleep with her. Amber was like, oh, I can't sleep. Oh, really? It's that much of a big deal to sleep with me? Oh my gosh, I want to sleep on myself. No. Oh my god, this is hilarious. No one wants to sleep with me in a bed. Who knew? I'm just so hurt by everyone, and I'm honestly over it. I don't trust anyone in this game. This is how we have to go out there. I'm not thinking that we're. Okay, I'm gonna use the restroom. Okay. So, am I going out? I think so. Are you serious? Why? There's no f***ing way going home. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I do not want to be sitting on the block. Okay. That's the only thing. Like, I don't want to, like, lose B.O.B. and be on the block. No. no That's my only good. thing. Be strong, and it's going to be totally fine. Time, okay. Even though Amber's definitely going in the block for Team America as the physical threat, I'm still the HOH that's nominating her, so I want to get as little blood on my hands as possible. I'm hoping that if I'm super honest with her, it'll minimize blowback if she does come off the block. Why can't any of the guys go as a pawn? Why does it have to be a girl? You know what I mean? Yeah. No, like, I totally why understand. are they being like chicken about it? Because they're guys. <sighs> this is a nomination ceremony. It is our responsibility as heads of household to each nominate two house guests for eviction. Based on a random draw, I will reveal my nominations first. I've nominated you, Victoria, and you, Brittany. You know, with a lot of the stuff that's gone on in the house over the past couple weeks, I based this nomination just on kind of not knowing where you guys are at. I've nominated you, Jocasta, and you, Amber. Jocasta, 
You're one of the fiercest persons I have ever met in my entire life. And Amber, you're one of my best friends in the house and one of the strongest physical competitors. And I hope you will still take me as your cuddle buddy. But this is all said and done. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. I'm just really bummed that I am on the block on the second time. There are so many power moves to make. And the fact that they're nominating me again just makes it almost pathetic. Did I do good? Yes. Do complete it. Oh, for you, America. She's up on the block. That's too good. Do it, okay? I really, really trust Christine, and I think with her by my side that we can get some of these guys out of the house. If you compare me and Victoria, that's like broccoli and apples. I, I couldn't have compared you guys. I'm sorry, I have every reason to be freaking pissed. Dude, I've sacrificed everything. Hi. You good? Yeah, I can tell. Warriors, you must move like a knight does in chess, either one square vertically and two squares horizontally, or two squares vertically and one horizontally. Once you land on a square, it becomes out of play and no one can land there again. Run out of moves, you're out of the game. The last team with a knight standing wins the battle and vanquishes the HOH who nominated them. Here I am going after Victoria and Brittany, and what do I do? I trap myself. I have no more moves, and now I have no more moves. I have no more moves to make. Dang it. Congratulations, Jocasta and Amber. You guys win. It's time for some tar and feather. I am dethroned as HOH, which kind of sucks, but I get to compete next week in HOH, and I'm pretty sure Cody's got my back as a fellow detonator. Is everything okay, Britt? I'm good. You, you haven't been the happiest girl lately. How come you don't talk to me? Talk to you about what? I Nobody's talking to me. Everybody's acting like I'm shunned. Well, how bad do you want to stay here? Well, you know what? So I could just be put up next week again. I don't trust anybody in this house anymore. You don't trust anyone? Not really. I trusted Cody, and look where that got me. Up on the block. Just because I'm not shoving my in his face. <laughs> oh! The truth comes out! Brittany is without a doubt the target for the detonators this week. She can complain all she wants, but unless she wins the power of veto, there's nothing her or her boobs can do to save her. She's going home, no doubt about it. It doesn't even hurt that bad. It just... It Scares me. Okay, that's it. No, no, no. I got a little secret for you. She's not into you, man. There's plenty other fish in the sea. And on top of that, you know Cody's my boy. I'm gonna relay this whole conversation right back to him ASAP. Caleb is really pissed at you. I literally don't give a that he's pissed at me. Good, it's good. you shouldn't. Want you shouldn't. Good, you're gonna be we pissed should. at me over a personal thing because a girl that you're creepily obsessed with doesn't want you sorry. Yeah. He's pissing me off and he's becoming a threat in the, like to me in the game. No, without a doubt, he even said you're putting a target on your back. Oh God, dude, that's just... But he's alone in this game, which is good. Because the only person who really, really knows that he has 100% is Amber. <laughs> so this whole Caleb situation is honestly driving me crazy. He's definitely a number for my alliance, but I know that it's only a matter of time before this kid is going to be coming after me. 
everybody, it's time to pick players for the veto competition! Yay! Right now, I just want to see people from my alliance get picked for the power of veto. Really want to keep my nominations the same so that I don't have to get any more blood on my hands and we can send Bernie packing. Will the two nominees please join me up here? I'm really hoping that Caleb or Amber get picked for the veto competition because they're really both strong competitors. Zach. <laughs> Nicole! Ooh, house guest choice. Okay, um, Caleb. Brittany picks Caleb? Like, where does that come from? I only picked you because you look yummy in that shirt. So now I'm over here being like, are they working together? She definitely didn't pick him because he looks yummy in that shirt. Like, trust me on that one. Brittany picks him to play in the veto, and now he's sitting here all gung-ho about keeping Brittany over Victoria. So now it's really starting to make sense. If this crab doesn't stop, I'm going to have to definitely deal with this sooner rather than later. Hey, everybody! It's time for the veto competition! Grab your balls and meet me in the backyard! House guests! The World Cup may be over, but the BB Cup kicks off today! I have your first piece of news from the outside world. The winner of the 2014 World Cup is... Germany! Oh! Like the World Cup, this veto competition will be played in a series of rounds. In each round, you'll launch your soccer ball at the giant soccer net. After everyone has taken a shot, the player scoring the fewest points in each round will be eliminated. Before taking a seat, claim your trophy and reveal the prize hidden inside. But don't get too attached to it because the players eliminated after you have the option of keeping their prize or trading for yours. The last player standing will have their choice of any of the prizes, including the power of veto. Sorry, Cody. Please claim the sixth place prize. <gasps> oh! oh, there it is. <gasps> Congratulations! You currently have the veto. I know I'm not gonna be holding on to this thing for long. I've completely lost control of how this game turns out now. Go claim your fifth place trophy and reveal the prize. Penalty kick. For the next 24 hours, every time you hear the penalty kick whistle, you must go to the backyard and give yourself 10 kicks in the butt. I would like to trade my penalty kick for the power of veto. Go claim your fourth place prize. Germany vacation. Oh, wow. I always wanted to take my beautiful girlfriend to Germany, so I think I'm gonna keep the prize. Yeah. To all the single beautiful ladies in America, if you would like to accompany Zach Attack to Germany, it's free. Please claim your third place trophy. Oh gosh. Goal oriented? You'll have to be goal oriented to accomplish this task because you need to score 2,400 soccer goals in 24 hours. <laughs> if you fail to complete the task, you will not be able to compete in the next veto competition. Oh. I'm gonna trade this for the power of veto. Thanks a lot, Nicole. I'd really love to kick you 2,400 times in the head right now. Sorry, Victoria. Please claim your second place trophy. $5,000. Would you like to keep your 5K or trade it for one of the other prizes? Think what's best for your game, Victoria. Don't worry about anything else. Nicole, congrats for $5,000. <laughs> Germatard. Oh! In celebration of Germany winning the World Cup, you get the honor of wearing the Germatard all week long. I gotta take the five stack. Are you serious? What are you doing? He's definitely not a team player, is he? Caleb is a dumbo of all dumbos. Poor Cody now is gonna put him in. He may have stirred up a little bit of waters. I hope he has, because Cody is gonna have to nominate someone else. I hope it's the dumbo. Oh my 
Victoria is obviously going to use the veto on herself, which I don't blame her. Caleb uh, picked the $5,000 cash over picking the veto to save me. So I just feel really alone in the house. Couldn't work out there. Well, now Cody has to put get blood in his hands. Oh, you're so. putting him on the block. You just stole five Gs. You're going no, on the block. Oh, oh, so do it. Do it. I don't care. Now Victoria is going to be using the power veto on herself. So that means I'm going to be getting more blood on my hands this week. I need to definitely think what's best for my game, and it could be trying to get Caleb out right now when I have the chance. Yes, it was stupid that Caleb took the $5,000, but if Caleb goes up on the block, he will go home and we will lose an ally. So stick to the plan, Rose. You okay? No, I'm going home. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm pretty much screwed in this game. Not only have I lost the veto and failed at a chance to save myself, but I have this freaking goal-oriented punishment. Let's go, Britt. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. Yeah, it's easy until you do it 2,400 times. 2,400 goals in 24 hours. This just really sucks. Penalty kick. I have penalty kick, which is for 24 hours, I'm gonna have to take 10 kicks to the butt every single time a whistle's blown. Look at that shoe! That is a big shoe! Oh my, oh my god, this is the best day of my life. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> wow. Last one, right? Nicole, please go to the oh. diary. because the next time you see me, I'm gonna be in a dramatar. Hey everybody, you want to see my dramatar? You look so cute! Dude, I got beer. Yeah, you look good, Nicole. You're such a cute German! Nicole, you rock in that dramatar. Am I? Well, America, I'm in a dramatar. I don't know how to drink this. This is a stick. <laughs> Oh, it hurts so bad. This punishment is definitely the hardest thing I've faced in my life. I'm just in so much pain. That's Good job. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> There's nothing better than a back door. Oh, yeah. And if he goes home, that would be super. If Cody threw up Caleb, Caleb would for sure go home. For sure, without a doubt. And I'm gonna literally be like, yo, what wouldn't you put up B-Smoke out of Because if he don't put him, he's just gonna be cockier next week and he could win head of household. Okay. Then who's he gonna put up? Right, Maybe some tough boys. Donnie is speaking my language right now. Caleb is a love struck, fruit loop, dingus, fool again. And if we can backdoor him this week, and I think we have the numbers to do it, I would love to send him right back to Kentucky where he belongs. Only 400 more. You've got it easily. My body is aching. My big toenail is halfway on. Like, my feet are killing me. Probably the worst pain I've I've been in in a long time. I'm gonna get up. You want help? You good? I'm good. I feel like every challenge I've had, I've never really been able to kind of prove myself. And if there are doubtful people in this house that question, you know, how strong of a player I am, I just kind of wanted to prove myself. If you put Caleb on the block, it's very possible that he will not go home. No, no, Caleb will go home. <laughs> put up Donnie. Donnie's the obvious choice as a pawn this week. He's not in our alliance and everyone likes him, so it ensures that Brittany's gonna go home. Come on, Cody, this is an easy one. It's a layup. You could vote Caleb out this week, but you're looking at face value and not long term. Because if Brittany and Amber stay together, they're not good for our game because you think they'll vote to keep you here? They won't. Caleb is a number on our side of the house and he's a very loyal number so it's not time to strike yet sit back cody you have the numbers i had a, a whole bunch of people in the room yesterday and i was like who am i gonna put up on the block 
I don't want you to base decisions off what other people in this house want you to do. You don't have to give in. You can play your own game. Think about your family, what they would want you to do. If I didn't put Caleb up, my brother would be calling me the biggest. You're not looking like the bad guy yet. This is the week where you draw the line in the sand. So you have a big decision to make. You OK? Yeah, I'm putting Caleb on the block. And honestly, I don't expect you guys to vote him out. I'm not saying that. Vote Brittany out, because I think she's a threat. I don't want her coming after you. I don't want her coming after you. But I'm OK with Caleb coming after me. All I keep thinking of is staring at is a picture of my brother, and he'd be like, you're for backing down to this kid. So for me, they kicked me, so he's going to sit on the block. What? Stop. Breathe. Think. This is a terrible game move. Brittany is out to get all of us. Caleb is out to get a date with Amber. It's time for me, again, to do some damage control. Right now, I need to convince Cody within a matter of minutes that he has to stick to the plan. If he doesn't, it could be a detriment to all of our games. Frankie just woke me up. Yeah, I know he did. He's a little weasel. Bro, I just have gotten to the point where I like literally am so pissed that I was in this situation because of this kid. If I don't put him on the block, God forbid Donnie goes home. And Brittany stays. Well, Donnie, Donnie would never go home over her. I think Caleb will go home. I think me and you are going to regret it. Hey, guys, it's time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Brittany and I have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of the nominations. I have decided to use the power of veto to save myself. Congratulations, Victoria. Uh, I'm really happy for you, honestly. Um, with that being said, you know, being up here is kind of always a tough decision. Uh, getting extra blood on your hands kind of sucks. And I hope there's no hard feelings in this situation because I love everybody in this house. Uh, I'm sorry, Tani. This veto meeting is adjourned. Cody assured me he wouldn't put me up. In this game, you don't take anybody's word for what they say. You were the only person I was hoping would be sitting by my side. I was the only person that I was hoping that you'd be sitting beside me. <laughs> Dad tore me up to have to put someone up who, number one, I just told I wasn't going to. And two, I don't really feel deserves to be up on the block. Bro, if he puts me up next week, Frankie, I'm going to no. kick you in the nuts. Cody, there's no way. I feel like such a bitch. You good, man? Oh, yeah. You're just, you're just, uh, you have my vote. You know, it's his day. OK. I don't think you have. I think it's going to be a unanimous one for you to stay, honestly. Just a flip that I think. I think everyone loves you. Everyone wants you here. and. She's ruffled a lot of feathers, so I think that's my personal opinion. Did you talk to him this morning? And he said he wasn't putting you up? He said he wasn't putting me up, yeah. I feel terrible that Donnie's on the block. Although I'm not the one who put him there, I definitely didn't fight for him either. So unfortunately, this is kind of a necessary evil to ensure that Brittany goes home this week. It's definitely comforting that Derek is telling me I'm safe, but I know there's people behind Cody doing things. It could be Derek. I'm kind of suspicious of him being the kingpin, but I hope I'm wrong. I don't expect you to like be 100% happy with me because I know I'm about the situation. I, I think I handled it very well. I thought about this like a lot. It wasn't like a spur of the moment decision for me. I was like, if I want to secure Brittany out, it has to be Donnie. 
I was looking at it in another way, like, yeah. uh, like maybe you have this other big alliance that you like. And you do like me, but you was willing to risk me. I was fishing for information from Cody about this big alliance, and he wouldn't give it up. But I hope when you yeah. see on Thursday that it is literally 10 to 0, then you'll be like, OK. Can I talk to you now? If I want to stay this week, I definitely need to talk with somebody that has a big influence on a lot of the other house guests. I think that Caleb is one of those people. I just um, feel like what you say, a lot of people listen to. Yeah. I don't care what I have to do, like, to stay. I just, I strongly feel like he's a bigger threat than I am. It pisses me off that I just feel like I have fought so much harder to yeah. go home before a couple of people, and I refuse to go home before them. Zach and Victoria. Yeah. I feel that you're not going to come after me, so in my opinion, yeah. I feel like even you would be better for my game, too. Donnie is more of a threat, and I don't want that kind of person in here coming after me. The thing about Donnie is, is he could be a big threat to the bomb squad. You know, he's already proven himself more than one time. He's a huge competitor. He's pulled himself off the block. He's won the POV a few times. He might just get some power and come after us. Both of the people that are up there, we can't trust them as, as far as we Period. can throw them. So if we collectively said Donnie's going home, well, then Donnie would go home. I don't think any of us have any allegiances to him. Right. Yep. Frankie, please go to the diary room. Ah. My dearest Frankie, I'm so sad to tell you that Grandpa lost his battle with cancer. He wanted you to know how proud he is of you and that he is rooting for you to win. Even though he had no idea what was going on on the show, he was watching just for you, live feeds and all. He also insisted that whatever happened, he didn't want to interfere with this opportunity for you. Please don't think about coming home. All of us are here strongly supporting you and encouraging you to work hard like Grandpa did his whole life. Be strong as he would be and smile because he deserves to be celebrated. <laughs> this is a crazy game. We are being cutthroat and sometimes downright hurtful. But when something terrible happens, we have no one to go to but each other. And in this moment, I feel so supported and that is so wonderful. Well, I have some news for everyone. Last week, there were no have-nots, but this week, they're back. And they've already been determined. Oh! <laughs> the four have-nots are the four laziest players in the game, as determined by the activity trackers you're all wearing. Amber, how do you think you did this week? I think I did great. I'm cleaning this house all the time, so I'm running around oh everywhere, so I think I did great. Okay. <laughs> Christine, let me ask you, who do you think is definitely a have-not? Um, honestly, probably Zach. Hey, what can I say? Well, let me tell everyone, we have been monitoring all of you, all of your activity for several days, and here are the results. The four laziest people in the house this week and thus the have-nots for the week are Nicole <laughs> Caleb oh! 
Christine. And Derek. Yes! Oh! <laughs> what are your parents' names? Jenny and Dave. Can't wait to meet you guys. <laughs> My name's Jenny and I'm Nicole's mom. Nicole's very funny and she's smart. She doesn't always show it. Hey, qu will you quiz me on my states? What is the main weather type in Oregon? That's not a state, is it? Oregon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't travel the world, Hayden. Hayden is a little weird, I think. Why? Because, um, I don't know, he always tries to make sex with Nicole. <laughs> You look good today. I honestly showered. You want to come cuddle? No. Okay, fine. It takes Nicole a long time to warm up to a guy, and she plays extremely hard to get. Will you be my wife? Would you oh be my God. God. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, my God. What? Is this serious? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Big Brother. Brittany or Donnie, one of them is about to trade in the Big Brother house for their own house. Let's return to the living room and begin the live vote. House guests, it's now time for the live voting to begin. As always, the two nominees are not allowed to vote. Cody, as current HOH, you will only vote in the event of a tie. With 10 votes to evict, Brittany, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Bye, guys. Good luck. I love you, Brittany. I love you. Love you, Brittany. Love you, girl. House guests, the power is up for grabs. Cody, as outgoing HOH, you are not eligible to compete. This competition is called Country Hits, and here's how it works. Two at a time, you'll face off at the podium. There, you'll hear a short country song that will describe one of three competitions that took place this summer. Your goal is to identify one of the three types of competitions, either HOH, Battle of the Block, or Power of Veto competition. The last two house guests standing will be the new heads of household. Okay. Frankie. You want to see your grandfather, right? Yeah. You want to see your grandfather? Derek and Frankie, here's your song. <laughs> Frankie, you rang in first with HOH. That is correct. That was the Over the Coals competition. And also, Frankie, congratulations. You are the first HOH. So go ahead and have a seat. That was Night Moves competition. Congratulations to you, Zach, and to you, Frankie. You two are the new heads of household. Derek, I have a question for you. When you were up there against Frankie, yeah. did you not know the answer, or did you throw that to Frankie? I, I knew it right away. I was in it, but there are some things that are bigger than this game. I want him to see his grandfather, and you know what? I, I feel good about my decision. I'll, I'll eat slop for a week. Okay. Obviously, I'm ecstatic that I was able to throw the competition to Frankie, and now he gets to see his grandfather. On the other hand, you have Zach as HOH, and he's kind of a wild card. He's unpredictable, so you never know what you're going to get with him. That could have worked out any better. <laughs> I've got one main target. Her name is Amber. Why, you ask? I had a little birdie chirping in my ear this week telling me that Amber is coming after all the guys and most specifically, yours truly, Zack Attack the Beast. I'm tired of being a mom for all of these clients. I can't Um, so she wants to work with Nicole and I to get the boys out and that's their first target. <laughs> and you said yes, right? Absolutely. Okay, good. <laughs> Dude, I gotta get the first jab in and make sure I send her home before she gets the chance to send me home. My bad, Amber. <laughs> Amber. 
Are you okay? Do you need ice? Here, do you need no. ice here? Oh, did you hear oh right in the leg? God, yeah, that's it hurt. Do you need ice? No, I'm good, I promise. I'm so sorry. You okay? Yeah, it's good. I'm, I'm a, sorry. I'm a tough one. <laughs> oh. Yeah, give her a hug, Cody. Didn't you think it was a little suspicious to put me and you together? Donnie. Christine, pick the next dude to face off. Um, uh, Donnie and Jacosta. Donnie and Jacosta, come on up. Donnie, I'm no fool. It's crazy. I mean, I know that was the best hug I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> Let's do it again. Do we have a target? Okay, but I think you have to be the one. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, you knew when you said in the first place is always going to be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm, I'm going to get blood on my hands and I'm all fine with that. I like, I want to get blood on my hands, dude. I don't get, I want Caleb this to me. I don't care. I am stoked to be HOH this week. All I want to do is send Amber packing out the door. Bye bye. Hasta nunca. If Zach wants to put Amber up, quite frankly, I wouldn't like it because, for one, she's an Alliance member and that would definitely go against the grain. But on the other token, Amber's starting to, uh, you know, get a little bit too big for her britches in this house and she's forgetting. Who is keeping her safe in this game? How about I go up and talk to her and say, I want to know where your head's at. If you get power next week, who are you putting up? She'll tell me. And leave it at that. What's up? <sighs> what? People are telling Zach that if you come in power next week, you're coming after him. He's like, look, dude. I got people telling me that Amber says that I'm her target. Who's saying that? You know, so tell me. No. Well, here's the thing. If it was to cost them Donnie, I never even said that to them. It wasn't. So there's people within the Alliance. If he does that, then I'm going to mention the whole Alliance. That's all I got to say. Who wants to see our HOH room? The HOH room! Oh, wow. Little broski right here. Look at that little stunt. Hey, Zach's actually a handsome guy right there. Look at him. Wow. Dinosaur. Look at this guy. Frankie, he's your twin. He is. That's like, unbelievable. That's him always, always in a suit and tie. It doesn't matter if he's standing. I ran straight to the pictures to see my grandfather's face. I mean, he is the most adorable man to ever walk the planet Earth. Oh, God, I love him so much. And he will be so, so, so missed. And that really felt awesome to see his face. I mean, you know, it doesn't do me any good to get... Why is this week the worst week? It's hard. I know. Did you want her in here or do you want to just talk yeah, to her? Yeah, no, I do want to talk to her. Okay, good. All right. Okay. You're going to have to take one for the team this week, girl. No, yep. no, yep. I didn't hear that. Yep. No, You're going to have to. I didn't hear that. What happened? You're going to have to. Why? Somehow, somehow, something's in the air. You have a severe case of narcolepsy. And in this POB competition, you are going to fall asleep and lay on the nope. ground. I won't throw it. What is this? Listen, what is okay, this is the place where it's going to play. Amber's coming after me. I know this. For sure. You have to put her up. I have to put her up. So you, you, you. I'm you. not going to throw it. Zach wants to nominate me along with Amber and have me throw the battle of the block competition. That would mean that I would stay on the block as a nominee. Oh, uh, hell no. Dun, dun, dun. All right, you slice it up for me right now. I'll do it now. Okay. The possibilities of me going on this date with Amber outweighs the fact that I hate pickles. Amber, can you please come downstairs for a second? Yeah. I honestly thought that this kid was going to let the whole pickle thing go. I thought that he forgot about it. I forgot about it. I got to eat this whole thing. That's Don't eat it. Why not? You're going to get sick. I think it'd be worth it. Oh, my goodness. Stop. 
Amber, next time, think before you speak. It's the nastiest thing I have ever put in my mouth. Literally, you put a squid in your mouth with a pickle taste. That's exactly what it tastes like. <gasps> he put the whole thing in his mouth. Pickle completely gone. This country boy is about to take old Amber on a date. What did you say yesterday? I didn't think you'd do it. Now I'm kind of stuck in a pickle, and I have no idea how to get out of this one. <laughs> Where am I sitting? Right on here. On this side. Thank you, Caleb. You're welcome. All right. Well, you got a BB date. <laughs> I know. This should be the best date that I have ever had in my life. So. This is funny. What? We're on a date. I know. This is funny. This is a big brother date. It means something to me. So. Good. I mean, this is a nice little setup. I'm, yeah. I'm kind of surprised. Hey, like, I thought about the hammock and I was like, they all do hammock dates. That's, pff, I want a candle lit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And I figured it would be nice. Well, thank you. I have like an ant in my talk. This is my first and last date with Caleb. You know, I'm not, I'm not interested. And I don't think he's realized that yet. Was that harsh? <laughs> that makes it even more reason to. She'll blow all of us up. Blow what up? The bomb squad. Up. To who? Victoria. <laughs> a back door could totally work that Yeah. Way. Back door, Amber. Get her out of here. I don't think it's a bad move. And then who are you going to put up? Donnie and Jocasta. We don't want to put up Donnie. Yeah, don't put up Donnie. So you want to put up Nicole and Jocasta? But I come to, to Christine to, to help the team out, throw the competition, and she flips a... Did and she like, not flip... We literally just started a group of five, and we can't even keep one of those five off the block when two of those five are in power. Dude, I'm just saying, dude, when I go up to her and I'm saying, can you just throw the competition, and she literally flips... No, she's only looking out for herself. Zach, we already knew that this kid was just stirring drama up. He just loves doing it. And so now that he has an HOH key around his neck and he's got a little bit of power, it's like multiply it by a million and stick a firework underneath him and just set him off. What are you doing? How do I put this? People that don't pull their weight in an alliance get left behind. Or should I say, evicted. And as I'm looking at Zach, I'm staring at like, a villain and i'm like what have we created what monster is sitting in front of me it's not good i really like nicole she's extremely gullible and if christine doesn't want to play for team detonators step up to the plate and do something for us i'm gonna mess with her game a little bit what's your thoughts i guess obviously amber's the target because she's coming after me so that's who i want gone in a perfect world i put her up next to christine christine throws the competition Worst case scenario, Amber wins the veto and Caleb goes home. You know? Right. In a perfect world. But, you know, Christine is so adamant that she can't do that. Between you and I, I wish I could just tell you everything. Because there is something. Really? Yeah. Hmm. And I trust you not to tell anyone. I don't tell any anybody anything. How much do you trust Christine? I trust her. With, with, with your life? I don't know about my life. I don't think I trust anybody in here with my life. You trust her the most out of anyone in this house? Are you guys in an alliance? We're strictly friends. Really? When Zach's asking me how much I can trust Christine in this game, I'm thinking that he knows something that I don't. So I'm just nervous that she has an alliance with other people that I don't know about. At this point, I am so confused. I need to talk to Christine because I don't know what's going on. And I'm paranoid and I need to fix it. I don't know if I'm just being paranoid or what, but is there anything that you want to tell me? Of course I trust you, but then like, Zach was, this is what I got from Zach's vibe. Basically, he just kept saying to me like, how much do you really trust Christine? Like, do you really know, do you really know everything? Like, I wish there's, I could tell you, there's so much that I could tell you. Can I it, you? it makes me worried a little bit because of the mob squad and it's fine. And I just feel like coming out and telling you right now, like, because otherwise it will build up and I'll be like Paranoid. watching you more. <laughs> I have been flat out lying to Nicole about being involved with the detonators. And if Zach blows this for me, I am going to be royally screwed. He is trying to pin me against you. It's driving me nuts. What's he trying to do right now? I don't know what he's busy. I cannot blow up on Zach right now. No. If he was an HOH, I would be running to 
his face and screaming right now. And I just don't know what I can do. No, you don't do anything. No, you just gotta wait till tomorrow. Frustrating. If Christine has been playing me this whole time, I don't even know what I would do. She's the one person that I really want to work with throughout this whole game, and it would, it would honestly just break my heart. We are playing a very good game right now. Obviously, it's something you, to but isn't, you and I are playing a really good game, and it's just it's crazy that we're kind of playing it together. The detonators are great because there's people in that alliance that I really trust and want to work with. But at the end of the day, there's only two of us that are gonna be in the finals. And I think that Derek is just as down as I am to work together to the end. Hey, we're gonna make it to the end. I really wholeheartedly believe it. Dude, he, he, Zach, man. No, but Zach, we gotta keep him on a short leash. His game sucks. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Thought you were going to sleep, Paisan. Who's winning between you two clowns? He's smoking me. The debt meters could be a good thing going forward at this point, but it's still too large of a group and there's too many promises being made. We have Zach, unpredictable and erratic. We have Frankie, charismatic, but sly. And then we have Christine, floating by, but methodical. So now me and Cody, we have a final two deal and we can use that to our advantage. Silent killers? No. I like the whole, like, the quiet. Yes. Like quiet. That's, that's where I'm going, that's where I'm trying to go with it. Silent. Undercover. How about the hitman? Dude, you don't see it coming. Dude, the hitman? You just got whacked. I love it, dude. So there it is, folks. The hitman have been formed. And you better be careful, because when you find out you're the next target, it's already too late. Team America. It's time to go on your next mission. America wants you to play the role of puppet master and get two house guests to have an argument at either the nomination ceremony or the veto meeting. This may be the toughest mission yet. We will try our best to get this to take place for America. We've got to get two house guests to have a heated argument for at least 20 seconds or longer. It can only take place at the nomination ceremony or the veto meeting. That's gonna be, that's gonna be hard. Uh, America, this is gonna be a hard one. But of course I'm gonna try and do it. It's like about it with Zach, anything is possible. That's the only good thing we got going for us. We've got to come up with the two people that we think Zach going to be one of, because he's a hothead. This mission might be a little difficult this week, America, but luckily I have my Zach attack. Then I just need to poke a little bit with a cattle prod. I think I'll be able to do it. All right, I don't want to say. I am crushing your stuff right now. Yeah. Uh, Starburst, like, I've nominated you, Christine. If there was a Big Brother dictionary, <laughs> <laughs> you better stick to this one because it sounds like it's going somewhere good. Yeah, I like it. Zach starts rolling off his uh, speeches for the nomination ceremony. I glance at Frank and I think we could use this. This might be in favor for Team America. If we pulled out the Big Brother Dictionary today, and we looked up the word floater, it would be a picture of you, Christine, and Jen City holding hands. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the best thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh my god, you can't you say, say that. Why? <laughs> no, no, you have to say that. That's perfect. <laughs> He's gonna smoke coming out of her ears. Don't change a thing, perfection. <laughs> and just be like, do you have, like, give her a chance, like, What's your response? It's not the best decision to get into an argument or any type of confrontation at the nomination ceremony. But with Zach, he thrives on it. So I'm sitting there going, go Zach. There's no telling what Zach is gonna do. And I could even be going up or even going home this week. Hey, did you want to talk to me at all? No, not really. Not Maybe tomorrow. Well, I like rather you and I talk than you go to Caleb and come to me. You know what I mean? No, you're, you're exactly right. Yeah, I feel you. I heard you yeah. saying things about me. I've had your back completely, and I haven't put you up. I haven't done anything. I think it was like he say, she say stuff. Like, um, that's kind of stressed me out, so. I should be coming to you if I yeah, have anything to say. And, yeah. and the same for you, you know? I think we just need to hash things out, and yeah. whatever happens, happens. But mm -hmm. if, if, like, if you have any concerns, questions, or anything, like, as adults, like, just yeah. come to me. Okay. Like, Amber! Thank you very much for coming and waking me up at 5 in the morning. I'm not too pleased. However, I'm going to do you a solid favor, and I'm not going to put you on the block. 
but I am going to backdoor you. This is the nomination ceremony. It is our responsibility as the two heads of household to each nominate two house guests for eviction. Based on a random draw, I will reveal my nominations first. I've nominated you, Jocasta, and you, Victoria. I've nominated you, Christine, and you, Nicole. Christine, if we pulled out the Big Brother dictionary and we looked up the word floater, it would be a picture of you holding hands with Gen City, basically irrelevant. Nicole. Oh, Nicole, you know so much about this game and you look super cute in your Germitard. Like a true super fan. Well, you Fruit Loop dingus, I bet you didn't see this coming. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. Are you okay? I am on the block right now and I am pissed off at Zach and I'm very livid that I'm up next to Nicole. If Zach thinks that he can blow up my game with Nicole and put me on the block, he is sorely mistaken. I don't know. I, 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 I left out on that part. The fact that Zach went out of his way to call me a Fruit Loop dingus and tag me personally about things that I don't even know what he's trying to get at was just horrible. It hurt my feelings and I guess I just needed to cry. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Yeah, of course. I know you're pissing me, and you, you, you can be pissing me, so. I'm not really pissing you for that. I'm pissing you at you running your mouth yesterday, last night. About what? Um, Nicole telling her that she can't trust me and all of that stuff, so. I never said that. Oh, <laughs> you're cute. I know you did, so, okay. <laughs> you know what? I know you did. You say those things, so. <laughs> so, that was cute denial, but. Okay, well. That's I what mean... I'm upset about you. That's okay, whatever. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, cool, all right. That like it was I did ridiculous. not know what to do. That was the most okay. I did not know my reaction at all. So basically, I did the only thing that I think that I could do. Did you know that anything like that speech or what? <laughs> no. But I'm not kidding you, he changed his mind 45 times before I went to bed. Right now, everybody is fuming at Zach and everyone in the house is Team Christine and Nicole. So I have to appear like I am on the house's side and I will do whatever is necessary to make the house happy, even if it includes throwing Zach under the bus. Here's how it works. You and your partner must build a giant wedding cake. Once you have completed your cake, climb to the top with your partner. The two of you must stand on top together for at least three seconds to win. Ready. Congratulations, that's a win! Now that I am the sole HOH for the week and Lunatic Zach has been dethroned, I have a lot to think about this week. Backdooring Amber is definitely mission one for the week, but if the house calls for Zach's head, I might have to give it to them. Yo, that's amazing. Yeah, it's kind of Now we have two weak players playing in Viva. Yay! My nominees lost the Battle of the Block, which means I am the sole HOH for the week, which means I can get on with my plan to backdoor Amber. But two things need to happen first. The veto needs to be used, and we have to get Caleb on board. The yeah, you or uh, Donnie. Because I don't think it'll look suspicious, and yeah, he'll right. definitely use them under Costa. Like, that. definitely. So the battle of the block is over, I'm dethroned, however, couldn't be happier that one of my best bros is sleeping up in the HOH pad still. Frankie and I are tight, we're gonna stay the course, Amber has gotta go. Boom! Christine and Nicole are having knots this week, and uh, I'm feeling like I haven't agitated enough people today, so I need my daily fix. What are you gonna say? You're not gonna say anything? I'm just gonna eat a bunch of food in front of their face. Like, what's up, guys? Just eating my beef jerky and Starburst. Oh, I forgot. You're a have not. Oh, oh my God. I love you. Love you. Zach's always trying to stir the pot, but who does he decide that he's gonna do it with now? The have not. The people that are sleeping in a freezing cold room on ice blocks and can't eat anything at all. And who he just put up on the block. 
This kid is going so far overboard. What's up, Zach? What's up? You guys want any Starburst or beef jerky? Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not. I'm trying to see what's up. Just trying to eat some slop. I guess that's what you get for being lazy. Zach is crazy. He's a lunatic. Why the heck am I still in alliance with this guy? He's Devin. He's Devin. I am worried about public opinion with him. Because if you get the chance, everyone's going to want you to put him on the block. Absolutely. If everyone in the house wants Zach gone, we would have to have that conversation. If Zach doesn't stop running around terrorizing the countryside, the villagers are going to start to revolt. Let's just try and like make it a happy week for while we still can. It's been so traumatic. Zach and I are working together in this game, but he's kind of driving everyone absolutely insane. So I need him to calm down so that everyone doesn't start throwing his name as someone that I need to backdoor. I feel like the easiest way, especially this week, is just to mend fences, just to make it easier on me. Like, I don't want people like... I don't Talking want, about me too. I don't want so. your name going yeah. around this week. Yeah. And if everyone comes up here and says Zach, 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 Zach? No. Okay, so I just want on my mouth. But I have a little problem. I also have a mission to fulfill for Team America. Get two house guests in a fight, and my last chance to do it is at the veto meeting. So I need Zach to explode, but it has to be at the right time. Um, if you draw a house guest choice tomorrow, would you pick me? Mm, if you want me to. What, what are they doing? Are they making out? If I win POV, I will take out the block. Okay. But don't tell anyone about Obviously. It. Yeah, he but I just wanted to ask. Yes, you. Okay. Okay, hopefully I do do it. Oh. That was sketchy. Wanna have a hot tub, babe? I hate hot tubs. Ooh. Oh, fine. I'm gonna work out. I had a good time. Mm. Victoria, I see how she acts around Hayden. It's kind of sketchy. I think that she likes him. And you know what? I kind of like Hayden, so I want to know what she's been up to or what they've been up to. Mm -hmm. she, she's been better ever since I got I was like, just stop complaining. Stop, stop Hayden. Please go to the diary. Hey, I can't make this stuff up, so I'll just make it quick. My grandfather passed away this morning, so I'm not, I don't want to like talk about it right now, but you guys can read it if you want. You guys can know about it. I just need a couple minutes to myself. Getting news of somebody passing that you are close with, uh, especially a grandparent, is, uh, is never easy. But when you're inside the Big Brother house, it makes it that much more difficult because although I'm in this game, real life is still taking place outside of this house. And this just reaffirms that and it really brings a, a sad realization. Receiving a letter from my family and having them explain to me that they're very proud of me and that they do not want me to come home reaffirms to me that I should stay here for not only myself but for them. I appreciate all you. It is what it is, right? It's part of life. Ugh, timing is terrible, you know? My Pepe was a great man. There's no doubt in my mind my Pepe will be with me for the rest of the game. I have to use it in a positive way. 
to kind of like motivate me. This is for you, Pepe. If no one knows where Amber's head is, and I'm here to play the game, and uh, I'm not gonna run to Amber and say, hey, can we talk? Because I don't really care anymore. It does not hurt my feelings at all. She doesn't deserve you? No. I've wasted my breath for 38 days. I'm not wasting it no more. He ate a pickle for you. Yeah, dude, I almost died. HOH, I will pick first. King of the veto, Donnie! <laughs> House guest choice. I choose Ben. Hayden! Yay! Hayden! Oh, I don't Well, that was a good draw. Literally, couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. Like, that's so cool. I can't Donnie. believe that. It's perfect. It's actually gonna be like a showdown. I think that nominations should definitely stay the same. There's no one else that we can really put up on the block besides Donnie. And I don't think that that's a good idea this week. No more shady business. Yeah, at all. I think it will be. Yeah, because if we leave the nominations the same, then we have Donnie. Well. No, I mean, because there's no one else to really put them up. Oh, Amber, don't worry your pretty little head about Donnie having to go on the block. I would never put him up, because you're going up. I can't even look at Amber right now. You wanna play around? You not wanna to talk to the king of this house? You wanna turn your back on him? Then why are you here? Hello. Just, Amber came down and sit in front of me. I didn't wanna sit in front of her, so. I no, you can come up here. We're having a lovely time. Oh gosh, Caleb. What am I gonna do with you? She is not good news for you. Just stay, I'm gonna stay Please away from stay her. stay away from her. So it's not do. good for his game, it's not good for his soul, it's not good for his life. My plan is literally falling into my lap. I'm like, come to me, Caleb. You don't need that mean girl that doesn't appreciate you. I'll take care of you, daddy. Outlaw! Hey! Are you ready for the veto competition? Yes! Okay, get into your chaps and load me to the backyard! Yeah. <laughs> On go! Rock your hips to get your horse galloping. Once you've rocked your horse forward and back 60 times, you'll have 30 seconds to dismount your horse and start stacking your gold bars. The first Big Brother Bandit to stack all 50 gold bars onto their giant horseshoe before completing 60 final gallops and hitting their button will earn the power of veto. Wait, are those mine? Uh oh. You still have gold bars on the ground. Oh! I didn't. I didn't see that. Hayden wins! Good job, Hayden! Ah! Hayden, congratulations, you have won the Golden Power of Veto. So Hayden wins the veto and I'm like, oh shucks! But that's okay, because I'm hoping he's gonna use it on somebody and I can still backdoor Amber this week. What are you thinking right now, dude? I mean, there's literally a lot to talk about. I'm only comfortable uh, with backdoor Amber. Okay. Do you know if you're using it though? I'm gonna use it on Victoria. Gives us the option of backdoor. Okay. This is the only way that I will put Amber on the block, is if I have a long conversation with Caleb, yeah. where I tell him the truth about Amber, yeah. the 100% truth, everything. Well, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, for sure. If the plan is to backdoor Amber, I have no problem with that. I'll use the power of veto on Victoria, gain an ally. I have no real relationship with Amber, so if she's the one walking out that door, fine by me. Well, it's obvious that the showmance that never was between Caleb and Amber is on the rocks. And I know 
we need to get Beast Mode Cowboy on board with backdooring Amber's pretty little butt this week. I smell blood in the water. Yo, Amber, what's going on with you and Caleb? Yeah, you might, you might have to, uh, you might have to talk to him. Well, what's going on? Just I've already tried. I'm not like I said. I'm not gonna like when I've tried like talking and I've like tried to clear things up. I'm not going to continue to go out of my way and you just ignore me. Like I'm a human <coughs> being. I'm here. Why'd you guys break up? Oh my. Oh no. What? I'm just. I'm serious. Zach. Like, so is he just blowing things out of proportion? Oh, yeah. Boom! She gave me everything I needed. Next up, stir beast mode cowboys pot. So when she was up there, she's like, it's the lunch day, it's so tight. And she goes, he's completely blown everything out of proportion. Like, it's not even a big deal, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay. I was like, do you, I was like, do you want me to try to talk to him? And she's like, no, no, what's up? I don't care, blah, blah, hmm. She said she tried to talk to you. Oh, and then she was like, she's like, I'm human. When he walks by me and acts like he ignores me, like, I'm a human, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, I don't know what that means, but... Man, I'm feeling a bit pissed off. Come on now, Amber, really? I think it's time to give old girl a good scare and get her back in line. Thank you. I actually had one up here. I didn't even think about it, but... Dude. Okay. She's just thinking. Okay. So, so you know how Amber's kind of flying off the hinges, right? Yes, I and do. And she's starting to become part of the rest of the house? I've noticed this. So how about let's convince Hayden to pull Jocasta off, put Amber up, to make her think she's getting backdoored. Make her think it. Of course she's not going to, but to bring her ahead back to the game and say, okay, maybe I'm not as safe as I think I am. These guys are really my only hope in this game, so I need to stick next to them. Because really, she's floating to the other side. She really is, Caleb. If I want her to go home, I have the power to do that. I run the house. Quite frankly, her game is in my fingertips. Our mission on Team America is to play puppet master and to get two house guests to get in a heated argument for 20 seconds. We didn't get her done at the nomination ceremony, so we got our eyes set on the veto meeting. So, the plan now is to have Zach blow up at Amber at the veto meeting. But the deal is Amber's gonna be put on the block. If the veto is used, mm -hmm. which is very likely, mm -hmm. I'm going to back to her, Amber. I think that that's a great idea. I, you, I love her. You, she loves me. We're, we're tight as country folk. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Victoria, Jocasta, you have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of the nominations. I wish I had two of these bad Larrys so I could take both of you off, because that would be ideal, um, but unfortunately I cannot. Uh, so Victoria, I've chosen to use the power of veto on you. Frankie, since I have vetoed one of your nominations, you will have to pick a new house guest as a replacement nominee. I didn't actually think that was going to happen. <laughs> But um, there's only a certain amount of times that I can ask, should I trust you anymore? I'm sorry, I have to nominate you, Amber, as a replacement nominee. I'm so sorry. I think you guys already planned that, so. This veto meeting is adjourned. Wait, hold on, I want to say something. I need to say something real quick. While I have everyone here, um, Amber, you're sitting right where you belong, and you're on your way out the door. I couldn't be happier. Beast Mode Cowboy has saved you twice already in this game. He risked $500,000 for you, more than all your boyfriends have spent on you combined. When you were both have-nots, not everyone gave you their blankets. Beast Mode Cowboy gave you his blankets. And then, to top it all off, he ate a pickle. A frickin' pickle. The food he hates more than anything in the world nearly threw up all over the kitchen just so you would go on a date with him. Do you have anything to say for yourself? No? Huh, that's funny. Because that's exactly what you've been saying to him this entire summer. It's just really pissing me off, and I'm sorry, I, I had to say that, so. Welcome.
Welcome to the club of Zach yelling at you. Welcome to the club of um... being on the block. I've been on the block before, but this is my first time being on the block going into eviction. The purpose of putting Amber up on the block was to just kind of scare a little bit and say, hey, remember, you're not always safe in this game. You know, I've put my neck on the line. I've done so much for this one person. And you know, at the end of the day, Amber, we don't want you to go home, but you know, we're gonna see how you react. So Amber's badgering me and she wants to know what's going on, but I still need to maintain that I'm not really 100% sure what's going on, even though I'm HOH. I honestly do not get it. I don't want to keep saying it, but you yeah, have to. I know that, but Frankie, you're the one that put me up. I know, but you know how, how, how passionate Caleb can be? Are you kidding me? I know, I know. Do you have something to say, Caleb? Do you? What I'm getting is you had me go on the block. It was your doing. I did. So, you want to give me your reasoning? It's personal. Okay. No. Well, that's good. I'm going to read this. Because it's so perfect. Okay, Caleb, I don't want to give this a No. Loose. Okay, no, it, come it's, back, it's, because this it's is about way. trust. Trust? I have not done anything for you guys not to trust me. I think part of the problem is you have been doing nothing but hanging out with Nicole, Victoria, and all the other people instead of us. At this point, I have a million things running through my mind. I got my girl, Amber, the girl that I have put all my trust in, and uh, she's up on the block. You know, I kind of feel that I uh, made a mistake. Whoa, let's get the f out of me, dude. Because the last thing I want is to see her packing her bags and walking out of that door. They all knew. All of them, everybody knew. I do feel betrayed uh, to find out everyone in the Alliance wanted me on the block. If this is true, like I'm being lied to, uh, I think I just did everything wrong by helping others and not helping myself. I'm doing my morning exercise. Yeah, <laughs> afternoon. <sighs> What's up? It sucks because Amber does not deserve to be where she is. Right. And I feel like such a sleaze ball. We made a stupid decision. This game is really f***ed up. I mean, it makes you so paranoid and crazy. I mean, I thought it was such a good idea when you came to me with it. Caleb still believes that he is responsible for putting Amber on the block. So I'm going to allow him to take all the blame for this. Caleb, oh gosh. If she goes home, I will feel like the biggest I haven't seen a cowboy cry this much since Brokeback Mountain. But, you know, he has a special place in my heart, so I am legitimately trying to comfort him. Amber. Do you like Caleb? Amber. You okay? You all right? What's wrong? back in a little bit. Amber, come back though, okay? <sighs> I'm just, I'm so tired of that girl. I feel so pressured because I don't like Caleb like that and I can't yeah. like him like that. It irks me, like it bothers me. He's hurting my game so bad. He is. Who does that? Like, who's she's just like, cool, he just, cool. it's like, it's driving me crazy. Like, she's, it's like he wants to be some kind of hero or something. I have been wanting to convince the boys to keep Amber, but it's been too dangerous. So now she lands a perfect prison in my lap. She wants Caleb gone. Now I can finally talk to the guys and be like, look, she's not coming after you. We should keep her and let her take Caleb out. Amber told me Zach is no longer my target. Target. What do you think, honestly? Because you honestly, for my game, Amber is not the best person to go home. I 100% am split because I do feel like having her in this house is very dangerous. The unpredictability factor is so great. When Christine comes and tells me that Caleb is now Amber's target, 
I am elated because that is the piece of information that I can use to put the nail in Amber's coffin. If Caleb hears that, he will go ballistic and come back to the fold, be one of the guys, and we can keep sending people home. What's happening? No. We need to all come to an agreement. I think we should keep her. Frankly, I think we all know why we should. And, you know, at the end of the day, we just got to all vote the same. I think, honestly, I have both of your backs equally. Do you believe everything she tells you? In my heart, do I trust her just as much as I trust y'all? Yes, I do. OK, Caleb, I have to tell you something. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, God. She's going around telling everyone that you are her target because you're ruining her game. How am I ruining her game? I've done nothing but help her game. She's just blind. That's yeah. what it is. Amber, you're blind. What you not see? The most right. loyal, biggest competitor in this game has your back over anyone's. And what are you doing with it? On it. This house is getting blown up. It's blown up, dude. I'm hoping I keep it together because it's going to be rough, you know, to stand next to a girl and know that she said this about me. And basically, I feel like I got one of the biggest knives in my back and a dagger in my heart. It is very clear to my eyes now that I have been blinded since day one. Just hours ago, you voted for Team America's next secret mission. So what mission did you choose? It's time for you and Team America to find out. Yes! Another mission, baby. Team America. Here we go. Team America. America wants you to vote against the majority of the House in this week's eviction and then publicly accuse two other House guests of being the ones responsible during the eviction fallout. Damn it! Oh. <laughs> you must inform your fellow Team America members of this mission. The rest is up to you. What the? Sorry to wake you up, buddy. Team America mission. They threw a curveball at us. America has chosen that they would like us to vote against the House in the majority vote. In addition to voting against the House at the live eviction, immediately after the votes are revealed and the person leaves, we have to publicly accuse two people of voting against the House. Are you serious? Yeah. Frank, you couldn't say to Caleb, did you flip? And I could say to Zach, Zach, you're trying to stir up trouble. And then you could go, yeah, Zach's just trying to stir the pot. Calling someone out like this mission is requiring is a character I don't have inside of the house and I definitely don't have outside of the house. These little young smart people would know. I think it would blow my game. I say we decline it because these people ain't done it. No, they're not. They're going to wonder who done it. But I think that they would 100% believe that Zach did it and 100% believe that Caleb could not go through with it. I agree with that too. But I see here what he's saying. You're not worried about the vote. If it was just voting, we would vote to keep yeah, to keep Amber. If, if no it was, if it was the a vote, that... it was it would be no big deal. I mean, I could say, "Heck, you would do it." But uh, for me to speak up and say that would be so out of character. It's time for the live voting to begin. Frankie, as head of household, you are not allowed to vote. Neither are the two nominees. Hi, Donnie. Hey there. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Amber. Sorry, America, about the mission. Too risky. Donnie's made it very clear that he's not on board with this mission or Team America if it affects its own game. I'm sorry, everyone. We tried. I vote to evict Amber. With nine votes to evict, Amber, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. You played a very loyal game. I think you see that up to this point, and I'm still not going to say anything about any of your games, so... Um, just keep the Q-tip jar going. <laughs> Count down the days. Love you guys. Bye. Wow. Wow, that was quick. 
<laughs> Amber, I loved being in the bomb squad with you, but uh, that was yesterday's news. I've been working with the detonators, uh -oh. Derek, Cody, Zach, Frankie, and me. So uh, we had to send you packing. And uh, honestly, Caleb's next. I know you're an amazing person. I'm glad I met you. <laughs> Our conversations were always great. But at the end of the day, Amber Bamber, <laughs> I'm still the king of this house. And the slipper oh, just don't fit no more, my queen. Next, Have a buddy. safe trip home. <laughs> What is your reaction to what Christine just revealed to I you? I am happy. I'm glad that they're, they're working together. Even, like, you know, Zach and, and this whole thing. Like, I mean, it's, it's a game, and they're playing it very well. So I am, I am not mad at, you know, I'm not mad at all. I'm glad that they're playing that way. Earlier, you all have the chance to watch videos of events that have taken place in the house this summer. I will now read you a series of statements based on the videos you saw. For each question, you'll answer either true or false. If you get the answer right, you stay in the game. If you get it wrong, you are eliminated. This will continue until we have crowned two new heads of household. House guests, we're going to a tiebreaker question. The two people who come closest to the correct number will be the new heads of household. The correct answer is... 568 seconds, which means congratulations to Nicole and Donnie. The two of you are the new heads of household. I storm off the court, act like I'm pissed. I couldn't be happier. Losing this competition is in my best interest. I don't want to win two HOHs back to back weeks and put a huge target on my back. I just did my math wrong. What am I? What am I stupid? This is the first time this summer that neither a bomb squad member nor a detonator is in charge. And it's really worrisome to me because I feel like one of my alliance members might be in danger of going home this week. What's your gut feeling? I think we can come up with a really good plan. I think we can work together and come up with a perfect plan. I think so too. Uh, we need to include Hayden. Yep, 100%. That's 100%. I trust Hayden. Believe it or not, the boy is very smart, so I would like his say-so on it, too, because he hangs out with some other people, and he has insight that I don't have about these people. I was counting last night, and there wasn't but like a handful of people that's never won head of household, and there's three people that's never been nominated. You know the three? Cody, Frankie, and Derek. They, they don't know how it feels. I definitely think it's time to shake things up. There needs to be big moves made in this house. Look at what's happening. All the girls are leaving and some guys need to go up on the block and see what it's like to be up there. What's up? Nothing. First of all, congratulations for winning. Thank you. Second of all, if you need someone to put up, you can put me up. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And that'll be my favor. So I tell Nicole to put me on the block, but this is all part of reverse psychology. I want her to make a stupid decision and not put me on the block. Zach thinks that I'm going to tell him who my target is, and I don't know why he thinks I'd give any information to him. Last week, I'm a Fruit Loop dingus. Well, you Fruit Loop dingus, I bet you didn't see this coming. Then now, what, Zach? We're best friends? I mean, I think I'm fine with Tommy. We, we, we just gave up 10 grand for him. Yes, exactly. It better be insane if I just cost, he just cost me five grand. Yeah, exactly. That's what I, that's what I said. Not only have Frankie and I both been HOHs and not put Donnie on the block, we also decided not to carry out this last Team America mission because Donnie didn't feel it was in the best interest of his personal game. I'll tell you something. What? You're not doing too good. You're not doing too good with your strategy. What? I'm not winning HOHs. <sighs> you're not playing the Dan Giesling game at all anymore. I I know. <laughs> now you have to switch your strategy. Well, I didn't feel safe with two people that were left up there. Who's that up there? Good point. I wasn't gonna throw a throw a comp and then go home. Oh, you see how he's everywhere. Yeah. He drives me crazy. 
Frankie in this house is a huge threat because he plays an incredible social game. He is everybody's best friend and he's just very good at, at pretty much everything. So that's a threat to my game. Nicole brings up the idea of backdooring Frankie and I agree, but I'm absolutely lying because I need Frankie here and I don't want him to be nominated for anything. But at the same token, I'm not going to tell him because I know he'll run right back to her and she's going to know it came from me and I could be going up instead of Frankie. I'm a little bit nervous with Donnie being one of the HOHs. Unless you like talking to me, <laughs> we can have a long conversation. I have put Donnie up in the past, so, you know, to keep the blood off his hands, hey, I'm a good target. Of course, I'm going to say what everyone says. I don't want to go up. That's never a good feeling. I've been there, you know, I was there. I was there three times. The first week I was nominated with PAL. You were never the, the target that we wanted to go home. It's going to take a lot to convince me to think that Paolo was the target that week. If Donnie knows what's best for him, he would not put me up on the block, because if he does, the next time I'm in power, I will definitely come running right after Donnie. <laughs> I think she knows what she's doing because she hops that thing up and nails me in the junk. Lately, Nicole's been feeling a little jealous of the whole me and Victoria thing. I never took Nicole to be the vengeful type, but uh... It was beautiful. It would just, it could have jeopardized our game. Yeah, exactly. So, that's the good news. I would definitely, if I was you, try to keep staying HOH. Mm -hmm. and, so, if, and if we got some other type of mission, I could always pull y'all up there. Like I could pull anybody up there, yes. and we still have an isolation spot. Kind of like when you, you know. Yeah. I definitely want Donnie to remain HOH this week. It would ensure the safety of Team America. It would also dethrone Nicole, squashing the plan to backdoor Frankie. Safe bets. It's obviously Victoria. And Jacosta. It's hard for me to nominate her. My plan for Donnie this week is to leave him alone. I do not want to get too much blood on my hands, so I trust that I'm safe for the week. Donnie, you do your thing. Maybe you can say, Nicole, hey, if I let you put up Jocasta, you gotta let me put up Victoria. Oh, mate. Okay. The person who puts up Victoria is gonna be in a better situation. Mm -hmm. Do we both agree with that? Who could be the other two? I, it kills me to put up Jocasta. It would kill me deader. Yeah. I understand, I understand. Oh, but I was thinking possibly her and Zach. If I had to choose that four, is what mm -hmm. I would pick. They have to know that we can't throw. Uh, I said I can't throw up two strong guys. They're throw. coming after me, they're yeah. gonna win. I think Frankie is the root of basically everything. Frankie's the puppet master. If you want to back door Frankie, that would be the way to go because mm -hmm. I don't feel comfortable enough mm -hmm. to do it. I would never nominate Frankie because he is a member of Team America like myself. However, I believe if given the opportunity, Frankie would backdoor me. So I would absolutely be in on backdooring Frankie. No, I just came up because I wanted to talk to this girl. Yeah. All right, guys, can I talk to him? Earlier, I tried my reverse psychology approach with Nicole. Don't feel too comfortable with that. Now I got to talk to that dingus and just convince her that putting up yours truly is not a good idea. I don't want to be put up, obviously. But if I do happen to put you up, do you understand why I'm putting you up? I mean, you better not. But if you get the first pick, it's in your best interest, in my opinion, to pick weak players. If you get picked first, you need to put up Victoria Johnson. There's no other option. People will look at you like a stupid person if you don't put up Victoria Johnson. Like, that's mm -hmm. extremely predictable. And if you go against the grain, it just kind of like raises questions. All right. If Nicole is smart, she'll put up two weak players that will lose the battle of the block she will be the remaining HOH, and she'll be able to backdoor City whoever she chooses. Zach is trying to help me out by telling me who I should put up so I can stay HOH, but little does he know that if I stay HOH, I plan on backdooring his best friend, Frankie. 
keep that in mind. All right. I have nominated you, Jocasta, and you, Zach. Jocasta, this is strictly a game move. I love you so much, and I'm so sorry. Zach, I wanted to keep up the tradition of using the Big Brother dictionary, so last night I looked up supervillain. I only saw a picture of Evil Dick. You're way too cute and innocent, and with everything that happened last week, I think you saw this coming. I have nominated you, Caleb, and you, Victoria, this nomination ceremony. is adjourned. Wow. Good speech. That was a really good speech. I think Nicole's speech is extremely stupid. She thinks I'm not the super villain that I actually am. That's very offensive. You can nominate me all you want, Nicole, but I know that I have my team on my back and I have the numbers to stay. I mean, I'm not worried. I'm gonna win the VOB. I'm just gonna win and lose it to kill with Victoria. All right, we have to win. <laughs> we don't have the choice. We don't have the choice. The good thing is, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. And I'm with you. As long as we listen to each other, mm -hmm. usually that's how it works. Okay. It's just communication. It's, communication is key mm -hmm. in the BOV. I do not mind working with Zach during the Battle of the Block because Zach is a smart cookie. Everybody else in the house has a problem with Zach being a little mouthy to them, but not Mama J. And Zach knows Mama J don't play. Hey kids, it's time for Battle of the Block. Get dressed and meet me in the backyard. To win this game, you must create one path of dominoes across your game board to the bull's eye button. Once your path is complete, trigger your first domino and keep your fingers crossed. All of your dominoes must fall over with the final domino landing on the bullseye. But here's the catch. You must knock down three punishment dominoes along the way, and it's up to you to choose which three. I do not want to shave my head, but with choosing that punishment, I think it's going to be our fastest way to the finish. Heck, who knows? Maybe I can convince Victoria to want to shave her head instead of me. The next punishment that Victoria and I chose was Adam and Eve. Not exactly sure what that means, but hey, it's a direct shot, so why not go for it? Slot for two weeks. This is going to be the life of me. I've been on slop already this past week. I don't want to do it, but hey, if that means being safe for the week and getting to that finish line, I'll take it. Yes, baby! Congratulations, Caleb and Victoria. You have won the Battle of the Block and are now safe this week. This is going to suck. Oh, I don't care. It's going to suck. Yeah. Because it ain't your head that's getting shaved. It's mine. Glad I'm safe for the week, but winning? in this case, means losing also. Being chained to a Ninkin poop for 48 hours, literally having to shave my beautiful hair off my head, and having to eat slop for two more weeks is all a losing factor. It's just so weird that, like, no one's here anymore. Doesn't it feel empty? It does kind of a little bit. This is a good week for BHOH, I think. Yeah. What do you want to happen this week? I mean, I guess I want, I mean, Zach to go. Because he's the only one that's coming for you. Yeah. Yeah, people are on board for Zach getting out. Who would you choose for House Guest Choice with your big baby? I mean, I don't know. All Frankie is doing right now is trying to get information out of me. He's trying to feel out what I want to do, act buddy-buddy with me, and I just don't trust him. And if there's going to be any blood, I hope it's yours on my hands by the end of the week. I oh! What's up, everybody? My name is Beast Mode Adam. And I'm Princess Eve. Yeah! Oh, this is the best thing ever! I am dressed in leaves, and I am connected to this ninkin poop with more leaves. I'm thirsty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Caleb goes from the overalls to the no rolls. Can we step out real quick and I could just lotion? No, no. Why, Caleb? No, that's why I mean this is going to be hectic just for 48 for a second, hours. Just don't you want to lotion yourself before no, you go out? Why? No, you look Adam hot. and Eve in the Bible didn't have lotion. They didn't have Ooh, wedges. They did not have makeup. Caleb. They did not have sparkles why for are your you face. Why you I look hot without no, all that. Right here, you're skin will, will, looks dry. I have to use the bathroom. Okay, fine. You're tangling us up. Sorry. 
Oh God, I swear this is, oh, this is stupid. Hair, I want you to know that I love you and I'm gonna use as much miracle Grow as I can to bring you back to life. Oh my God. Oh. And I will see you once again soon. God, you're sexy. I love nice, it. Nice, bro. Damn it, it doesn't even look bad. I know. <laughs> All right. It's important to get together and solidify this thing so she knows that Cody and I are on board and we're not threats to her game. No one's gonna expect us to work together. <laughs> So what are the options? If it's used, I'm putting up Frankie. I got you. But he has to go home. But he has to go home at that point. I think without Frankie, Zach is going to be literally a lost dog. And you know what? Caleb wouldn't want to vote to send Frankie home. But if Frankie went home, Caleb wouldn't be upset. You don't know how long I've been waiting to form an alliance in the HOA term in the Big Brother house. Pretty much my whole entire life. I could cry right now. I'm so happy. <laughs> the few people that I trust the most, we finally make an alliance, and now I feel like I'm gonna finally start to be making some power moves, starting to get some big people out of the house. What is, I can't even say that. Quadropolis. Quadropolis. What does that mean? It's basically like city, town, like pack has all been used. Tropolis. <laughs> I love it. Quadropolis. <laughs> the rationale, because I feel like we're all pretty rational thinkers. The rationale is so sick. The rationale is sick. The rationale, worst name ever. I'm not on board with Backdoor and Frankie, but if somehow Nicole pulls this off, I'm Team Rationale all the way. If Nicole's plan falls apart, Team Detonators, baby. So do you guys like, what do you like? The Rationale. Rationale, Rationale is so disgustingly cool. <laughs> If I put someone else up and I didn't put up Donnie, who would you want me to put up? it seems. I feel like I'm on the outside looking in. I would like that situation to change. Like for Jim, really. Yeah. Come in. What's up? Dude, Christine came up to me. She's like, you have to put somebody up next to um, Zach. Honestly, he won't go home next to Jocasta. And I'm like, okay, who do you want me to see up? She goes, Cody or Derek. And then she goes, just so you know, Victoria and Hayden made out. And Zach told me Hayden loves Victoria. That's why he's keeping her in this house, Nicole. Is that true? No, it's 100% not true. I've I didn't, never... I didn't believe it for a second, but for her to toy with my emotions like that as a bad friend, that's just really extremely rude. <laughs> put her up that is so mean to say why do you she goes like this it disgusts me i mean just disgusts me it disgusts me oh it's disgusting really christine it disgusts you it didn't even happen you're making this stuff up out of thin air you're blaming it on zach telling you and the fact that you're telling nicole this shows your cards pretty well she is not very smart with her game uh -uh. she does not she thinks she can manipulate me like that I'm That's, like flabbergasted. Dude, she is straight up the worst. I I am so not happy with her. She's worse than any guy in here. If Christine thinks that she can manipulate me this week, um, she better be careful because I could switch my target from Frankie to her. <laughs> I don't know who she thinks she's fooling. And she, for, that's so sad she that thinks she thinks so that I'm gonna smart. turn on you. She thinks she's so smart. who's this loyal detonator, is mentioning Derek and I as replacement nominees. That means she's definitely working with somebody. Hey everybody, it's time to pick players for the veto competition. As HLH, I will pick first. Caleb. Christine. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. So 
I'm competing against a bunch of losers in the veto competition. If I don't win this thing, you can call me the biggest Fruit Loop dingus in Big Brother history. We might have a good 15 minute meeting, maybe. There's not much to talk about. Yay. What's up? This is a really crucial week, so we need to get all of the detonators into one room and lock it down before the veto competition to make sure we're on the same page. Meeting in session? As long as your house doesn't want veto, we're chilling. Right. Because I already have Caleb. And you four. Yeah, Zach, you have all the votes. <laughs> if you think you have my vote, you have another thing coming. The detonators are clueless that we're working with the rationale. But by the end of this week, we're going to have to choose a side. And that means either blowing up the detonators or kicking the rationale to the curb. Hey, everybody, it's time for the veto competition. Yeah. This competition will be played one at a time. So get yourselves into separate rooms and wait for Big Brother to call you out into the backyard. Here's how the game works. Hit the button to start your clock, then fly down the zip line to peek inside the BB Comics studio. Grab the matching comic books from your bin and place them on your computer so it exactly matches the BB Comics studio wall. When you think you have all 16 correct, hit your button. The player who matches the BB Comics studio wall in the shortest amount of time will win the power of veto. Christine, you have won the golden power of veto! Do I use the veto and hope Nicole puts up a pawn that no one wants out? Or do I keep the noms the same and try and turn the detonators on Zach? That could really bite me in the butt. Hey guys, it's time for the veto meeting. This is a veto meeting. Zach and Jacosta have been nominated for eviction but I have the power to veto one of the nominations. I have decided to not use the power of veto. The veto meeting is adjourned. You are about to witness an entire week of Big Brother in one night, and it's all happening right now. Plus, the two evicted house guests won't be headed home. That's because the jury begins tonight. So, who will become the first two members of the jury? We're about to find out. This week is pretty much locked down. Now that the veto hasn't been used and Frankie's not going on the block, the sights have been turned on Zach and he could be walking out the door. We're gonna send Zach home. Yeah. Everyone's want Zach out. We're gonna let Caleb in on it. Okay. Cause we wanna keep Caleb close? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It won't be hard to break the kid. Right, for Frankie. Come on, say Frankie, dude, everyone's. Zach well, we can't tell him early in the week because he's going to tell Zach. No, 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 not early, not early. The biggest part of this is, like, being careful. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Peace so when Zach comes to us, we're like, you're safe. Just for back. peace of mind, dude. Just yeah. for peace of mind. Okay, all right. Hello, sir. How was that nap? Was it good? No. One of the most awkward things that could possibly happen in this house is when you walk up to two people who are whispering and then they stop talking as soon as you get there. It gets me really concerned. I'm thinking about what Zach told me a long time ago about their three person alliance. So I have to talk to Derek and figure out where he really lies. Is he this three-person alliance with Zach, Cody, and Derek? Or is he Team America like he tells me he is? I think he knew it looked shady when you came out that he was about to say something. And at that point... Well, what are you hearing? Why is everyone so nervous? I'm not nervous. Should I be? I don't think so. I really need to do some damage control here. I gotta make sure that the guy that's in two of my alliances still trusts me. Zach has made it very clear that he wants to work with me and Cody. But he's also made it very clear that he wants to work with me. That Zach has told you things. I know that he's told me things. So does it really have any substance? No. He can't be telling the truth to all of us. After talking to Caleb about voting out Zach, he brought up this point about numbers, and as crazy as it sounds, he's really got me thinking. Why would I get rid of somebody 
who's a vote for me in my alliance. Zach might be a snake, but he's my snake. I have to go to you. And we have two options. One, float this week and vote out Zach. Two, call a meeting with the detonators and expose him to Colin Hayden. Because if we vote out Zach, then they want to vote Frankie Christine next. We're gonna have nobody left. You and Frankie, Derek and I have to talk. Yeah. I honestly think that Nicole and Hayden are playing all of us. So, you know who they were gonna backdoor this week if you use the veto, Frankie? You're kidding me. You're kidding me right now. Do you know who the next new nominations they want to be? Oh, no. Oh, I just, I just walked in here. Oh, okay. They were saying you and Frankie were next. So. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. I'm so mad right now. I pretty much like. What did you, what did you tell so far? Oh, I told them everything. We're gonna keep Zach. We're gonna keep the numbers. And they're gonna know we want, period. Hello, house guests. Well, everyone, I think it's safe to say that this summer's twist has changed the way this game is played. Two HOHs, four nominees, the battle of the block, right? Yeah. Well, everyone, all good things must come to an end. Tonight, the double HOH twist is dead. But only for the next hour. That's because tonight is double eviction night. That's right, everybody. Before the hour is up, two of you will leave the Big Brother house. But you won't be going home. Either Jocasta or Zach will become the first member of the nine-person jury who will sit in judgment on finale night and crown the winner of Big Brother. Your decision tonight is crucial. The wrong choice may cost you. So when you walk into that diary room, please vote to evict Jocasta. No. All right, everybody, it's time for the live voting to begin. Neither nominee is allowed to vote. Nicole? As head of household, you will only vote in the event of a tie. I vote to evict Zach Attack. I vote to evict Zach Attack. With six votes to evict, Jocasta, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. It's fine. I vote to evict Zach. All right, gotcha. Wait! It's time to begin the head of household competition, and tonight, we will only crown one HOH. I'll ask you a series of math questions based on events that have taken place in the house this summer. Your answer will be either more, less, or exactly. Get the answer right, you stay in the game. Get the answer wrong, you are eliminated. The last house guest standing will be the new head of household. More. Congratulations, Caleb. There were 24 puzzle pieces. You are the new HOH house guest. Live nomination ceremony to begin. So if you're not in the living room, please go there now. All right. Guys, we all know this is difficult. It's hard. Uh, I've had 15 seconds to do this. At the end of the day, I feel that there is a line drawn, and there's been a line drawn. There's been a lot of he say, she say. People throwing each other under the bus. And quite frankly, me and my comrades, Hayden, Donnie, take the hot seat. Let's head to the backyard and begin. House guests, Whoa. it's now time for the power of veto competition. On my go, you'll race down your lane to the box of balls at the other end. There, you must dig through the balls and retrieve three rubber duckies and bring them back to the start one at a time. <laughs> The first house guest to bring back three ducks, return with the POV symbol, and buzz in will win the power of veto. Hayden has found his second, but Donnie is just seconds away from... Congratulations, Donnie! You have won the power of veto! I will keep the veto on myself. <laughs> 
Well, Caleb, as HOH, your job, you must now name a replacement nominee. So please face your housemates and make your replacement nomination. Once again, another hard decision. But based on what everybody's been saying, I'm going off the knowledge that I've been given. Nicole, sit next to your boyfriend. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you both. It's time for the live voting to begin. Caleb, as head of household, you are not allowed to vote. Neither are the two nominees. I vote to evict Nicole. I vote to evict Nicole. By a vote of five to two, Hayden, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Was that your plan the whole time, Christine? Was to plot that nope. seed and then... You have no idea what happened. Oh, yeah? You wanted me gone the whole time. Clearly, I would want you gone. I'm not afraid to admit who I want gone. Right, just, just relax, just relax. Yo, what do you guys want for dinner? Nicole, oh, you come here. Don't cry, please don't cry. Things can change. <laughs> you can't trust me. Uh, right, we can't. It's just me and you. But don't cry. Hey, we're gonna go out with our heads hanging high, okay? We're gonna have our heads hanging high. Things get changed. They can turn on each other. <sighs> we get the final say so. We get the final say so. My best friend in the house is gone. Now that Hayden's gone, I definitely need to call out Frankie and Christine in front of the house because everybody needs to know how untrustworthy they really are. This is a show. Front row seats. But at the beginning of the week, I wasn't even going to try campaigning for Zach to go because I didn't think there was any chance he could go because he had, he's friends with so many people in the house. I'm here. I'm happy. I voted to Vic Nicole's boyfriend. This is going to be torture living with you for the next week. Oh, my God. Frankie, that... I never asked to work with you. Okay. You wanted to get Hayden in on it. If that were true, I'm pretty sure he'd be safe. <laughs> Funny, Nicole. You've proven that you were not trustworthy. Oh, that I wasn't trustworthy? You yeah. knew exactly what was going to happen. You flipped the house. You no. wanted Zach out yesterday. Nicole is throwing Frankie under the bus, and I'm kind of believing her. I don't know why Nicole would be doing this if it wasn't true. But at this point, I'm going to continue to stir things up. Everything that you're saying is true. For sure. Yeah. There was never any thing to flip, unfortunately. So if there was anything to flip, then you were keeping Zach the entire time? Is that what you're saying? Mm, yeah. I'm essentially the reason that this house flipped upside down this week, so it's funny to sit at the kitchen table and watch everyone throw each other under the bus. You got Nicole, Frankie, Zach, they're throwing out alliances, who was working with who, and I'm sitting there going, uh-huh, yep, that sounds about right. Thank you very much, perfect. Hayden threw me under the bus big time. Caleb has started to doubt me. Doubt in this house spreads like wildfire. And all I can think is, I have to win this next HOA. House guests, the power is up for grabs. As the outgoing head of household, I am not eligible to compete. This competition will be played tournament style with a series of head-to-head -head matches. An eye chart clue will appear and the answer will be either the number one or two. Be the first to ring in correctly and you will advance to the next round, eliminating your opponent from the tournament. The last two players left in the tournament will be the new heads of household. Nicole, you rang in first with number two. The clue says, correctly spelled words in Miami life. The correct answer is two. Warning and splitters. Nicole, congratulations, you are the first head of household. Christine, you are the second head of household. I'm super nervous that if I don't get to Nicole in time and repair our relationship, she's gonna put me on the block. So I gotta go figure this out fast. We're in trouble with them. We're in trouble with them. I'm probably gonna have to put up this acronym. You want to do whichever one do Yeah, okay. Well, whatever you can do to keep me safe. This is cool. I'm glad to have won it with you. Me too. Oh, I'm now I don't know if I trust Christine, but I am alone, and she did win co HOH with me, so she could stay HOH this week. So I definitely need to make peace, so that way she won't backdoor me if she gets the chance. I was working with the other side of the house. When you called me out, you and Hayden both, 
the, the people that I was working with, no. they've got me. I'm done. I don't even get who the other side is. Cody, Derek, Kayla, Kayla. Zach. Just listen. If Christine and I play, there are five people in this house. First one gets four. Wait, no. One, two, three, Victoria and Don. If you put two, four up, Caleb, Zach, Cody, Derek, each of you, then regardless, we have the job. When Frankie tells Nicole that uh, he and I will flip sides of the house and come to her, I'm like, stop speaking for me. You are completely ruining my game at this point. You need to keep your words to yourself and keep me out of it. What? Do you just want to hang out? Well, I just want to talk. So you can put me in a bad spot? What? Want to use my information? What are you thinking? I don't know. What I'm pissed off about is that Frank and Christine liars. I know. Is that who your two targets are? I don't know. You just don't want to tell me? I don't trust you, honestly, telling you information because I know you're just going to run back and tell everybody because that's what happens every single time. <sighs> I get it, but Christine and Frankie are trying to play the entire house. I know. Now that they've gotten caught and they know that... Frankie are so close that I can't, like... I want to put everything on the table now with you mm -hmm. because at this point, I have nothing to lose. I know, I I'm don't a, either. Yeah. Obviously, you knew, you know about what the bomb squad in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, I already know about that. Then we made the detonators like two weeks ago. Me, Frankie, Christine, Cody, and Derek. Two weeks ago. I was supposed and to I'm have an alliance with Cody. I'm very happy that we really. Yeah, we had an alliance. It fell through today. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Okay, I'm so happy. Now we have to work together. Oh, I know. Because you know everything about my I... game. And I don't know anything about your yeah. game, but you don't really have a game right now. <laughs> I know. Zach laid everything out for me. It is a super tempting offer to work with him because I am alone in the house, but he has such a big mouth that I really have to think about it. Dude, Frankie, don't Nicole, you have to put up Zach, Caleb, Cody, and Derek. No, I swear to God. He told her that today. Today, right after she leaves, Rachel. Frankie's dead to me. He was my closest friend in the house. Dead to me. Yeah. After Nicole won, Frankie went up to Nicole and told her that we should put up you, me, you, and Zach. Who told you that? Nicole told Zach that. How true do you think it is, dude? I know. Why would I go and tell you guys that? No, I'm talking about her. Do you think she's lying to me? We're together. Frankie throwing Alliance members under the bus when we have the numbers is just not a good game move. Frankie, loose lips sink ships, and you're on the Titanic. I decided to put myself up as a pawn against Frankie uh, just simply because he threw my guys under the bus and he had a hand in kicking Amber out of this house and it was all a big lie. And uh, you know, I wanted to be the guy that kicked him out of this house, so. Put me up next to him. What I'm about to do is huge. People are definitely going to be surprised by my nomination. I have nominated you, Donnie, and you, Zach, for eviction. Donnie, you are very good at this game. You're very intelligent, and it's very intimidating. Zach, simply an eye for an eye. You put me up, so I'm repaying the favor. I have nominated you, Caleb, and you, Frankie. Kayla, you nominated me with no intention of me going anywhere. I nominate you with no intention of you going anywhere, staying in this house. Frankie, I nominated you because I, I can't trust you. You did try to work with me and Hayden. You approached us. You denied it in front of the house. You pulled me in a room and continue to throw every house guest under the bus. That's not somebody I want to work with. I don't know if they want to work with you, but that's why I nominated you. And this nomination ceremony is adjourned. You're a huge liar. You're a huge liar. I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you. So Nicole nominates Caleb and Frankie, and I'm shocked because that's a very big move. Nicole's growing a pair, and I'm shocked, and honestly, I'm happy about it. I'm not talking to you. Why are you so mad at me, actually? I'm actually confused. 
I mean, there's nothing to be confused about. No, seriously, though. What? Seriously, what? Why are you so mad at me? I don't have to explain myself. You don't mm -hmm. have to? Nope. Okay. I don't have to explain myself. I'm just not talking either of you guys. Okay. Wow. Nice, Zach. I honestly don't even want to be in the same room with you guys right now. Okay, I'll leave. Frankie's been talking a lot of crap about me, throwing me under the bus. Why are you following me? Just so you know, I'm the reason you're still here. And my game was blown because you're still here. So, just so you know. Frankie, I have nothing to say to you. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Hold your breath, save it, because I'm not listening. Football season has arrived. So get your gear and head to the backyard. To start the game, place your ball onto the field. Pull the chains to raise the bar and guide your ball up the route to a receiver. If your ball falls off the route, it will roll back down the field and you'll have to try again. You must complete 10 passes in order, starting at the 10 yard line, marching up the field and finishing in the end zone. The first team to score a touchdown will save themselves from the chopping block, but that's not all. The winning pair and the HOH that survives will be taking a trip outside the Big Brother house. You'll be going on an amazing NFL experience, complete with a gourmet tailgating party. What? You excited? We got this. Just slow and steady line of communication. <sighs> Caleb and I are extremely, extremely close. And when I looked at him in the eyes and he wouldn't meet my gaze, I knew he was going to throw this competition. Caleb, look at me. <laughs> Caleb, look at me. Frankie. <laughs> look at me right now. Look at me right now. Come here, look at me right now. Look at me. You're not throwing this. I need you. You need me in this game. Whatever was fed to you, just leave it. It's done. It's not true. Frankie, it is true. Caleb, I'm telling you, please do not throw this. Please. Please do not do this. I don't believe you Let at me all. Have, let me have a chance to explain it to you. I don't believe you. And I think we both know this. Amber's gone because of you. You lied. And you know it. You know it. Right now, I am playing this competition with the guy that has manipulated everyone in this house. And quite frankly, I just simply want to get him packing. I want to give the house what they want and do what's best for my alliance. So this is, this is all about Amber and, and Nicole? No, it's about more than that. As soon as Nicole wins, are you running there and throw me under the bus? You throw Derek under the bus? You throw him under the bus? Yep. You throw Cody Ain't under the, the bus? Truth. Ain't you that done the it. truth! You done it. Yeah, and I was gonna Ain't explain. that the truth? There's no explaining. All right, so you're just gonna throw this? Yeah, you don't deserve it. I'm no. not playing this. If you can play chains by yourself, you play it. But you have ruined my trust. You've ruined our loyalty. I'm not playing this game with you. Easy. Yeah, we gotta get up there, Johnny. Congratulations, Caleb and Frankie. You have won the Battle of the Bluff. Oh, he got it? One. That's for you, Grandpa. That's for you, Grandpa. That's for you, Ariana. That's for you, Mommy. Go Team Grande. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I took my fate into my own hands and won a two-person competition by myself. Yes. So I won the Battle of the Block by myself, but clearly everybody in this house hates me enough to get somebody to throw a competition to get me out. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I really don't have much choice. I kind of have to play my ace card, which is the truth, to get everybody back on Team Frankie. What? Stop staring at me. Zach, if you're going to be like this, then go somewhere else. I'm right here. What? In my living room. What, what have you heard? You've been talking about me this entire time. That's not true, I've had your back. No, you haven't. Unlike you. Yeah, unlike me. Are you serious? Come on. Zach. It sucks. It does suck. It sucks when you lose. You, you lie to everyone, dude. You go behind all of our backs. Oh my God, it's Big Brother. I'm just saying, I'm calling you out for Fine, it. Fine, I'm going to admit to it. If you shut up, this is Big Brother. I know, and I'm calling you a liar. I know. OK, I'm glad that everyone knows that now. I'm sorry. Perfect. Are we done now? It's Big Brother. Everyone's a liar. <laughs> okay. Like, you're just the biggest liar. Fine. Sure, I'm the king liar. Or, but the that I'm hearing is not true. 
Dude, you're, uh, you're lying right now. You're lying right now, bro. I think we're suiting up for a long night, Donnie. I think this is helping you, honestly. I've had your back this whole time, bro. You knew that. I've had your back No, this you whole haven't, time. though. You're still here because of you're me. You're not the reason why I'm here. I am. There is uh, girls in the house that are in power that say, you said you got to put Caleb, Zach, Derek, and Cody up. Is that true, Frankie? Is that true, Frank? Yeah. OK, it's true. That's all I need to hear. I understand that that is not exactly the best thing that could possibly have been said by me. You think? It's literally pathetic. I'm done with you. Okay. Like, it's over. Fine. All of us over. Did you not? Well, I, I, yes. You're a huge manipulator, and you turn your back on the four people that had your back. I've given you literally my big brother life on platter. I have. You know that. So I've been lying to you the entire game. Since I walked into this house, I'm not who I said I was. I was on Broadway many years ago. I no longer am. I'm a YouTuber and a TV personality and a social media mogul. I walked into this house with 1.5 million followers. <laughs> oh my God. My sister is a mega, mega pop star. Shut up. This is why. What is my last name? Grandy Marcioni. Grande. Amanda Gra Ariana Grande. Grande is your sister. My sister. Yeah. Wow. Do you guys buy that? I absolutely buy it. Yeah. Ari, is that Ari? Ari, yeah. Ariana. <sighs> um, I thought Ari was a dude. <laughs> no, Ariana. I'm uh, been playing this game really paranoid. And I started to lose it. I started to lose it. So, so why the sudden change of heart? Like, why are you telling us all this right now? I'm, I'm apologizing. This is an apology. I'm hoping that if I tell them the 100% honest truth, it will distract them and will buy me enough time to reform some relationships and figure out how I'm going to get to the end of this game. Who do you want to work with me? In this house. You horse. I understand what I did. If this is the end of me, then I will walk out to my life, too, and I will enjoy it. But I love you all. I have been lying to all of you the entire game. I'm not who I said I was. My name is Frankie J. Grande. Nuh-uh. You're so full of it. What's my sister's name? Ariana? Yeah. And your sister? Yeah. My sister is Ariana Grande. So, I have been, um... Holy crap! I've been lying the whole game, and it's really been bothering me. Frankie thinks he's gonna win over the whole house because his sister's a pop star. He is boasting, and Frankie is going to get a lot of backlash. So he tricked me. He tricked me once, he's gonna trick me again. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't, I don't, I don't know. But it is extremely relevant that he's donating all his money to charity. Does it upset you or make you happy? Obviously it's a strategy if he's telling us, because he didn't have to tell us that. Correct. So although I do think this is a great move, I do think it's 100% strategy. Frankie's extremely intelligent. He realizes that his back is against the wall and he needs something else to spin this house around. He kind of diverts all the attention from the fact that he's told a bunch of lies these last couple weeks. Hey everybody, it's time to pick players for the veto competition. Will the nominees please join me up here? As HOH, I will pick first. Caleb. Mark. Nicole. Whoa. Aloha, house guests! It's time for the video competition! Get dressed and meet me in the backyard! Hey, Otev! Hi, Otev! Otev! It's Otev. The yard looks great! Blah, blah, blah! Could you move a little faster? I don't have all day! 
No way! Let's give her Godfrey! I'm Otev, the pissed off penguin! I've been sweating my beak off in this scorching heat, and all I want is an ice cold beverage. Is that too much to ask? No, Otev. Here's how it's gonna work. In each round, I'll ask for a drink named after an evicted idiot. <coughs> I mean, house guest. <laughs> You'll slide down the waterfall and search the island for the drink that I am craving. Once you think you've found the correct drink, race back up the waterfall, kneel on a rock, and present me with the drink. But you'll have to move fast, because in each round, there will be one less rock to kneel on than there are morons! We'll continue until only one player remains. Not only will that person earn themselves a drink, they'll also win the golden power of Vito! <laughs> Good job, Caleb. Good wow. job, Zach. Zach, what drink have you brought me? Otab, you Fruit Loop Dingus, I brought you Amber Eta. The correct drink is Amber Eta. Congratulations, Zach. You have won the power of Vito. I can do a little acting myself. If Frankie wants to hash it out, come back to old Zach Attack, everything can be all gravy. Let's do it, Boo Boo. However, if I get a chance, I'm going to take him out. When we spent that week up there in the age of nature, everything was golden. It was. I hope it's still going to work. I hope, I hope so. It's still gonna I really work. hope so. I'm so happy. I was so pissed off by Frankie. But he was just like, listen, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, we're still good, right? Like, yeah. But you were trying to get me out last week. But yeah, we're good. <laughs> so I just won the veto. I'm safe for the week. Everything's gravy in Zack Attack's world. You're not any You've never been in the Lions, have you? However, I can't forget that a couple of my Alliance members were plotting to get me out of the house. It's time for me to get some other people on Zack Attack's back. I will tell you everything. Me and him had a final two deal. I was in like two alliances with him. This is between you and me. And I'll tell you everything. I said, Josie, that you want me or not. The first week, there was a big alliance. Yeah. Okay, you good. Four weeks ago. trying to take all this information in. It's registering, but honestly, I feel extremely betrayed by Derek and my heart is broken right now. Hey. You just put all the cards out on the table. Zach. I feel so stupid. It sucks trusting people and then having them make a fool of you, I know. After more than a month, 52 days, Nicole. My head's exploding. Thought that it was just me and him, so I'm just really freaking confused and I'm, I just like feel alone. Okay. Yo. So, obviously, you know Nicole. I told Nicole a bunch of what, what, what? I told her about Nicole a lot of stuff. She told Victoria about the detonators that you were involved in. Maybe it's the cop in me, but Zach's not exactly what I would call a credible source. I gotta get to the bottom of this so I can protect my game and my relationship with Victoria. A couple things, I'll make it real quick because th this is not what I came here to do. Zach goes, I need to talk to you right now. He says to me, listen, there's something you need to know. Nicole just pulled Victoria aside and told a bunch of lies about you to Victoria. And Victoria's upset with you now. 
No, that's not true. I want everyone to know that if you're going to throw somebody under the bus to me, about me, I'm going to confront Perfect. that person on it. Zach is blaming me for everything he told you, and that's bull crap. I let, know. Let, just let me finish. Just let me finish. I know, Nicole. The story is completely untrue. I'm not working in alliance with Zach. Zach is getting called out. I've been nothing but loyal to you. I've been like a big brother to you. This is the ultimate telephone game. Zach's telling me Nicole said it. Nicole's telling me Zach said it. Victoria's telling me Zach said it. I don't even need to be a cop to know that Zach's lying. He's a potster. This is just another example of it. But in this instance, he's about to be blown up. All right, well, essentially it's, it's really easy. Obviously, you know I've been playing this game. I've been pretty straight up. You're one of my closer friends in the house. I trust you. You told me something. She can easily go spread that to other people so I confront her on it. About what I told her two days ago. No, about the fact that she told Victoria a bunch of, for lack of a better term, damaging stuff about me. Okay. But obviously she's saying she didn't say that. Okay. So I just want to know what's going on because I'm I lied to you and told you that she said it just in case if she told you that you would think it would come from her and not come from me. I respect you for telling the truth. Thank you. That's it. I mean, bottom line is, I told her right out. That's big brother. That's the game. That's why some of us are just taking it a little too out of control right. and, and so making what, it a little bit so, too so much what of a I big said deal. To Victoria, I didn't even say anything, Zach. I did not say anything to anyone. I got called up in here because you said something to Derek, and that's how everything started. Before that, no one knew anything. She did not come to me. Why were you crying to me? I wasn't. You were crying to me and said, of course. Derek just cheated on me. He betrayed of me. Of course. But, okay, what do you want me to do about but it? Why would you go and tell Derek that Nicole said lies? I tried. When you told me not to say anything, I said, okay, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. And that's why I came to you and I didn't go to him. Right. You told me to keep my mouth shut. And I said, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. And that's why I came to you and I didn't go to him. But then when you go to him and tell him that and then he confronts her, of course it's going to get around. Okay. So mission accomplished. Right now, Everyone in the house knows Zach's a liar, and Nicole loves me right now because I just made her look good to the house. Victoria thinks everything's her fault, and she betrayed my trust. It's a win, win, win. Team America mission this week requires us to work together to convince someone to go on the block as a pawn, and then vote them out. With Donnie on the block, that's just too risky. Unfortunately, you're on the block mm -hmm. this week, so for you to go to anyone in this house and ask them to volunteer to go next to you, it wouldn't make sense. I'm on the block this week. Unfortunately, I'm in no position to complete this mission. Hate to let you down, America, but you threw us a tough one. It doesn't look like this mission will be able to be completed this week. So Zach wins the power of veto, and he knows he's safe. And now he's just going to run around and run his mouth. But can it hurt us, though? I'm here for 500K. Can it hurt us, though? Zach told Nicole that me, you, and him are working together. It's a huge problem. Because if Nicole wins HOH and she puts me and you up against each other or me and him because she realizes that we're working together, that tells them everything. Do you get what I'm saying? There are only four people that can go up as a replacement nominee this week. Myself, that ain't happening. Cody and Victoria, two people I trust. Then there's Nicole. She won three HOHs this year. Sounds like a pick to me. Come in. What up? What up? Right now, my only concern is keeping the bomb squad together. I think it's time to remind old Christine who butters her bread in this house. I've been wondering if I should tell you. I can't even remember who told me, but someone was like, hey, you guys need to watch out what you're saying to Christine because it's going straight to Nicole. No way. And, and supposedly Nicole's telling other people in the house yeah. that you're saying stuff. So that's why I've been... I have a little more info on that, too. Happening. I yeah. know. But supposedly you and Nicole made up and y'all are working together. I made her a deal because she was the second HOH that I went back door. That was the only thing that was made. She she made a deal that she wouldn't backdoor me. She told me, Caleb, if you sell the competition, I'm going to backdoor Christine. Okay, so I twisted the truth a little bit. But Christine doesn't need to know all that jazz. As long as Nicole gets put on the block, hey, my job is done. Hey, Fruit Loops, time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Donnie and I have been nominated for eviction. However, I have the power to veto one of the nominations. This bro's gotta look out for numero uno. So I've chose to use the veto on myself. Christine, since I've just vetoed one of your nominations for eviction, it is your turn to name a house guest as a replacement nominee. Things change hourly in the Big Brother house. So I'm gonna take this knife out of my back and I'm gonna return it to its owner knowing that it can't be used again. So I'm sorry, Nicole. I'm gonna have to ask you to take a seat.
This veto meeting is adjourned. Zach said, if you do not put Nicole up, then we are all going to know what the deal is, and you are going to go home next week. I don't think Christine's telling the truth about people pressuring her to do this. They may have suggested it, but it was her decision. Unless Frankie, Zach, Christine, Derek, and Cody are all still working together because there's no other really reason for their actions. The guys are obviously dominating. Nicole might be the next one out this week. And if it continues this way, me and Christine can just pack our bags. Nicole is pleading her case to me, and honestly, it's getting through. Donnie, I literally don't trust a bone in his body, but Nicole, if she stayed, I actually would trust her. I wouldn't be upset if you stayed. I can definitely be an asset to you. All right, everyone, it's time for the live voting to begin. As always, neither nominee is allowed to vote. Christine, as current head of household, you will only vote in the event of a tie. By a vote of six to zero, Nicole, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Down. Welcome back to Big Brother. It's time to crown two new heads of household. Last night, the house guests had some very disturbing visitors, and it's all part of tonight's HOH competition. You hate me. It would just be better to not talk. Wow. Really? Yeah. Why? Because I don't want to deal with you. Can I watch you eat? Why do you, why do you... Ah! Oh my God! Did you see that? Oh my God! Oh my God! What is it? <laughs> what happened? Dude, 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 dude. Oh, no. Emergency Big Brother system. The apocalypse. Yeah, but do you think this is serious? This is a message from the Big Brother system. The greater Los Angeles area is now under a state of quarantine as there are reports of zombie-like creatures at the intersections of 7th and Figueroa. Stay tuned to this channel for further instructions. I think it'll have something to do with the competition. Throughout the night last night, you heard many detailed messages about a zombie outbreak. I will now ask you a series of questions based on the information you received. The answer will be either A or B. This will continue until we have crowned two new heads of household. The correct answer is A, three times. Congratulations to Derek and Frankie. Yes. The two of you are the new heads of household. As an alliance, we tried to throw the bat on the block last week, and everyone saw how miserable that one went. So right now, this whole throwing of competitions isn't really my cup of tea, and I'm not really liking how it's working. I volunteered for the block one three times now. That's what I'm saying. I want to have everyone in the room, including Christine, because Christine can be in the conversation, too. She's eligible, and she can throw it. Exactly. So everyone talk with Frankie and, like, figure it out. Like, so when everyone leaves the room, we're all happy. Like, we know exactly what's supposed to go down. Dude, this is so pretty. <sighs> Victoria's up my ass. What I might do is be like, listen, you're safe this week. Go to bed. Not putting you on the block. Very good. I'm like, I talked to Frank. We're not either one of us putting you up. We're giving you a week off. Yes. Perfect. Victoria has been on the block a million times. It's very stressful to be on the block. I now know that. So I'm really happy that she's safe for the week. Or for now. Good morning. <clears throat> Just so you know, we're safe on everybody. We've already talked about it. You're not going down the block. You've been on enough. At Me all? Frank? Nope. Really? <laughs> really. Me and Frankie already agreed to it. Oh really? Yeah. I'm going to cry right now. <laughs> for real? Yeah, it's yeah. for real. Yes. <laughs> Great week. Great week. It should be. It should be. I just washed my hands. Yeah. Because we know Donnie's got to go up. 
I trust you more than anybody in here. Not because of the game, but because of the bond with our grandfathers. I don't think you would ever go against that because that thing to me means a lot. Correct. I'm not going to do you wrong. I would hope you wouldn't do the same. You would never. I trust you with my life. Well, you don't have to worry about me. I'm not going to backdoor you. It's not, even in, right. it's not even in my vocabulary. Right. I will stay HOH. Good. That's what I was thinking. Okay. The only person that I can say I trust 100% is Derek. So I'm okay with being taken down this week and then being allowed to play in HOH again next week. Long-term game, it's not good for Frankie and Derek to go up to Cody and be like, you need to go up. Because he's going to be like, you guys are conspiring against me. Ultimately, if we're in a group and you voice your opinion because somebody else already voiced it, that's okay. Correct. That's why I think it's good that we're all in a room so there's no yeah, shenanigans. Exactly. I mean, it might get a little hinky for a little while, but we're at the final set eight right now. That's going to happen. Is there anybody in there? No. Derek and myself are both Team America members. I wanted to pull him aside and see where his head was at about this nomination. Because there's not a lot of people to pick from. There's not many people in the house. That's that's going to be the issue. Most of them are going up. I mean, all but two. Right. Obviously, you're not my target and you're not Frankie's target. Period. Donnie is going on the block this week because the detonators want him up there, but I can't let him know that. I just want to prepare him for it and let him know that I do have his best interests at heart. Que paso? Oh. Let's see what this is. Team America, it's time to go on your next mission. America wants you to create a distraction by hiding a favorite piece of clothing from each house guest, then organizing a neighborhood watch program to keep it from happening again. The neighborhood watch must be active for 24 hours. The rest is up to you. Good luck. God bless America. Essentially, our mission this week is to steal a personal item of clothing from each of the house guests, one of their favorite items and hide it from them, including ourselves, so that it's not suspicious. Then we have to organize a neighborhood watch program, and we have to be on patrol for 24 hours straight. And then we have to start a neighborhood watch for 24 hours straight. That would be down in Facebook Cowboys Alley to try to kick us out. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Focus for me. That's okay, though. <laughs> <laughs> So there's only eight people left in the house, and there's six people working together. So we gotta figure out who's going on the block this week. So I think the best way to do this, obviously we have two targets in the house, Donnie and Victoria. Say Donnie were to win the veto, then he could use it on Victoria, and then we're, we're out. So, the only way to guarantee that one of them goes home is to keep one of them off the block. Yeah. So the best way to go about it is to put Donnie with someone on one side. They lose against two of our Alliance members. That's the plan. I've done it. Just last week, i have done it. We knew we were gonna get to this point at one point, right? Mm-hmm. Christine? Mm, I don't wanna go on the block. <laughs> you don't wanna go on the block? <laughs> Cody? Going up and tossing a competition isn't easy to do. Especially in the ninth week of the game. Well, we gotta, we need to figure it out. We're six people strong, and we just have to, you know, make moves. And if, and then whoever decides that they're gonna volunteer this week, then they don't next week. That's the way the game has got to be played. There's no other option unless you literally just want to fight it out on the block, which I think is ridiculous. There's no feasible scenario where not everyone in this room is safe. We all knew at one point it was gonna come. It was gonna. It's gonna come to this. I mean, if the only option is whoever's up with Donnie throws it, let's play rock paper scissors shoot and let's figure out who's throwing the competition, right? Yeah, but that's that's the thing. I mean, we could do rock paper scissors, but that person doesn't have to throw it. Are you kidding me? We are only a few weeks away from a half a million dollars, and we're now picking nominations based on candy drawn out of a hat. Okay, there's the four colors now. Is that really what this game has come down to? That nominations are decided by the color of the rainbow. Okay. All right, Christine. 
Of course the purple candy, which is my piece of candy, gets drawn first. That means I'm sitting next to Donnie on the block, and I have to throw the competition, which isn't something I'm 100% confident in doing. Should you do one at a time? Yeah. Red. My candy gets picked, and I am sweating bullets. I don't feel good about Christine being on the block throwing a competition with me on the other side because if she doesn't do it the right way, I'm gonna be the one staying on the block with Donnie, our number one target, safe for the entire week. Okay. All right, go figure. Zach's name doesn't get picked out of everybody in that freaking room that I wanted to go up, you know, and it's more so just to see where he lies. I trust Zach just as far as I can throw him. They're always touching each other. <laughs> Christine, do you have a staring problem or something? Oh. <laughs> You're such a model. Me, you know that. You're mean. Uh uh. Cody and Christine's relationship is very interesting. We all know Christine is married, and Cody will flirt with anything that has a pulse. So it is a little strange that they are constantly flirting with each other. It is slightly bizarre. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. Unless he said it was all right for strategic yeah maybe that's possible completely that, i wouldn't i wouldn't put it past that at all not only that but I, it's not her strategy to play with cody's hair she just wants to be touching cody at all times for my personal game i don't want to see donnie leave and i don't want to see victoria leave but when i hear zach hey that might not be too bad for my game if donnie wins the pov i say we send zach back Let's hope it doesn't happen, but if it does, he's available to be backdoor down. That's what I'm saying. I'm cool that I'm going up because I know 100% I'm safe for the week. Simple as that. My two nominees this week were chosen by Candy in a hat. Literally, it was drawn, and that is the strategy behind my nominations this week. This is the nomination ceremony. It is our responsibility as heads of household to each nominate two house guests for eviction. I have nominated you, Donnie, and you, Christine, for eviction. I think we can all agree that this Battle of the Block twist this year has been tough on all of us. With that being said, you two now have the opportunity to go out there, win, and guarantee your safety for another week. I've nominated you, Caleb, and you, Cody. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. It's time for the Battle of the Block! Get dressed and meet me in the backyard. Here's how the game works. In a moment, both teams will enter the black box simultaneously. When the horn sounds, you'll race to find bones hidden throughout the box. Once you find a bone, return it to your scoreboard. The first team to place five bones on their scoreboard, then hit their button, will win the battle of the block. Going into this battle of the block, things may be stacked against me, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to go in this black box and pull out a win. Where'd you find all those bones? Oh my! We lost! Yay! Oh my god! Congratulations, Christine and Donnie. You have won the Yay! Battle of the Block and are now safe this week. Oh. I am so tickled that I just won the Battle of the Block. But I have my suspicions. My partner didn't find any bones, and I even handed her a bone to her hand. My feelings are hurt deeply because I'm sure Christine throwed it. Hey, safe another week. Hey, uh, perfect. Well, now we're good. We got Frankie up there. As long as he doesn't put me up, we're good for the week. Victoria's target, POV, she goes on the block, she goes home. People in this house may think I'm a country bumpkin, but I'm a very aware of what's going on. Derek has blowed smoke up everybody's tail this whole season. And when he tells me that he figured I could pull this one out, I knew he was blowing smoke up. Did you talk to him at all? I went in there, I was like, hey, nice job. I walked out, I forgot my socks, I walked back in there, he was looking up at the camera like, basically mocking it, so he knows. He knows that Christine threw the competition. 
100%. He doesn't trust us. You don't want to work with me? That's fine. Trust me. Don't trust me. You're going to have to beat me. Obviously, Victoria and Cody are both numbers for my game. Really, the only option that I have for a replacement nominee that makes sense for my game is Zach. But I have to be subtle because I don't want to show my hand to Frankie at this point. We just got to get it in our possession, mm -hmm. you know? Got to win it. I like Zach. So I'm sharing this with him to gain some credibility with him. I know they pretend that he's in their clique, but I think he's not. I'm wanting to befriend him and gain some of his trust. Maybe he and I could work together. You are a beast in vetoes, so hopefully you'll get drawn. Donnie brings up a good point. He really wants me to play in the veto and win so I don't get backdoored this week. He's scaring the out of me. I have no idea if I'm actually gonna go up, and he's really just putting the idea in my head that, you know, my alliance is against me. I'm not stupid. I know I caused a ton of trouble in the house. Zack Attack's blown things up, torn things down, and aggravated every single person in the house. If he was smart, he would try to get out me, Cody, or Derek to better his game. I'm just praying that he goes through with the plan to backdoor Victoria. Hiding these personal items from people, you have to be stealth. Ninja, hunt! So I stole Caleb's cowboy boots and put that into the recycling bin. Hmm. You. <laughs> My job was to take Cody's blue flowered hat. Now taking people's stuff is pretty tricky business. You're watching for whoever you're taking it from, but you gotta make sure who you're not taking it from ain't seeing you taking it from someone else. Okay, America, now since we got everything stolen, we just gotta sit back and wait for them to find out things are missing. Hey guys, it's time to pick players for the veto competition. Victoria. <laughs> Donnie. Dirty G. Christine. make fun of everybody. That is so cool. You all look more attractive in person. Oh, perfect. Props. 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 Right off the bat, I noticed something was different. He sure was a whole lot nicer than he used to be. What is it, yeah. Who is it? watching the live feeds and I got here as soon as I heard. There's something seriously wrong with Zingbot. He's only dishing out compliments. I'm here for a Zingervention. Caleb! Destroy us. You and Amber have something in common. You think she's drop dead gorgeous and she wants you to drop dead. <laughs> Victoria! Oh. <laughs> I would zing you, but I'm only supposed to zing people that are actually playing the game. <laughs> what do you call someone who's not afraid to cry, wears pink, and cuddles with men? <laughs> you call them Zach. <laughs> Miss me? <laughs> I need your help to reboot Zingbot to his spiteful zinging self. The way he's meant to be. The way I was born. <laughs> <laughs> On go, you must connect a series of cables through the four circuit boxes. 
light up each bulb along the way. The first person to light up all the lights on the board will win the golden power of veto. Congratulations, Frankie, you have won the golden power of veto. And for the gays. <laughs> the LGBTQIA is baby. I feel different. <laughs> Something's happening. <laughs> I hope Zingbot has been rebooted. Daddy, your look is very Duck Dynasty. Too bad your social game is more like Suck Dynasty. Maybe Zingbot's trying to tell me something. I need to get out there and start mingling. Watch out, Hals. Here comes old Donnie boy. Now that Frankie's won the power of veto, I'm extremely nervous. Frankie, please keep me off the block. I'll do anything. No, why? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And ultimately, I wanted Kathy Griffin to put this on her. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter, dude. Yeah, exactly. You know I'm using you know? There's no... Yeah, I was going to say it's weird. You're my baseball boy. I have been thinking about what to do this week constantly. Do I really want to send home Victoria this week? Is she really a threat to me getting to that $500,000? Or do I want to make a big move and turn on the detonators and get somebody out of this house who's been bad for my game since the very beginning? Dude, where is this hat? Do we have a hat thief? I think we have a hat thief. Honestly, I don't know where this hat could be. So our task this week was to steal and hide a personal item from each house guest. Dude, something's up. And then when they notice something is missing, start a neighborhood watch and keep that going for 24 hours. Why? Like, what? There's a hat thief in here. This thing grew legs and walked off or someone came in and took it. It's a saboteur, bro. A saboteur stealing hats? Yeah. Where is my boots? What? Oh, 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 no. No. Oh, no. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No, no. There's a saboteur. There's a saboteur. There's a saboteur. My gator shirt! No! 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 It wasn't that serious when the hats were going missing. No big deal. Caleb's cowboy boots go missing. Kind of a big deal. That's one of the cowboy's boots. Then my gator shirt goes missing. Now it's a really big deal. It's Victoria! It's you! It's you! Everyone's panicking. Everyone's throwing around accusations. This is exactly what I need to drop the line and see if they take the bait. A neighborhood watch! A neighborhood watch! A, a, a neighborhood watch! A neighborhood watch! A neighborhood watch! <gasps> Everyone in the house right now! My glitter is not in my bag. <gasps> You're joking. What? I swear to God. <laughs> it's a saboteur! <laughs> it's a saboteur! Everyone was consumed with rage, paranoia, fear. I mean, this is so easy. The BB Neighborhood Watch has officially commenced. There's a rat in the Big Brother house, and if it ain't up to me, it's up to my boy here and Sniffy up there. We're gonna... <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I'm gonna smell him out. Zach is the ultimate troublemaker. He's went against the grain in the alliance numerous times. Who else could it be? It's gotta be Zach. You took my boot, you jamoke. I wish. I'm gonna go take a nap. You guys enjoy yourself. I'm, I'm good. good. I'm so Watch good. him. I need three men on him at all damn times! Now that everyone thinks that Zach is the saboteur, I think this is too big of an opportunity to pass up. I have to get Zach out of the game this week. You're caught. Am I though? You're caught. But you think we're stupid? Hey, if you're so smart, where's your. <laughs> I don't need to be smart. I don't need to be smart. I'm getting pulled off the block. I feel a little bad about the whole Zach thing, but I've been wanting to get Zach out. Everyone's working up into a frenzy, and this could be the perfect opportunity to actually do it. I think someone should go look in the big garbage can and lift the trash up and look under. Let's do it. 
Do we get in the trash cans? We need to find it, dude. We need to find it. And no. Oh my god! I found it! I found it! Wait, I gotta go out there. Something's going on. No way! Are you serious? Where's my boots? There's two bags. There's two bags. What's happening? My boots! Yes! My boots! Yes! My boots! I found it! Yes! Hey guys, it's time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Cody, Caleb, you both have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of those nominations. I love you both so much. With that being said, I have decided to use the power of veto on Caleb. I'm gonna take a page from my best friend Zach Attack, but I'm gonna do it better because you was kind of whack. I love you so much and it'd be fun for you to stay, but if I don't put you up, I'm gonna look cray cray. So Zach, my friend, please go and have a seat. It's time for you and Julie Chen to finally meet. This veto meeting is adjourned. My best friend in the house puts me up on the block. It's not a good feeling. I need three votes to stay. I'm down by a field goal. You know, it might be a 62 yarder with the wind in my face. Anything is possible. Making Zach the replacement nominee was difficult, but at the same time, this is a game and he has proven time and time again that he is not to be trusted. My biggest concern is that he's gonna try and pit us all against each other even harder than he was before. All that, all that gray? Donnie and I have been talking a lot this last week. I really hope the bearded one has my back. You want to keep me? Oh, absolutely. I, I, pr I promise. Okay, I promise. Right, they won't leave that me makes me feel like okay, I promise. You got my boat. OK. So now you need to think about who you got here that can help you. Yeah. Because I'm one person. As long as I have your vote, I'll feel comfortable. Oh, you definitely. Okay. So maybe I found a true ally in old Donnie Joe Thompson. So if I told you. I would never put you up, and I would never vote you out. Would that change your decision at all? For me, no, nah, probably not. Why do you think it's better for your game that he stays over me? I think he would put me up over him. I would have your back over Cody's back. I'd have your back over Christine's back. Frankie, do you, do you agree with me? No. You, you, really? We've already experienced your multiple ways of getting us to hate each other. Zach's antics since the beginning of the summer have caused not only all of us to distrust him, but have caused everyone in the Alliance to start distrusting each other. And that's bad for everyone. We're on patrol. We're on patrol, patrol buddy. I'm by myself. I was looking for <laughs> her man. This week for the Team American Mission, we've already stolen an item from every house guest. Now we're on to the neighborhood watch. I don't want to be by myself. I don't want to be accused. It's just unbelievable how everybody is into this neighborhood watch. Cody's into it. <laughs> yes, Cody. I'm Batman. Batman? <laughs> I'm watching you through the night. We knew Caleb would be into it. Oh, you're just gonna follow me around? Yeah, someone will. You ain't taking no more of my stuff. I don't think this is gonna be a problem to keep this watch for 24 hours. You wanna do a lap? <laughs> Full alert. Let's do it. Let me see where those flash lights are. This is so much fun, watching the entire house band together to do this neighborhood watch. <laughs> what do you think? One more round for good old time's sake? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Clear! <laughs> Victoria, come here. Moving a little fast through the intersection there. Ma'am, hands right here, please. Ma'am, hands right here. Already. Good. Okay. All right. You're all clear. Keep it moving. That was a very quick patting. I gotta be careful. Yeah. On national TV. <laughs> <laughs> the pink hat that Zach has been wearing all summer is my pink hat, and he borrowed it the first week and just never gave it back. It's time for payback. What is she doing? 
Christine, Christine, get me a knife, please, now. Don't run with the knife. This is my hat, sorry. Yo, did someone take my hat? Who, who took it? Was it Victoria or Christine? This is the most satisfying thing that I've done all summer. Sorry, buddy. If some way Zach stayed, that would be someone to fight against the other side. What do you think? Damn it. I know if I was in a big alliance, and I stuck with that alliance until it was just us, and I was the first person to leave, I would feel stupid. <laughs> There's so much to do. Maybe Donnie has a point. Derek and Cody aren't with me, they're with Victoria instead. Frankie and Caleb have gotten like this this week. I'm not here to play for fifth place. I want to win. And at this point, I'm very confused. Well, I have some news for everyone. That competition was the final battle of the block of the yeah. summer. That means the double HOH twist is also over. Okay. House guests, it's time for the live voting to begin. Frankie, as head of household, you're not allowed to vote. I know. Neither are the two nominees. I vote evict Zach. By a vote of five to zero, <laughs> Zach, you are evicted <laughs> from the Big Brother house. Do that dance. Do that dance, buddy. Do, Do that dance. Well, he's oh, dancing around right Dude. now. Dude. Wow. If, had you survived tonight and you were still in the house, who would you be gunning for? I don't even know. I, I don't even, I would throw the HOH competition. I don't even know. I don't even know. I would say Victoria, but she's going to end up being there for a while because she can't win a competition if her life depended on it. And... Well, Zach, you better decide because in just moments, you and the other three jurors are going to battle it out, and one of you is going back in the house and back in the game. <laughs> Next, Jacosta, Kate, and Nicole, and Zach go head to head. The winner will return to the game with a second chance at winning it all. Being in this jury house is giving me time to think about my eviction. I don't want to see Hayden or Donnie come to the jury house. It would be bittersweet. Mama J! Who do you think's coming in the door? That's Maybe Victoria. Maybe. Maybe. I'd rather see Derek and Cody. <laughs> Derek is a very good manipulator, uh, and Cody's a very good actor. So they're playing a really good game. I just wish that I wasn't a part of the, uh, the casualties. But I'm getting back in the house. I'm going to start doing some damage. I'm already set on it. Please, not Don here, Nicole. Nicole coming into the jury house is the most bittersweet thing I've ever experienced. I would love to just see her in the house still fighting, but at the same time, I am excited that Nicole's here. Please welcome back to Costa, Hayden, Nicole, and to nice Vixie, Zach. Hello, jurors. Well, in just moments, the four of you will compete head-to-head -head live in a competition. The winner will be back in the game as if you had never been evicted, which means one of you could still win the half million dollar grand prize. House guests, I need everyone to please gather in the living room right away. Yeah. Now, remember two weeks ago on double eviction night when I told you just because you're out of the house, you're not necessarily out of the game? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I warned you that this is the most twisted summer ever. And you're about to find out exactly what that means. Let's go, Julie. Oh! 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 House guests, I need everyone to please head to the backyard right. right away. It's time for the jurors to battle it out. Wow. The winner will be back in this game. <laughs> This game will be played in seven rounds. In each round, slide one disc down your lane to the spinning turntable. 
But here's the catch. When the bell sounds in each round, the gate to your lane will only be open for five seconds. The winner of this competition will be the jury member who has the most discs left on the spinning turntable at the end of the seventh round. If we have a tie for first place, the juror with the disc closer to the center will be the winner. And we have to say congratulations to Nicole because you are back in the game, lady. Sucks. Now we got two people that are probably going to be working together again. Makes me mad. Nicole's back in the game. I'm the one who sent her packing. So now I'm scared for my life. If she wins HOH, I know I'm going up. So this sucks. We have to stay united, mm -hmm. right? There's a chance you can win HOH. <laughs> if she does, then that's worst case scenario. But with that being said, she's going to talk to us. She's going to try to wedge herself back in because that's the only thought you're sending. She's going to try to wedge herself back in. I don't know that I can have a combo with her. I mean, I don't know that I can have a serious game. If she can't, she'll come after you. I've worked very carefully to position myself in this game. If Donnie thinks he's going to sabotage that, he's sorely mistaken. Even if he is right, which he is, I'm not going to just sit back and watch him destroy my game. It's time for the HOH competition! Everybody, lace up your gloves and head to the backyard! In each round, I will read an event that happened in the Big Brother house over the first 50 days. It is your job to figure out what day that event happened on. The last fighter standing will become the new head of household. It's the beard versus the abs in this final HOH title fight. Yeah, baby. Let's go! Yeah, yeah, baby. Nice, 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 job. Job. Nice, nice job! Nice job! Out, nice job! Nice job! About to see Papa C, Mama C, and TD right now. Congratulations, Cody! You are the new head of household! At some point, if we are successful, the detonators are gonna have to split up and start playing this game for themselves. And if you're not pulling your weight and you're not winning competitions, you're gonna be the first one to go, Christine. Ah! I'll talk to you for a sec. You What's any, going on? You don't have to be scared of me. Even though I know I'm probably going on the block, I decided to take Donnie's advice and talk to Cody because at this point, I really have nothing to lose. I know what you're trying to say. I didn't want people coming back in the game that we're going to work with Donnie. This week, I want Donnie out, like, period. I think he's a schemer. I think you and Hayden took the downfall for it. He's Back. the only person that I feel comfortable, like, talking to because I feel like such an outcast. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about for you to think about your game. So you're going to tell me that Caleb and Frankie aren't going to turn and go after you? You have to think about that stuff. You have to make a big move in this game. If you think that all those people have your back, you can't all have each other's back. You know what I mean? Like, it would be good to keep me around so that way I could do work for you and like... But you know I have nobody. I know, I know so that. So you could keep me around and I would have nobody to go to. I know you're in a situation. Down the road, I know that I'm somebody that she would like to work with so I definitely have to start thinking about my own game and Nicole could definitely be a sneaky asset for me moving forward. My fellow hitman Cody's got some easy decisions this week when it comes to nominations. Well, with that being said, we have to start looking long term. Every decision we make could affect if we're able to make it to the end together. Christine, I have no idea what she would do. I'll say it right here. Christine's playing hard. She's playing way too hard. She's playing hard. She's just getting through it because there's always people that want have bigger targets. But, I mean, she's got to go because she's just a starter. Right. Christine does nothing. No. She does nothing for us. Nicole and at this point in the game, she literally does nothing but make us nervous to be like, well, she wins, what's she, she going to do? She's with, she's with Frankie right now talking to him. She's out there. They're talking. Then she'll be back up here with you. Yeah. So, you know, I love the head rubs just as much as the next guy. But it seems more obvious that Christine is playing both sides of the alliance, and she's only going to be looking out for her own butt. I love the Team America thing. Mm -hmm. I do. I love it. It means a world, and, so, and, and, and and I have nobody. Right. That's all I have. Right, and but that's why I'm just letting you know. 
you know, it might not always seem like we have each other's back, but that doesn't mean we don't. Mm -hmm. But it is kind of awkward for me sometimes because there has been numerous times that I've heard, you want me out. It's been hurtful in a way, but we're playing a game, so I don't take yeah. it personal. But, you know, when it's the same type of thing. But I don't believe nothing until I hear it myself. But when I hear it from different people, it does start to gain some legs. There's no doubt me and Donnie have had our differences in this game. But at this point, if I really wanted to, I could save him this week. But in order for me to feel comfortable doing that, I need something from him. I don't know. I got a lot of other people telling me stuff. And a lot of other people's filled you full of mud. Besides Cody, I like Donnie more than anybody in this house. I think he's genuinely a great guy, but he's not playing a very good social game at all. He goes to Cody and tells him his master plan, and Cody told me everything. So when I bring it up to Donnie, and he says, well, everyone has their side of it. I can tell you I haven't said nothing. I know he's lying to me. Hey guys, it's time for the nomination ceremony. I've nominated you, Nicole, and you, Donnie. What up? Do you think if Donnie's the one that comes down, I'd be able to like put up like a Frankie or would that be like terrible? Is he intent on sending him home? Yeah. Can't you talking big boy moves? But then if Donnie wins HOH, he puts you up next That's to me. You. Well, even He's if he doesn't put it up next to me, then he has Nicole. He's got to flip Christine. And then he has a vote. And then Caleb might be pissed that you sent Frankie home yep. and you're going home. So, do I think you could do it? Yes. Do I think you should? No. Team America, your previous missions have started rumors, stirred up drama, and impacted the game. But this week's mission is up to you. Team America must work together to create and attempt their very own mission that will impress America. If the majority of the voters are impressed, you will each receive your $5,000. I really need to win veto this week, but if not, Team America is my only hope. I need them now more than ever. Over the last couple of days, I'm noticing that my wisdom teeth are coming in. I can barely open my mouth to talk. This is stinging, horrible pain, and this completely sucks. Where it hurts right now? Just the bottom two? Mm -hmm. Have your top two started coming in yet? Oh, no, they have. Oh, my face. It's so embarrassing. This is honestly the worst. I feel like I literally gained 50 pounds in my cheek. Victoria, please go to the dining room. Yay! I hope there's a doctor in here. Victoria, she looks like a chipmunk, and it's kind of concerning to me because I want her to stay in this game and continue to vote our way, do nothing, and not be a threat to me. I don't think Victoria's gonna be able to compete today. Did you see her? Yep, she was in pain. Hey, beautiful. Hey, how's your face? Not good. Victoria, are you okay? You need something? Oh God, are you okay? Victoria. Victoria. Derek. Yeah. Something, yeah. we need to get help for Victoria. What? Hey, somebody's gotta get in here. Somebody's gotta get in here. Get a medic in here. I'm gonna pull you out of the bathroom though, okay? No. You're gonna hurt your head. I have a doctor on the way. I don't have a string. Keep your eyes open, okay? The medic's here, Victoria, okay? Victoria, you hear it? Victoria? Did you pass out at all? I am a nurse, but when I do take care of people that I know, it's way different than seeing a stranger. It makes me super emotional. This looks super serious. Are you having any uh, trouble breathing? I'm just extremely sweating. Give me a hand, we'll get her in the diary room. Absolutely. It's very scary to see someone in this shape 
I was very scared for her, and uh, I said a little prayer for her. I can't imagine being in this house with that type of pain. Yeah. I am feeling a little bit better. Hopefully, with eating and with the right medication, I should be up and on my feet, ready to compete. You okay, Victoria? Yeah, yeah I'm good. Good. I sure was worried about Thanks, you. Thanks, Sonny. Oh, okay. Hi. You look a lot better. Are you feeling better? Yeah. I am extremely thankful for everyone who came and helped and was concerned. And this just showed me how much my Big Brother family do care and how much they do love me. Hey guys, it's time to pick players for the veto competition! Christine. Derek. It exists. Yeah. Oh. Are you guys having a prayer right <laughs> No. I've got ideas. They want us to do something fun and simple and they want to give us this one. We could do like a Big Brother play. I don't know. I just don't know if that's gonna. I just be. feel like, feel like to save you, if that was the mission, we would have to take active part in that saving, other than just well voting. It would take three votes, right? If y'all were two of them, right? When y'all convince that third person, that would be completing the mission. Us having a heavy hand in it, I think it would be too obvious. The entire house wants Donnie gone. In order for Derek and I to flip the house, honestly, it would put up huge red flags and it would be very, very bad for our game as a whole. You going home is not a done deal. I agree. Mm -hmm. But I do want this $5,000 regardless of whether you go home or not. I'm torn. You have Donnie who's part of Team America and obviously wants us to save him. And then you have Frankie who's part of the Detonators and he wants no part of that. I have to make a decision between what the detonators want and what's best for my personal game. And at this point, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hey everybody, it's time for the veto competition. Get dressed and meet me in the backyard. Well, like if it's a stand phone one, if we just have someone stay every round. I am a huge Big Brother fan, and I know one competition hasn't happened yet, and that's the counting competition. Are you gonna stay or fold? If we can throw it to someone who's good with numbers, then we have a better chance of getting our target out this week, and that's Donnie. In front of you is BB Main Street. You have a few minutes to soak in the items amongst the cafe, toy store, and market. Oh, this is awesome. And you see smaller amounts of items with larger amounts of items. This is the counting beatout. We already have a stay and fold strategy as a team so that we can get Donnie out. This is perfect. Christine, Derek, Donnie, and Nicole, you have all folded. Cody, that means you have earned your third badge and the golden power of veto. Let's do something fun tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, let's do something fun. I want to like do like an activity. Let's like plan something. Like do something fun. Like what? What if we like put on like a show? <laughs> For sure. Let's do that. What if we all put on a show? Our mission this week for Team America is to make up our own mission this week to impress America. Let's put on a show. Let's put on a show. So I came up with this brilliant idea to put on a play called House Swap. What would happen if the eight current house guests were actually the eight evicted house guests and each of them would be playing a character? I will go first. I am Joey. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I tried to form an all-girls alliance, <laughs> except then I went and I told all the boys that I wanted to deal with. I tried to start an all-girl alliance, and I'm sorry. I have no idea how I'm still here. <laughs> Frankie did such a good Joey. Wait a second, who's Joey? <laughs> I've never seen a show. I've never seen a show. <laughs> Go, Devin. Well, uh... <laughs> I'm a competition monster. <laughs> I'm toting everyone on my back to the end. That's pretty much how I got here. So there you have it, America. BB Broadway presents House Swap. I hope this impresses you, America, because if it doesn't, it's on you, Frankie. 
Frankie, Caleb, and Christine have not left Cody's side since he became HOH. It's frustrating because without conferring with him and making sure that we're on the same page, it's tough to know where his head's at. I literally haven't been alone with you for longer than five minutes in two days. I know. I was gonna wait till you came up here. I have to separate them. Caleb and Frank. Yeah. They're gonna just keep saving each other and the vetoes if they win, they, they're gonna try to get up me and you up. We're going after them. The shot's coming, dude. It's coming. I know what you're saying. I want to use a veto and put up Frankie. We could get him out. Because if I use a veto and put up Frankie, the three numbers that we need are you, the person that's coming down, and Victoria. In this game, it's kill or be killed. And the person that takes the first strike usually is the person that ends up winning. I don't want to be that guy that misses a chance to take a shot at a huge player, and then the next week, be the one sitting on the block looking at eviction. Hey guys, it's time for the veto meeting. This is the veto meeting. Donnie and Nicole have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of the nominations. I have chosen not to use the power of veto. This veto meeting is adjourned. I kept my nominations the same this week because Donnie's someone that is a huge player in this game. I don't really know what he would do if he was HOH, so sending Donnie home is gonna probably be the best move for me. It was so weird when I came back in the house. Like the first thing I did was hurry and try to find you and like hug you. No way. Isn't it bizarre? Yes. And like it was just like instinct and I was like. I was like. It's, oh, I want to hug Nicole so bad. I'm no, I, too scared to try. I think somebody like, hugged me. <laughs> oh, man, Nicole, I miss you so much. Although a lot of stuff has happened between Nicole and I, I love her to death, and I wouldn't mind if she stayed in this house a while. I know for sure I'm voting for her to stay, and Donnie's going out that door. We're essentially the before and after picture of a tanning commercial. Yes. Guess who's the before? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Nicole's coming after me, and I'm not ready to break up Team America, so I want to keep Donnie in this house, but in order to do that, I need to make sure that my entire alliance is on board. God, I just want to walk on. I mean, I don't think I would have found any black yet if it wasn't for that bitch. <laughs> 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 oh, that was so genuine. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Doing a wonderful job reintegrating, I have to say. Girl. Yeah. Yo! Oh, let's get it, girl. You know what? Hit that ball, baby. I do, I think. Take your time. We know where she stands, well. We do know where she stands. It's not a great place for me. She wants me out of the house. The scary part is, is she put you up. Who's she gonna put up there with you? Is my question. I know. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it would be Christine anymore. <sighs> Team America, you were asked to create and attempt your own mission. And it's time to find out if America was impressed. During a live show, Julie will ask a member of Team America if you become a have-not, what special food would you like to request from America? You must answer apple pie. If Julie says yes, you have impressed America and will each receive $5,000. I'm gonna be honest with you. We can either make a big mistake this week or we can make a mistake that's not gonna haunt us. Nicole's a big threat too, she's not dumb. She's smart and athletic. Donnie's just smart. Exactly. We'll crush him in athletic comps. Nicole has beat us on her own in HOH comps. So Beast Mode comes up to me and throws out the idea of keeping Donnie. I don't want anyone to think that I'm the mastermind behind this idea. This is a big decision. It's one that we're going to have to make as a group. Christine will not flip her vote. So the only way he's going to stay is if you, me, and Frankie vote for him. Let's talk this over. 
the plan is, send Donnie packing, right? Yeah. Donnie's more, to me, a threat. To Nicole that. and Victoria and Christine have been hanging out all week. Donnie's been hanging out by himself. Yeah, I mean, no. that just looks clear as day to me. Quite frankly, I'm scared for both of them to stay. Christine, uh, it's part. single HOH now, so if she wins... But if he wins, we're too. What makes you think he's going to work with us? Awesome. Derek, what's your take? To lose, lose. In a way, it doesn't matter to me either, because I would love for Donnie to be gone. He's been hanging on for dear life, and it's like, he'll do it again. But I also think Nicole is smart enough to be the exact same way. And her so social game is on point. So, Frankie, oh. if you become a have-not, what special food would you like to request from America? Oh, wow. Well, I, ordinarily I would say tofu, but that didn't go over too well this week. So um, I'll go with my favorite dessert and say apple pie. Apple pie for have-nots, Frankie? Yes, please. <laughs> I'd say that's an overwhelming no. <laughs> Sorry. Christine and Cody's relationship may seem innocent enough to them, but... What do Christine's husband and family think of this Big Brother flirt mance? Do you ever take your rings off? Mm -mm. These two and Tim bought me, but I didn't wear any ring except for this one for like my first year of marriage because mm -hmm. I did it, you know, partially so that my customers would know I was married and guys wouldn't be weird, but no guys pay attention, no guys care. You just don't look like a married woman. I don't. Don't act like one either. Watching Christine on the show, and it's the most surreal thing I've ever experienced. <laughs> You're mean. Nuh uh. There are things that I would personally change the hair pettings, whatever, the, the arm ticklings, whatever. I think it's the hand holding that I'm like, I'm, uh, you know, latched from each other real quick. Personally, I do think a couple of boundaries have been crossed. I was gonna read my Bible up yeah. here. Get over here. I am a stud right now. Cody is a very good looking guy, um, but I am also a, a fairly attractive fella. I do not like Christine flirting with Cody at all. I'm not happy. <laughs> I think she's getting too close and she's married and it's not right. All right, everyone, it's time for the live voting to begin. Cody, as current head of household, you are not allowed to vote. Neither are the two nominees. By a vote of five, to zero. Donnie, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Get, you, Donnie, get, get that bed. chair, buddy. <laughs> Sling it open. Run, Don, run. Get it. <laughs> oh. ah. On my go, you'll fill up your cup with as much liquid as you can and transfer it across the yard to your snowman. As the head of your snowman fills, a piece of coal will rise. The first house guest to fill their snowman head to the point where you can remove your piece of coal will be the new HOH. But there's more at stake in this competition than oh head of no. household because there is a smaller snowman that might draw your attention away from your HOH snowman. This temptation was determined during tonight's live broadcast and America voted to tempt you with five thousand dollars and five thousand hollas. Holla! So, whoever fills the small snowman first will win five thousand dollars, but will be harassed incessantly by shoutouts for the rest of the summer. At this point, I'm looking around, and it's a close race between four people. It doesn't look like I'm gonna win, and frankly, I don't think any of them would put me up. So, I'm making the call. I'm going for the five k. There we go. Good job. A race against myself? What do you know? I come in first place. Ha! Ah. Yes. You got it. You got it? Congratulations, Caleb. You are the new head of household. Good job, be smart. This is by far the most brutal HOH comp we've had up to this point in the game. People want an endurance comp, they got one. I'm gonna take a shower before my muscles give out too much. Nicole, are you gonna sit there a while? Yes. Okay, good. I wanna just have someone in here in case. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna fall, but you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm staying here. <laughs> That's so much. Take me, man. 
Yeah, it up. Dude, just be careful because I don't know, Nicole. He's always something I've seen. They are talking to them neither right now. We couldn't use the veto on him. There was no way Cody was going to use the veto. nothing we can do. Right. We've made the decision. We are right. Team American Hill. They hate us. Then, fine. That sucks. We are that. That sucks. So you're going to learn to love us. I'm sorry, America. Like because I'm... honestly, he didn't pull his weight in this group. I'll tell you what. It takes some big you-know-what to turn to a camera and tell America that he doesn't care. America, don't include me in that bunch. Oh, don't, Christine. Go for the slush. The slush will fill it up faster. To be honest with you, I'm gonna put up Nicole anyways. Now, Christine, if she's gonna try to align with Nicole and try to keep Nicole in this house, that right there could be my worst nightmare. So I have to put Nicole first. Yes, exactly. Done. Nicole? Please put on your microphone. Why is Nicole talking game? It's, o it's over again. Just because they say that doesn't mean you're talking game. It just means you forgot to put your microphone on. I'm not an idiot, Rose. Mm. I've been in the house with her. I know what she's doing. No, it's just frustrating because if it goes off, everyone's like, oh, people are talking game. But sometimes you're just literally talking about your life. Why are you getting defensive about Nicole? Are you kidding me right now? She's my friend. So I'm not just going to be a jerk to her all week just because she's going home. He needs to calm down. Caleb, I honestly want to have a serious time to tell, like talk about our games in the future. Mm -hmm. I definitely need to talk to Caleb because at this point, I feel like every single person in this house has somebody else that they're extremely close to, and I'm the odd man out. I don't have anybody in this game, right? Obviously, right now, and I can be as loyal to you as I was to Hayden. I'm so sick of. I understand. Definitely not one of those. I understand that you, I do you, know? you are good at this game. That's why you were put on the block is because fuck out you won more comps than me. No, I'm not. I only won three. That's three HOHs. You won three HOHs. You won a battle of the block, you won POV. So I'm a good person to have on your side. Derek! Yo! Holla! Holla! Holla your bad self! Yeah! During the HOH cop, I won $5,000. But with that $5,000 came the punishment of $5,000. So let one of them go home. I'll let you, boy. Exactly. Ah. Nicole, she's shocked that she was put up again as a have not. So I'm gonna talk to her, try to make her feel better. Nobody can put you out of the house unless you lose. But most importantly, let her know he has a friend in the house. Who knows, maybe she'll stay this week and uh, might just work to my advantage. This is my thing. I'm kind of scared to put up Christine because if she wins and pulls herself off, I think if she wins the next one, she would put me up. That was my thing about it. It's That's like, what I'm a little it scared makes you about. Nerve it, like, it makes you very nervous to put her up because then it's like, even if you say anything, you just crossed her and now she'll be like, you just gave her an excuse. Hey everybody, it's time for the nomination ceremony. I have nominated you, Nicole, and you, Christine. Christine, uh, I've nominated you. I think uh, you know why. I hope you win, because I think her last lifeline was when Donnie walked out of the door. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. Caleb's target this week may be Nicole, but I have a different plan. I want Christine out. She doesn't have my best interests in mind. She'd probably put me up if she won HOH, and frankly, I'm not a big fan of her. Hey, Derek, just like as a friend, like, I'm gonna need somebody to like, talk to. Come so on. this week's gonna be hard. And... I'm on the block again. I'm a have not for the second week in a row. I'm upset about it. I'm frustrated. I'm not surprised, but it still stinks. Nicole's pretty bummed right now, so I wanna try to comfort her. She's intelligent, she's a strong competitor, and she's genuinely a good person. So I want her to know she has an ally in this house. We're all playing a game, you included, and the bottom line is this. You can break it down to its most simplistic form, black and white. If you win the power of veto, you are safe another week. Derek's right. I need a quick cry. I need a man up. Go out and win the competition because my fate's in my hands. I need to win the veto because I would love to see the look on their faces. We'll decide what we want to do when it comes down to it. 
Simple. If Nicole wins, Victoria's going to go up and Victoria's going to go home. I'll, I'll ask D and see, see what he says. He'll have a good... He'll, he'll have, have good something good to say. Flight. I just wanted to bring this up really quick. Go with it. But Christina, say she wins the veto and comes down. If she wins HOH next week, will she put me up... You know, uh, is Christine well, going to be a little upset with you? Yes. But at the same time, this is Big Brother. Yeah. And uh, she knows that I'm not taking her to the end, you're not taking her to the end, you're not taking her to the end. If Christine went home this week because Nicole saved herself, this guy would not be that upset. All right, take notes, America. This is how I'm about to steal Caleb from Frankie. One, I'm going to build up Caleb's ego a little bit more. If we're talking just straight up man to man, you've played a better game than me. Yeah. That's a fact. It takes a man to admit that. You've played a better game than me up to this point. Right. You've won the comps that needed to be won. Right. You're a guy that people view as can win this whole thing. Yeah. One down. Two, let him know that I'm a terrible player. Unfortunately, I've played a horrible competition game and I've really just been kind of floating along. Like I'm not viewed as a threat because I'm not a, viewed as one of the big competitors in the house. Right. I think any one of you would beat me. Three. Although he's a beast, there are a couple other people, beside myself, of course, that could potentially beat him. I don't think you would beat me if we were in the top two. Uh, him and Frankie. Me and Frankie. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be I think I'd beat him. It's close. I can tell you one thing, it wouldn't be unanimous. Depending on final speeches and stuff and all that stuff, you know I mean, the guys get the gift of gab. You, Frankie, you, Cody, that's a title fight. Yeah. But you don't see many title fights in here because people aren't stupid. You take the person you're going to win against. And that, people, is how you win $500,000. I'll see you at the finale. Hey, everybody! It's time to yes! pick place for the veto competition! Yes! House guest choice. Everyone in this house is dang near banged up from head to toe. And uh, Cody is the only one that is at 100% uh, health here. My boy, Cody. Derek. Oh, Derek! <laughs> Victoria! Oh my god. <laughs> hey everybody, it's time for the veto competition! It's time to put on your gear, head into the backyard, and have a blast! In each round of this competition, you will be shown a video containing a sequence of wires. You will then be instructed on which wire to cut in order to defuse your dynamite. So pay attention. The last house guest standing will win the power of veto. You should be extra careful because the first player or players that blow up their dynamite will become dinosaurs for the week. Oh my oh. God. Coming into the veto competition, I'm very confident. You know, I have a good memory and I think I'm gonna blow this one out and I'm gonna be <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Cody. Uh oh. Yeah, blow up. <laughs> the correct answer was green. I'm sorry, Cody. That means you've been eliminated. Dinosaur. <laughs> this means you're gonna be a dinosaur for a week. <laughs> got it. Somebody just got blew up. The correct answer was red with black, which means, Christine, congratulations! You have won the golden power of veto! Oh, absolutely. Hey, I was gonna tell you guys something, too. As soon as Christine won, as soon as Christine won, Frankie ran up to her and whispered something yep. to her, and then when I walked up, he stopped talking. Yeah. I saw that too bad. Yeah. He, he did it when I walked up. I was like, good job, Christine. He stopped talking and kind of walked up. I'll put him up and he'll go home. Yeah. 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 I mean, if he's got something to say, hey, don't, don't tell me. <laughs> because, because, because Frankie can beat us easier than they can. You know, I came out and like, Frankie was like whispering in your ear. Right away? Yeah, like he came over here and was like, like talking to your ear. I was like, why is he? Do you want to know what he literally said? Oh, wow. I would have been, I would have made it to the final round with you. He's talking to himself. Every, 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 every single time he was literally whispering in my ear, he was saying, oh my gosh, I would have been so well. So the first thing Frankie does after this veto competition is over is run up to Christine, and instead of congratulating her, he undermines Caleb and I. I've wanted Frankie out for weeks now, and maybe I could use this as a little bit of ammo to show everybody the kind of player that Frankie is 
and hopefully we can get him out this week. Hey yeah. everybody, who wants to see my dinosaur costume? <laughs> that is so cute! <laughs> Tell me what's the deal about that. So I went up to her. I was like, so Frankie like whispering in your ear. She was like, yeah, do you know what he even said? He was like, I would have went all the way to the end with you. Like pretty much being like, oh, because I got out first. You got out close. Trying to be like, if I was in that don't, you don't even have to worry. Like I would have been all the way to the end. Pretty much crapping on us. Pretty much. I want to make sure Caleb knows that one of his closer people in this game doesn't really have his back. Frankie's gonna do whatever he has to do to get to the end, and it doesn't matter who he crosses. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm scared to death for Frankie to win that HOH. Why? If he has a chance to get out someone that he knows will smash him in the end, I think he would do it. I think he'd say, Caleb, Cody, I know both of you can beat me in the end, and I, I have, my odds are better if one of you are gone. Do you really feel that way? Yeah. If I'm gonna make a huge move, like putting Frankie on the block, I need the support of my bomb squad behind me. If they're on board, hey, why not? The only person's game here that I respect is Derek's, and he is playing a really, really good game. I know you are playing the best game in this house. And I respect you so much. Everything you do has a reason, and it's strategic. You're the closest thing to Dan that I've ever came across. Dan Giesling? You'll never earn my trust back. You know what you did. And in this game, you're dead to me. Huge, huge compliment. And I would never say that to anybody but else. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep that one with No, I'm being honest. Whoa, Nicole, can you, can you do me a favor? Keep that down a little bit? Being compared to Dan Giesling is the ultimate compliment. He's probably one of the best players to ever step foot into this house. That being said, I can't have her turning the house against me by comparing me to Dan, but if she starts running her mouth, guaranteed I am the next one out the door. Completely down with sending Frankie home, but let me just be devil's advocate. We send Frankie home, Nicole wins HOH, and for some reason, Nicole gets cute and says, we're gonna flip this house right now. I can need to get Christine on board. I already have Victoria because she definitely already has Victoria if she needed her. If they did that, they put me and you up, you two up, we don't have the vote to keep you. But this is my thing, is that if Frankie wins, how confident are you that he's not gonna throw him and I up next to each other and then have you as a replacement? Exactly. Frankie is smarter and he has smoked Nicole in every competition they've played in together. Dude, you guys know where I stand. I'm on board for anything. You know that. We right here decide who goes home. Uh -huh. It's a big decision. I have a beast mode kind of decision to make. Do I put Victoria up as a pawn and send Nicole packing again? Or do I make a huge move and backdoor Frankie? Hey guys, it's time for the veto meeting. Hey. This is the veto meeting. Nicole and I have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of the nominations. I have decided to use the veto on myself. <laughs> All right. You know, honestly, uh, the person that I'm putting up today, I want them to know that they're safe. Um, I want them to feel comfortable. But, you know, sitting next to Nicole, I think we all know that she is literally the main target this week. Um, but, Victoria, um, you're looking beautiful as ever. The veto meeting is adjourned. Tonight is the second double eviction of the summer, and that means two house guests will be evicted before the hour is up. We're literally two wins away from being the final four. Yep. I don't want to feel like I'm hiding something from you. I don't want you to. Literally, I stayed up for the past couple nights. My wheels had just been spinning. The thought of me going, I'm going to throw Frankie up, it crossed my mind. So I'm telling Frankie that the bomb squad had mentioned putting him up as a backdoor option sitting next to Nicole. 
because the last thing I need is someone else going behind my back and telling Frankie the things that was said and then Frankie not trust me anymore. You know, we're at the point in the game where I would actually be surprised if they did not think about backdooring me. I think it's definitely more Cody than Derek. Now, do I want them to do this? Absolutely not. Everything okay? Huh? Everything okay? Don't lean You know the conversation you guys had last night. You know me, I know everything. It wasn't anything serious. What it, what it seemed like you kind of had my back, so that was good. Oh, yeah, Rose. Derek and I are Team America, and we have sworn to always have each other's back in this house. So when he's trying to play stupid with me about potentially backdooring me, it kind of infuriates me. Like, fess up. Well, I, that wouldn't be good for my game, so. When Frankie came downstairs, I was sitting there. I was like, everything's close. Like, don't play dumb. He's like, I know you were up there with Cody. He's like, you know, that's fine. I understand. I'm just glad that it's not happening. Oh, my God, Caleb's an idiot, too. This kid plays the game like an ass clown because he probably said to Frankie all the stuff that I told him. No, I don't think he did. I 100% think he did. Seriously, that's the impression I got. So I wouldn't blow a lid yet because you couldn't open yourself up if Caleb didn't say anything. <clears throat> and I don't think he did. Well, there's a lot of you left in the game and a lot of game left to be played. So house guests, buckle up. It's going to be a bumpy ride and it all begins right now. It's time for the second double eviction of the summer. Holla! That means you are going to experience a whole week of Big Brother in the next 60 minutes. All right, everyone, it's time for the live voting to begin. Neither nominee is allowed to vote. Caleb, as head of household, you will only vote in the event of a tie. By a vote of four to zero, Nicole, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. For my love. Get it, Nicole, get it. Get it, Nicole. Yikes. <laughs> Wait, help! Oh, Jesus. <coughs> Quiet, baby. There you go, Nicole. House guests, the power is up for grabs. I will play a series of videos containing statements by evicted house guests this summer, each featuring a bleeped out word. I will then tell you what the bleeped out word might be. You must answer if that word is true or false. The last house guest standing will be the new H-O-H, -H, which means the answer is false. The bleep that word, as you heard, was kisses, and it also means a big congratulations to Derek. You are the new head of household. You already know. You already know. Christine, get to her. Win the veto, please. Let's get the nomination. Yeah. Send Christine home. If Christine does, if win the veto, Frankie's going up. Go. He's got to go. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Your two nominations. Okay, so I've talked to everybody here. Everyone's giving me their names. I'm going with the house. I'm not trying to make any waves. I apologize, Victoria. You know I love you. Please take a seat. Christine, as well, please take a seat. It's nothing personal. Going with the house. On my go, you must navigate a ball through three unique crop circle mazes. The first house guest to get their ball to the end and set off their sensor will win the power of veto. Caleb is on the final maze. Christine is on the final maze. Congratulations to you, Frankie. You have won the power of veto. Frankie, please give us your decision. I have decided to not change the nominations and honor Derek as the HOH, um, so I will not be using the power of veto. All right, everyone. It's time for the live voting to begin. Derek, as current head of household, you are not allowed to vote. Neither are the two nominees. By a vote of three to zero, Christine, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Oh. Wow. They crushed her. 
I've had a gut feeling about Christine this entire game, and she's really rubbed me the wrong way on numerous occasions. So when she got up and walked out without saying bye to any of us, I think that was the true Christine, and it was indicative of the crowd reaction. That yeah, means that we you. made the right choice. Thanks, yeah. guys. I appreciate it. If doubting themselves in any way, shape, or form, this was the girl that we should have picked. This wow. is the girl we did pick. And she just got crushed. Where? They gave it to her. What they were talking. What the heck is that? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Get out here, Victoria. Oh, my God. Is it a reset button? It's the same game, game. What reset what, though? I don't know! <laughs> and I'm going to kill you in your sleep. You will have to sleep You don't know what it is. I don't care. If you touch it, I'm going to kill you. That could be don't touch it. box. Don't touch it. Are you serious? I am a huge fan of the show. I know what the button means. The button means you push the button. I'm terrified of what's gonna happen when I push the button, but if I had the chance, of course I'd push the button. Woo! The choice is yours. No! Damn it! All right, the choice is ours. Collective choice. Okay, well, we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> Wait, can you move it? No. Oh, Don't hit me! You might hit it! Stop! Why did you scare me like that? I have never... Wow. Get in here real quick. <laughs> Final four <laughs> minutes. I love these boys. However, if they don't think they can beat me in the end, they will take a shot at me. So I know that I need to win HOH, otherwise I definitely could be gone. I ain't gonna lie to you guys if I win. I'm gonna be scared to put Frankie off. Why? Why? Because he can win. Well, the same on the same merit. At this point, now it's a matter of we gotta take the shot. Up. We gotta. On go, crawl under your fence, grab a seed, then walk across your giant shovel handle. Then carefully place your seed on your spade. The first house guest to have all their seeds on their spade, go back under the fence and hit their button, will be the new head of household. So I have all my seeds in my shovel and I just have to be extremely slow and careful lowering the seeds back down to the ground so that I can run and push that button. Going to that button, hit it, hit it. Congratulations, Frankie, you're the new head of household. All of us jet to the back room because we've been waiting to see if we could have a chance to push this button. There it is. The choice is yours. It only takes one. As a fan of the show, I want to crush that button right now. I want to see what's going to happen. I want fireworks. I want it all. As a house guest, considering my own game, I'm very apprehensive. I know that at this point, it could be a game changer, hence the game word all over the room. But I'm torn. At first, I was like, ah, we may not, but what's the worst that can happen? One of us go home right now. be something really bad. He just made me kind of nervous, so I, now I don't even know if I want to press that button. I don't know why we're in this house and not going to push the button. I am like a kid in a candy store in there, and I'm really excited that we have something new in this game, so I'm ready to push it. Hi, guys. Ready? One, two, three. So stupid. Uh -oh. What is that? Five, five days. days. Five, five days, 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 19 hours, 11 minutes, 50 seconds. Till what? Till somebody comes back in the house or something? I don't know. We push this button, and a clock appears. And from where I'm from, a clock is never a good thing. Like, I mean, like you, you've never been on the block. I know, but that would be, I mean, if you put me on the, because you've I never know, been on the block, know, I want you to I feel know. it. I know, I know, I know. Hey, fuck it. I'm gonna be honest with me, I think you put up someone who think has your back the least. Really? That's, see, but that's, I would saying say that. that, I, I think is that. terrible. I know, I wouldn't say that. That's the thing that you're thinking. We've all been saying that we're like, hey, we got each other back till the end, but nothing's no final two. Cody and I are the hitmen, and I don't want to see him go on the block. That being said, I have to look out for my game over anybody else's. I can't wait to take this thing off, man. Has a doorbell. Are you, are you kidding me? No. It's Jeff and Jordan from seasons 11 and 13, a best couple, pretty much the couple that made me fall in love with this show. Oh man, look at this pig pen. 
Be honest though, make us feel better. Did, did the house look like this when you guys were here too? Yes. No, no it didn't. Come on. We were a little more tidy, I feel like. Well, we were gonna clean yeah. today. Who's the messy person? Is there a messy person no, in here? Nobody. Cody oh, sleeps in here. <laughs> That's Cody's Hold the phone. Let's pump the brakes. <laughs> this just got reset. For this that. is your dino dome in here? <laughs> this is absolutely my dino dome. <laughs> you guys ready for a special competition? Yes! Oh, Get dressed and meet us in the backyard. Oh! Jordan and I came to the Big Brother house today to spend a little time with the final five. She thinks we're here to host a luxury competition, but I got something else up my sleeve. Love, I've literally been around the world and never found anybody like you in my life. So I thought it was only right. Is this a joke? Five years ago, uh -huh. we met here. So I wanted to come full circle. What? And ask you, Will you marry me? Yes. Oh my God, is this? I'm shaking, love. I'm shaking. Do I have to put it on your finger? I don't know. Which finger does it go on? Put it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, is that... I thought it was a good moment. It was a good moment. I enjoyed it. You always tell me to be more romantic. That's as a like that's as good as it gets. So you better soak it in. Take it easy on Cody, everybody. <laughs> did I knock your socks off? Yes, you did. You I wasn't me? expecting that, of course. Are you ready to spend the rest of the life with this? <laughs> you were like, yeah. Hey guys, it's time for the nomination ceremony. I've nominated you, Cody, and you, Victoria. Cody, Victoria, you know how much I love you. Please don't take these nominations as an insult, but rather as a compliment, because both of you have proven how well you handle the pressures of the block, and I have no doubt that one of you is gonna walk away with the veto. Victoria is the target. I wanna take my boys to the final four. We're gonna go to the end. Victoria has served her purpose of doing absolutely nothing all summer very, very well, but it is time for us to say adieu. It's a game, man. It's a game. One of us had to go up there. I'm not worried about it. You shouldn't be. I'm really not. You shouldn't be. Unless on Wednesday something bad happens. If Victoria gets to the final two, I'm voting for her. Like, could you imagine what her no, speech I'm not, would be? No, I'm not be? even thinking of that. I know. New strategy for playing. Don't play. Make sure you lose everything. And act like you have no clue what's going on the entire time. I appreciate your honesty, Beast Mode. But dude, I don't need to hear that it even crossed your mind to send me home. Because if we're going to be Final Four, it shouldn't have crossed your mind to send me home. Where is everybody? Frankie and Caleb are upstairs. Victoria's in the DR. How you feeling? Me? Yep. Fine. <sighs> Looked at Caleb before. He was like, to be honest, it ran through my head. He's like, but there's no way I'm doing it. And I was like, oh my god. Are you serious? Yep. Well, I've been running some scenarios through my head, and I think. Uh, and use it on you. He would have to put Caleb up. Would it be smarter for us to keep Caleb to go after Frankie or keep Frankie? Caleb? After hearing what Caleb said to Cody, I have to wonder where Caleb's head's at. Is he with us or is he with Frankie? If I win the veto, I have to decide whether or not to leave the nominations the same and hope that Victoria goes or use it and force Frankie to put Caleb up and send him home. Question is, am I killing an ally or getting rid of the problem? I do not feel wholeheartedly that that thing is a complete negative. I don't. There's gonna be a big positive out of it. Yes, I agree. I 100% agree. We're just speculating that we think it's gonna be something drastic. The speculation for this countdown is getting wildly out of control. There's a million different scenarios is anybody going to be spot on? Probably not. Hey, everybody, it's time for the veto competition! Yeah. Since there are only five house guests remaining, everyone will be playing in today's veto competition. Warming up backstage are six different freak show acts. 
Each freak has three house guests mashed into one face. Hit your button to start your time. The curtain will open, revealing one of the six freak show acts. When you think you know all three house guests in the mashed up face, light up the three house guest names on the marquee board, then run over and hit your button. The house guest who correctly identifies the three faces in all six freak show acts in the shortest amount of time will win the power of veto. Whoa. Five minutes. Five minutes and 54 seconds. But I win! <laughs> Yay, I will now crown myself. Thank you so much, boys, for not backdooring me last week and giving me another week in this house. But I think you should have got me out when you had the chance. I suck. You suck, right? You think I'm gonna go home? Huh? You think I'm going home? I don't know. I really, really don't. I really, really don't. I know I just love it. Oh, I know. As much as I want to sit down and assure Victoria that she's safe this week, I have to meet with Frankie and make sure that me and him are still good. Okay, so I'm bowing down to Frankie right now. You're the best, nobody can beat you. Take me to the final two, I'm no threat. Ba 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 ba. whatever you need to hear, buddy. It's coming your way. Yes, see what it is. All right, this could get interesting. Team America, it's time to go on your next mission. America wants you to wear down the competition by convincing everyone there's a rodent in the house and keep them up all night trying to catch it. Good luck and God bless America. <clears throat> so. Oh my God, you're happy, you're smiling. Team America has their next mission. Okay. America wants us to wear down our competition by convincing everyone in the house that there's a rodent running rampant. And it's our duty to keep them up all night trying to catch it. Oh my God. We have tonight to try it or tomorrow night. Oh my God. America likes sleep deprivation, apparently. Uh -huh. Nobody goes to bed till 12, one o'clock in the morning in this house, period. Ever. So we're not gonna see our first sighting till around 1 a.m. Smart. What are you doing? It's starting to cook it, see? We have to take it apart. You gonna do it? No, no, just give it a few more minutes. But Frankie's cooking it. It's okay. Our mission for Team America this week is to create a fictitious rodent in the house, and we have to keep the entire house awake hunting for it all night long. Kind of like bread or something. That was a little bit. Oh! 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 Did you see that? Dude. No. Oh! Was that a rat or a mouse? Dude. What Dude. was that? Yeah. Yes, I'm serious. Yeah. No, dead serious. I saw it. Where was it at? Dude. It it was... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Dude. That was fun. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Way... Dude, it ran that way. I saw the tail running that way. It was huge, oh. dude. Wait, how big was the body? It had a tail like this, bro. Ah. Like that. We just cleaned the whole entire kitchen. Oh my god, maybe that's why I put out. Reiki's acting skills were on point. <laughs> Look at all the crumbs on the ground, though. That makes sense. It's been eaten back there. Grubbing, getting big. I gotta say, I didn't do too bad myself. There's a little bit of acting undercover cop work. What are you Cody! Cody! Dude, there was a rat like that big. What? Rat like that long was back there. Wait, how big is it? Dude, the tail no, it was and its like, ass was like that. And like little pink little legs. I saw its little legs. I thought I was the last girl standing. Apparently not. These guys are wimps. No! Shut the... Up. Shut the f up! What? Oh my god, it was under the sink! It was under the sink! Dear sweet, beautiful Cody. What? Oh, hey, <laughs> he turned into a little, little, little girl. Open it, Derek! No! Open the other one! Wow. I'm so much more manly than he is in certain ways. So, we officially have a mouse in the house. Everyone's buying this thing, hook, line, and sinker. Now all we have to do is keep him up all night. Go go grab me one of them headlamps off the... <laughs> if, we, if we set something up... The Rat Patrol. Who would've thought, huh? <laughs> a rat in the Big Brother house. <laughs> Guys, you know what we should do? Here, put it on No, no, sticky. time out. Let's huh? poison it. Huh? Let's How? poison it. Okay. I'm not going to sleep until we catch this. Like this stuff. Okay. Toilet bowl cleaner. Yes. Okay, Smoke there's it. the cheese. Dude, I'm bogging out. I don't even want to stand up Am I supposed to just spray it on? All right, not too much. I'm I mean, not going to know it's cheese. Yeah. They're not trying to kill us, too. 
Did you see it? No. Oh. I'm tired. Jack, I'm gonna go to sleep. No, not yet. Wait for me, please. Okay, fine. Thank you. We'll go to sleep at six. Okay. There's no rat to be found. I'm exhausted. It's morning almost. I just wanna go to sleep. This is traumatizing. I think I'm gonna call it quit soon. What time is it? Yeah. It's like 6.15. No. Really? There you go, America. I hope you enjoyed our mission. We had a lot of fun doing it. Hey guys, it's time for the veto meeting. I've wielded a tremendous amount of power in this game. Never more so than this week. But there comes a time in this game where there are simply too few people and too little power to keep everyone that I love and everyone that I trust safe. So it is with a very heavy heart that I've decided not to use the power of veto. Don't be so down, kid. Don't cry. Don't cry. Victoria remains my target because everyone's trying to think, who can I beat in the finals? She's too tempting to want to take because everyone knows they can beat her. It's extremely dangerous for my game because if I find myself sitting next to her next week, I know I'm going home. Let's give her hope, right? Son? She could be staying over all of us come Wednesday. Exactly. Victoria is the real target, but with the golden button, things could definitely change in this house really fast. I feel so sick. Why? I don't know. I just don't feel good. Oh, this sucks. Since when is Frankie Team Cody? I don't think he's Team Cody. He, I mean, he hasn't said nothing to me. I already know. I mean, if I'm guessing what I think he thinks, Cody hasn't necessarily burned him. I think Caleb is a big fan of Cody. Yeah, he is. And Caleb and Frank are very close. And I think if Frankie sent Cody home, it would cause a rift between him and Caleb. Do you follow, you get what I'm saying? But I hope it's something cool, man. I really hope so, dude. I'm just hoping it's something that doesn't affect the overall game. Agreed. I, oh my God, like, dude, I'm praying it's not like does it affect the overall of this like, game? We're not going to be sitting here with, you know, one of us gone and Victoria still here with Frank. You can play in the HOH next week. Yep. Because we hit the button because it's, it's what you got to do. You got to hit the button. Dad, come on. I'm glad he stuck to his guns and did what he said he was going to do, but he's definitely really paranoid. Yeah, he can't play in the, the, that's, one that's of the a, biggest that's HOHs. That's it comes down Fresh. to the fact that we have to beat him. Button or no button. I'm trying to let the guys know that we have to stick together and we have to keep our focus on getting Frankie out of this house. If we do that, we should be okay no matter what comes our way. Like, do you talk to Cody about who he's nervous about? If you want me to be candid with you. I do. I think it's an unwritten thing between the three of you. Who, well, me, Cody, and Caleb. Really? I think all three of you like each other, but I think you all see each other as a threat oh, right. to winning the money. Yeah, of course. The intent of this conversation is simple. I have to put doubt in Frankie's mind that if he took Caleb or Cody to the final two, it'd be tough for him to beat them. And I'm not even gonna mention my name at all. I'm just gonna let Frankie ponder and hopefully it's able to grow into something bigger than I can even say. Derek is making me feel like me, Cody, and Caleb all have an equal shot of winning this game. I understand that this is strategy to get him to the end of the game, but I'm not counting Derek out of winning the $500,000 at all. He hasn't convinced me. Think about something. If you leave, you're a jury vote. Victoria and I are close, and with her possibly leaving this week, Everyone remaining in the house know that's one assured vote that I have in the jury house. If people think I even have one 100% jury vote, they're not gonna wanna take me to the final two. They think that I have your vote, and so they're probably thinking, if Derek's not in the final two, Victoria would have to vote for one of us. Yeah. Unless they thought that you wouldn't vote for me. Do you know what we could do? It takes 
some skill on your part though. I could tell them, like I told Victoria, I'm not gonna vote for her. You could legit be pissed at me. That's gonna be hard. What's up? Derek just told me that he's not voting to keep me and that he's been loyal to the guys. Yeah. No, it just no, sucks, Frankie. It does suck. It's terrible. I don't ever want to look at him, talk to him. I don't respect him as a person. I do not like him. <sighs> yeah. I'm just so hurt. I love you so much. It really does suck. I just feel super betrayed. <laughs> There's nothing that he can say to me that can mend things because I don't even want to talk to him. This is going better than expected. It takes a player to play a player. And guess what, Frankie? The joke's on you. She's not happy. And she pissed at me. She feels more hurt by you know, than by anyone else. All right, here's what it is. I feel I still feel good about it. Hmm? I still feel okay about it. I don't feel like it is uh, permanent damage. Right, right now, I'm just coming back, but it is what it is. This was a tough one to accomplish because I had to rely on another person, but it went better than expected. He totally bought it. It's good. It's awesome. Me and Victoria, we're a pretty good team. That's an eviction. Yeah. Very possibly. The Big Brother fan inside of me is losing my mind, okay? The fact that the live eviction is now coming a day early, I think is just accelerating my game. Hopefully, this doesn't mean anything terrible for me. Holla! Fruit Loop Dingus. Oh, oh, no! No! That was so good. Back! That was so wow. Holler! Derek. Donnie! Oh, that was Donnie! It was? Oh, yeah! Donnie, yeah! Oh, oh my god, that's so hey, cool! Oh god, this is so fun! Zach. Good yeah. old Zach. Yo, Zach attack! Come on down here for a sec! Alright, I'm coming. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Hey, how? <laughs> Thank you. You guys really didn't have to do that. Are you gonna open, open it? it? Really? Oh, yeah! yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes! Oh, perfect. That's that, 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 that. I feel normal again. Thank you, guys. You are awesome. Hey, Victoria, sorry I'm not sorry. You shredded your own hat, and I got a brand new one. I'm back! Oh. Oh. Nicole! You look hot! <laughs> I went through a lot of crap in the Big Brother house the past couple weeks, and I missed my friends here. Definitely missed Hayden. What happened? I couldn't win a competition. The whole house was against me, but it was a double eviction, so someone's coming in soon, but I have no idea. Oh. Oh. So you think it's Christine? I think it's Christine. Chris it's me? not Christine. No? <laughs> yeah. We can't hear. Cackle. Do it, Donnie. How's the left? Sick. So Christine walks in. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! She nailed it. <laughs> yeah. All right, everyone, it is time for the live voting to begin. Frankie, as current head of household, you are not allowed to vote. Neither are the two nominees. No. All right, everyone, as you all know, the button you all discovered has been pushed. What does that mean? I'll be back in oh. a few minutes to explain, but 
What I can tell you is that it will affect everyone's game and perhaps your life in the Big Brother house. Well, here's what's happening. The button that you all, as a group, decided to push set in motion the next big twist of the summer. It's called the Big Brother Rewind. And because you pushed it, you're all about to do a little time traveling. Here we go. Guess what, house guests? You all just went back in time. The game has officially been rewound one week wow. to the last HOH competition, and you will replay the entire week. What? So, Cody, Victoria, the two of you are no longer on the block, so please take a seat on one of the couches. Thank you, Make Taylor. yourselves comfortable. Thanks. And Frankie, yeah. I'm sorry, but your reign as HOH has been erased. Take it. In just moments, <laughs> Frankie, Victoria, Cody, and Caleb we'll play? will get a second shot at the Seed Saw HOH competition. You know, this rewind is huge. Last week, we were gonna go after Frankie, but he won the HOH, so that option's out. Well, this is the chance to do it all over again. If either Caleb, Cody, or Victoria are able to win this one, he could become the target. Come to me, beast mode. Okay, congratulations, Caleb. You're the new head of household. There you go, buddy. Nice job. Of course I'm telling Frankie I want to keep the nominations the same. In actuality, I don't want my hitman up there. Frankie, I want you up there. One of us should win this game. No. We should see. It'd be nice. Are but you going to keep it on the same? I don't know. I don't know who I want to put up. Are you serious? Why would I keep it the same? It's because it didn't cause any waves. Yeah, I know, but Cody's had stress on him all freaking week. I don't really want to put him up again and have him go through it all again. Frankie wants me to keep the nominations the same as last week and put up Cody and Victoria, but I don't want to do that. Right now's the time to make a huge move, but I just got to figure out the best way to go about it. Don't matter if I put Derek up there, you up there, Cody up there, Victoria up there, we know she's going right. home. And so I, I appreciate not going up there. Okay. Well, we know who the target is. I don't want to put anybody up there. I know we have to. Oh. If I didn't love you like I do, you're going to be going right after him because you're a beast now. Four HOHs, you're his biggest threat mm -hmm. because you are well more liked than him. Right. And now you got that title. If you put him up, it's going to be like him in the B.O.B. I just think it's best not to feel. I would say talk to Cody too. I'm kind of torn right now. Yeah. Um, I know it's like you was like you're putting Cody up again. Keep the nom the same, right? That's a problem. But for my game, I'll put him up. He pulls himself off and wins the next HOH. So I'm thinking making him feel safe. Maybe he'll relax in the veto. You know what I mean? I mean, I'd rather like him not go up again. Why not? I'm, I'm hoping Derek will say, dude, just put me up. It's great that Caleb's telling me that he doesn't want to put me up, but him kind of hinting that he's leaning towards putting Derek up, stick to the plan, dude. Put Frankie on the block. I want to use Derek, because for one, he's never been up. I just think we put him up, and if one of us still won the veto, pull Derek off mm -hmm. and put Frankie up. <sighs> You're in my bed. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yikes. When I thought I was leaving this house, me and Derek come up with a plan to basically make it seem to the rest of the house guests that we are not working together. Me and Victoria only planned on doing this whole tiff for about a day and a half. Now that we're playing the week over, we got to keep it up for another week. 
I don't see it being a problem at all. Victoria's doing better than I even imagined. You know. Me personally, I just spill it out, just so you guys know. I love the heck out of both of you. I want to be in the end with one of you. And however it plays out, it plays out. Whether you take me or I take you or I take you, you take me. At that point, it doesn't matter. If I don't get win the money, I want one of you two to win. Yeah, and I'm the same way. So with that being said, I also want you guys to know that putting Randy up on the block, in a way, it scares me from my game. Because the last thing I want to do is him to win, come off, and then, you know what I mean? Either way, the week is going to go by. The same. Victoria going up on the block, and I have to nominate one of you. Listen, I respect whatever you decide to do. I go off math. That's how I do it. If you put one of us up and he wins the veto and you really mean that you want to go to the end with us three, he can send one of us home and there's nothing you can do. How? Because if you don't put him up, he could win the veto, take Victoria off, and you have to put the other one of us up. And he could say, now you have to send Cody or Derek home. Th that kind of makes me nervous. I think he would want to send me home. Yep. That's he could, he could just put him up next to me and then he could be his phone and send Cody home. Derek, do you care if I talk to Caleb for Absolutely two minutes not, by myself? Absolutely not. I'm going to go study anyways. Thank you. I love you. I'll see you downstairs love in you too, four and a half seconds. Love you, bud. Night. Night. Good night. I love you. I'll probably be going to bed soon, too. Frankie, you're going into the bus. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm not. All right. <laughs> I already told you. Yeah. All right, later. Yeah. We already talked about yeah, it. Later. Dumb. Hi. I just wanted to congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. Still sucks. <laughs> no, it does suck. But that's the thing. It was it sucked for me last week. Yeah. And to be honest with you, like, I put up the people that I was willing to see go home. But I understand why you don't want to put Cody up. It would look strange if Cody went up three yeah. weeks in a row. It would. It would look weird. And I understand that that leaves me and it leaves Derek. Yeah. The only thing that I would say is that you and I are definitely the biggest targets in this house. I in all of my HOHs, have never put you on the block mm -hmm. on eviction night. Right. Because I don't know what anyone else will do. My responsibility as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. Hey guys, time for dadgum nomination ceremony. As much as I love Frankie, this is a game. And if I don't knock him out first, he may swing at me next week and knock me smooth out. The time to send Frankie home is now, now, now. This kid's got to go. I have to win. Beto. The only other reason that really came to mind, the thought of you possibly, if you were off the block and won the veto, that for some odd reason, you would want to take a big stab and pull Victoria off. But that did get brought up. What do you, how did it get brought up? Just me, Derek, and Cody talking. Got brought up. Who do we think would make a big move like that? And you were the one that we thought would do it. It was literally a spur of the moment. I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. And now that he's at her, he can know. Because I'm being straight honest with you. I know. I told him that if anyone would possibly want to make a huge move, it would be him to win it and then pull Victoria off. Now, did we say he would do that? No. Oh, absolutely not. Dude, shut your mouth. This is Big Brother. If you want to make a move, you don't go run and tell the person right after you do it. If Frankie manages to pull himself down and get out of this one, he's going to be gunning for all of us now. Everything has become crystal clear to me. I am a huge threat to everyone in this house. I can see it written all over your face, Derek, Cody, you all just scared of me. I will be judged based on my actions in this house, and they've all been nothing but loyal. <gasps> Woo! Oh my God, oh my God. <sighs> Team America is over, and you are now playing for yourself and yourself alone. But as an individual, you have one more chance to earn a prize. In honor of your service to Team America, win Big Brother and take home an extra $50,000. I went from HOH winning both competitions to being on the block and potentially going home. And of course, 
I'm wrecked. Huge move. I just won the biggest comp of the summer so far. We're keeping the noms the same and we're sending that boy out of the house. Hey guys, it's time for Vita Me. I've decided not to use the power of veto. <laughs> All right, it's now time for the voting to begin. Neither nominee is allowed to vote. Caleb, as head of household, you will only vote in the event of a tie by a vote of two to zero. Frankie, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. <laughs> Victoria, please try to win something. <laughs> Derek, as the only remaining responsible adult, please don't kill my fish. Okay. And Cody, <laughs> I've had better. <laughs> oh, I love you all! Love me too, Frankie. Do it, Frankie. Thanks for being my queen. <laughs> there you yes. go. Wow. Oh, the tip of his hair is still pink. I'll ask you a series of questions about events that took place in the house this past summer. Your goal? is to answer whether this event happened before or after a second event I'll give you. The house guest with the most points after seven questions will be the new HOH. 462 seconds, which means congratulations to you, Derek. You are the new HOH. Caleb, hand over the key to the HOH bedroom. Obviously, you don't have to campaign to me. You know the no, situation. I am. Going into the nomination talks, I have to speak to three different house guests, all of whom think I'm going to the end with them. I don't want to piss somebody off because that could be the person deciding who they go to the final two with, and I don't want this nomination to be the reason why they don't take me. Okay, you know, but I'm going out. Well, only because you hate me and we have to play up the persona, but it really doesn't matter who goes on the block because ultimately the person who wins the veto is going to decide who goes with them. We've been playing this whole we don't like each other thing for a couple weeks now, so it's only natural that she goes on the block. What do you feel more comfortable with? I'm not, I'm not putting you up. You say, Derek, I don't want to be on the block. You're not going on the block. If you're not putting me up, I don't mind it. I'm not putting you on the block. Yeah. Me and you are going to the final two. We just got to win this veto. Yeah, 100%. We, you have to win it. You or I have to win it because yeah. I don't want him getting to the final three and winning $500,000 because he hasn't played the game well enough no. to do it. Agreed. I'm going to be pissed. What up, bro? What up, pimp dog? All right, so you know the deal. Victoria, me and her ain't seeing eye to eye. She's going up. Cody's, same thing as you. He's like, dude, I don't care if you put me up, it don't matter. Because, yeah. obviously, uh, it doesn't matter who I put up. But you have two chances. If you win the veto or I win the veto, you're coming off. Yeah, I know, but if you don't win, I'm stuck on the block, and then I could go home. But if you don't win, and I don't put you up, you're going on the block anyways. I just would rather you making a decision, personally, because I know where your head's at. Yeah. I mean, honestly, we shouldn't even care who goes up as long as she doesn't win. But if Victoria ain't winning, there ain't no chance it's going to be me, you, or him. I want you guys to know that I'm down with both of you. We're going to battle it out like gentlemen in the final three. I have nominated you, Victoria, and you, Beast Mode. As members of the veto assessment unit, we each have a crime board puzzle with 14 clues on it. We also have surveillance photos of the ex-house guests. When the horn sounds, remove your file folders to reveal the clues. Our job is to complete the puzzle by matching X house guests to the clues they correspond to. The first house guest to complete the puzzle with all the correct photos in place and hit their button will capture the final and most important veto of the summer. You know, I feel good that Derek's got my back. Derek said that he's got my back. I'm so glad that Derek has my back. The only person's back that really matters to me is my own. Yeah, baby, let's go! There we go. Just won the veto, it's super huge. I'm guaranteeing myself in the final three. I couldn't be happier. This is unbelievable. Dude, we made it, you guys. Derek pulls through. You pulled through. Frankie went home. There we are. Dude, he smoked it. He absolutely crushed it. After the veto competition, we are all celebrating, but unfortunately, Caleb doesn't know that his time in this game has come to an end. Two vetoes back to back. Yeah. Beasted it. Caleb, I like you a lot. You're a great guy, but I love my family a little bit more, and I have to play this game 
with my head and not my heart. And for that reason, it's time for you to go. Now, before we get started, I have some news for everyone. One week from tonight, one of you will walk out the front door a half million dollars richer. Next Wednesday is finale night, but only three of you will make it to the finale. Derek and Cody have already secured their spots, and it's time to find out who will take the third. Just a reminder, the evicted house guest will have only a few moments to say goodbye, gather his or her belongings, and walk out the front door. Cody, please stand, face the nominees, and cast your sole vote to evict. Um, so, you know, loyalty has been a huge ongoing term used in this game, and I feel like both of you have been extremely loyal to me. Beast Mode, you've won a bunch of comps, and due to you guys being so loyal, I think you both deserve to know that on day two, this guy right here came to me when I wasn't really on the ends with a large group and said, I want you to be my ride or die. I'm going to take you to the end, and you're going to take me to the end, and we're going to do everything together. We're never going to cross each other, we're never going to lie to each other, and we're never going to go behind each other's backs. And so on day two, we made a final two alliance called the Hitmen. We've made every decision together, we've done everything together, and honestly, this decision, which has been much like all of our other ones, is what's going to give us the best opportunity to sit next to each other and make that promise come true that we did on day two. And so, it, it kills me, dude, and you know I love you, Beast Mode, but our best chance is sending you out of the house today. I'm so sorry, bro. It's official. Caleb, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Sorry, but I know that one wasn't easy for you. You know, now that Caleb's evicted, I'm in the final three with my number one ally, Cody, and basically my best friend in the house, Victoria. Two people that will absolutely take me to the final two if I don't win it myself. I couldn't ask for a better situation. Cody thinks that he has a final two with Derek, but me and Derek are basically brother and sisters. I am so happy. This is the best ever. So I will be the one sitting next to him. Welcome to part one of the final three-part Head of Household competition. The winner of tonight's competition will automatically advance to part three where the winner will single-handedly choose who sits next to them on finale night. Since this is the last HOH, everyone is eligible to compete. Tonight's competition is called Fly High or Bye Bye. <gasps> to rise above your opponents and win this competition, simply stay on your hand glider the longest. The last person hanging on their hand glider will win the first part of the final HOH competition. Part one of our plan just came true. Victoria's out. What are you thinking? What do you want to do? How confident are you? I obviously feel better about you in the mental than me. You know better than me. But if you don't want to come down, I'm not going to sit for all day. It's completely up to you. If you don't feel confident, that's not good. We knew going into this competition that it was most likely going to be an endurance comp. So the plan was for me to win this first endurance competition and then him to go take care of Victoria in the second part. I have yeah. a feeling that it's going to be a physical comp. Ultimately, you're going to win it, and then I'm going to have to go against her in the mental one. What are you thinking? Do you want this one? Kind of did. Endurance made me feel good. It's up to you. There's no doubt you're strong. How do you feel about the other I'll just go over it with you. Right, that's fine. That's what you want to do. Good job, Cody. I'm the part one of the HOH comp. I'm so pumped. Straight to part three for me. I don't even have to worry about part two. All Derek has to do is beat Victoria in the second part and get there with me, and the hitmen are going to be sitting in the final two. Oh, my word. I walk into the backyard, and it really feels like I need my hat and my whip because I'm about to go find the crystal skull. Welcome to part two of the final three-part head of household competition. To begin the game, step off the sacred stone, then race up the wall and begin searching through the tiles to reveal different faces. The goal is to place the faces of the two house guests that were on the chopping block on the night each eviction occurred. You'll place each pair of nominees in the correct order from first to 14th. The house guest that correctly places the 14 pairs then steps on the stone in the fastest time will earn the right to battle Cody in the final head of household competition of the summer. It's time to find out who won the second part of the final head of household competition of the season. Derek, 
Your time is 15 minutes and 29 seconds. Victoria, your time is 30 minutes and three seconds. This means Derek, you will compete against me in the third part of the final HOH of the summer. Good luck, buddy. So Derek will now face off against Cody for the chance at winning it all. But ultimately, the winner of Big Brother will be chosen by the jury. We have an important task tonight. We're going to be discussing the final three contestants. So we need to know who the final three are. Who do you think is going to be joining us tonight as a juror? Beast Mode Cowboy. Cowboy, yeah. Caleb. Cowboy. Why do you say that? Uh, he's completely outnumbered, and no one's going to send Victoria home, because why would you send Victoria home? Yep. <laughs> Tony, are these guys right? Yeah, I, absolutely. I That's think true. it will be Beast Mode Cowboy tonight. Well, let's find out who it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see who it is. Yeah. Next thing you know, Cody gets up and he says that uh, him and Derek have had a, an alliance since day two called the Hitman. Jocasta, what do you think about this? Oh my, I think it's quite interesting you got rid of Frankie because he's really worked with you this entire game. Let's talk about Derek specifically for a moment. What is the most powerful aspect of his game? Derek thinks a lot before he speaks and that's, you know, a great aspect. He is, uh, by golly, I don't even know if I can say it right, manipulative. <laughs> <laughs> he, he uses such strong uh, things, like his child. He did it to me with my grandfather and yeah. his grandfather. Yeah, see what I'm mean? saying? I would the never backstab you because we both lost our grandfathers in this game, and that brings us closer than anything else possibly could. I don't know anybody that has made it to the final three and has never been on the block, not one time. Yeah, we forgot about that. Yeah. Especially being in a, with a B.O.B., with four people being nominated yeah. every week. That's he has crazy. not been on the block it's one impressive time. Statistic. That's impressive. He stabbed his friends in the back and uh, he tried to work them as they was going out the door to work the jury. <laughs> Is there anything wrong with outright manipulation, lying, pulling on your heartstrings? Is that allowed here? Yeah. I said I would lie, cheat, steal, and kill to win this game. So I, res I respect his game a lot. Yeah. I have nothing against Cody. He is flawless. He should win the game. I believe his best move was getting so much information and not saying a thing about it. Yes. If you're in the final three, you've done something right. Yeah. Hunter brings up it's Victoria. No, no, no. no, no. That's a whole nother ball. No. <laughs> Honestly, the girl was on the block nine times. Both times I was on the block, I had complete nervous breakdowns. She was on the block nine times. That takes strength. Victoria yeah. thinks she's at summer camp. You guys are in the jury house. You're at summer camp. She's playing Big Brother. Right. Oh, right. yikes. I think, I don't think Victoria is very smart, but I do think she is definitely dumbing down uh, her personality in the house. What's the most important factor in choosing a winner? To me, competitions are huge, but I think playing people without getting caught. Social game? Yeah, yeah. social okay, game. Okay, so social That's, game. I'm just overwhelmed right now. I don't, I don't even know what I'm going to do. This is making me think ten times deeper than I ever have. Guys, there's still a lot of game left to be played because we don't know who the final two are going to be. And in a moment, you guys are going to get together as a jury and decide which questions to ask them. Our conversation tonight, in conjunction with those questions, will carry extreme weight. So please choose your questions very wisely. It's time to crown the final HOH of the summer. This HOH will have to immediately decide whom he wants to evict and whom he wants to face off against for the half million dollar prize. I will read the beginnings of statements made by each of the eight members of the Big Brother jury. For each, I'll give you the choice of two possible endings. You must decide how you think the juror completed that statement. Whoever has the most points at the end of eight questions will tip the scale in their favor and be crowned the final head of household. 3,671 seconds, which means Congratulations, Cody. You are the final head of household. It's now up to you to decide whom you would like to evict and whom you want to sit next to when you face the jury later tonight. I'll be back in just a few moments. And please stand and cast your vote to evict. It's my ride or die guy. Started with him on day two. Got to make it to the final two. I'm so sorry, Victoria. You know I love you, okay. but I have to evict you. It's official. Victoria, you are the last person to be evicted from the Big Brother house. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. I don't even want to look. Don't even keep it open. Get it, girl. Woo! 
for this? Oh you ready for this? God. We're about to get it. I'm not. We're about to get it. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. It's gotta get, it's gotta go black and white, right? Yeah, there it is. Cody, Derek, I'm here with the jury, and in just a few moments, they will be voting for the person they want to see win Big Brother. But before they do, they have some questions for the two of you. Christina's up first. Oy, oy, oy. All right. Hello. <laughs> All right. All right. Derek, my question's for you. Okay. So throughout this game, you have denied your responsibility in sending anyone home. But we all feel like you sent all of us home. Which is it? Uh, do you want me to stand up for this one? Uh, the answer is uh, yes. I never wanted to be the forefront of anything, but I always had influence. I was playing an intricate part in every nomination, and it was part of my strategy to stay behind the scenes, so I was never uh, had any blowback from any of the decisions that were made. We, the jury, feel that Derek has been the puppet master of the Hitman Alliance, and you merely his puppet. Won't you tell us if we're wrong? Uh, you know, obviously, I played a huge game, a huge social game. That was uh, kind of what I was doing. Frankie, I'm actually really glad you asked that question, because I had the single hand in sending you home. So it's really nice hearing it from you, because I convinced your best friend in the game to uh, flip on you and send you out of the house. So um, I think that I played as good of a game as he did. I do appreciate that, though. Uh, thank you, guys. <laughs> Derek, a lot of us think you used your family to manipulate us. Manipulate. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Do you feel doing so crossed the line? Uh, absolutely not. You know, there were different things done in this game that you have to do to get ahead, but by no means did I ever use my family as a strategy. I think you guys all know they mean the world to me, and regardless of what happens tonight, I know I'm going to be seeing them very soon, but by no means did I use it as a strategy. We have a question. <laughs> what was the biggest strategic move you made personally in this game? Snapback. Uh, <laughs> uh, probably... One of the biggest moves was the week that everything was going down with uh, Zach being on the block, um, kind of going to Derek and being like, something definitely feels wrong, man. I need to call Christine out because that's one of my best friends in the house. Doing so, flipped the script. We kept Zach and essentially sent a good amount of people that were targeting Derek out of the house. Why do you think you deserve to win over Cody? <sighs> you know, Nicole, you're one of the few people actually initially that acknowledged what I've done in this game. I've gone 55 nominations without ever being nominated. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's ever been done before, but it's never been done with that many nominations. And it was, it was the plan all along. So for that reason alone, I think I deserve to be the next winner of Big Brother. Why should you win over Derek? <laughs> uh, you know, Derek is my best friend in this game. I'm really not going to say anything to bash him, but my social game was a huge part of us getting to the end because a lot of people in the house early before the jury were feeding me a lot of information. And I feel like the information that I was getting and relaying to Derek and you know, making decisions together was really what was kind of pushing us past the point because I had the trust of pretty much the entire house and that's how we made a lot of our decisions. Uh, guys, let me start by saying everything I told you about my life and my family, it's all true. Uh, but I didn't want you to judge me before you had the chance to know me, so I did omit one fact. I'm not a Parks and Rec coordinator. I've actually been a police officer for yes. 10 years, oh, and I'm at, yes. I was an undercover detective for three yes. years, and I used that to develop my strategy in this game. Welcome back to the season finale of Big Brother. After a record-breaking 97-day battle, it is finally time to crown the winner of Big Brother. Cody, yes. Derek, I'm about to reveal the jury's votes. The winner will receive $500,000, and the runner-up, $50,000. The first vote comes from Jocasta, and it goes to Cody. Hayden's vote goes to Derek. Zach's vote goes to Derek. Donnie has cast his vote for Cody. Nicole has cast her vote for Derek. Christine has cast her vote also for Derek. Frankie's vote goes to... Congratulations, Derek. You are the winner of Big Brother. Gentlemen, come on out. You have a lot of people waiting here. A big congratulations again to you, Derek. Very well played. And just for the record, Caleb 
voted for Derek, as did Victoria. Now, the person who received the most votes will take home $25,000. And I can tell everyone that we received more than 10 million wow. votes. That is the most in the history of America's Favorite House Guests. I will now reveal the winner. However, the top three vote getters were Zach, Nicole, and Donnie. Yeah. However, with more than five million votes, the clear winner is Donnie! Congratulations, Donnie! You are the winner of America's favorite house guest from outside the Big Brother house. I'm Julie Chen. We will see you next no. summer.